Dad works as a construction laborer. My mom washes dishes at a restaurant. But on the day I finished the college entrance examination, they actually came to pick me up in a Rolls Royce. Even their attire was that of upper class individuals. This move truly shocked me. I couldn't help but feel emotional. For the celebration of my graduation, my parents went to such lengths to rent such attire. I felt my parents' heartfelt intentions. I burst into tears and threw myself into my mom's embrace. I couldn't help but feel sorry for my mom. Mom, renting such an expensive car. How many more dishes will you have to wash in the future? How many more bricks will my dad have to move? Yet, my parents looked at each other with embarrassment. Son, actually, this is our own old car. The tone of dad doesn't sound fake. I was instantly shocked. Then dad looked at me and shook his head. Sighs. Ah, son has hidden it from you for so many years. I'm really feeling a bit heartbroken. Actually, our family is very wealthy. So much so that we can even wipe our backsides, mom. The cracks on your hands aren't caused by washing dishes for years, are they? And mom also feels a bit embarrassed. Mom, that group of sisters invite me to play mahjong every day. Mom can't refuse. For hiding it from you, dad hasn't taken care of himself for almost 10 years. What's the deal with dad working as a bricklayer at the construction site? Dad also scratched his head. I originally came to the construction site to inspect the work. Developed a lot of land. This back and forth got me labeled as a laborer by your mom. Just a moment. 18 years of hardship flashed through my mind. I turned out to be a second generation rich before I could react. The Rolls Royce at the college entrance has become the center of attention. Many students and parents are coming this way. There are even some journalists interviewing the candidates. Dad really didn't want to get involved with them. He pulled me into the car. Let's go home first. After getting home, I told him everything in detail. I was contemplating all the way. Obviously unable to accept this fact in a short time. Back to that old shabby house. Dad holding mom's hand. Sitting right across from me. Son, mom and dad didn't mean to deceive us on purpose. They just wanted you to learn to be self-reliant, to toughen yourself up, and to prevent the family's wealth from turning you into a spoiled brat. Now that you've finished the college entrance examination, we've calculated that it's time to come clean with you. You've been through so much over the years, I couldn't help but smile. So, am I really a second generation rich? Both mom and dad nod at the same time. I never thought I'd been deceived for so many years. I've been the clown all along. Then I suddenly realized something. I asked dad. Dad, am I really your biological child? I've already started to doubt if I'm really your biological child. Dad waved his hand. Of course you are. Don't we look alike? Equally handsome and suave. Mom also smiled from the side. Son, don't overthink it. Anyway, our family is very wealthy. You can't even spend all the money, said while giving dad a look. Dad smiled and pulled out a gold card from his pocket. Son, this card has no credit limit. I specifically had someone arrange this for you. Spend it however you like. While I forced a bitter smile. Dad, mom, give me some time first. I need to calm down. I don't want this card for now. I'll go back to my room first. Saying this, I got up and walked into the room. Leaving behind my parents, who looked at each other in surprise. Wife, this situation is not quite what I expected. Mom gave you a fierce glare. What do you think our son is like? This is my son. Do you think he's money-minded? Dad quickly flashed an embarrassed smile. No, no, no. I didn't mean that. The son couldn't accept it for a moment. It's normal. Give him some time. After all, it's something he'll have to face sooner or later. Let's wait a little longer. Dad nodded, then said, Well, wife, can we move back to our big villa? This small rundown house is making my old legs ache from the damp. No, we have to wait for our son to come to terms with it, and willing to go back. When shall we move? But we don't need to pretend to be poor now. Just at this moment, I changed into a new outfit, walked out from the house. Mom and dad, our class is having a graduation banquet tonight. Let's not eat at home at the forest court. Dad was delighted to hear that. Should dad send a Rolls Royce to take you there? I shook my head. No need. I don't want to cause a stir. Soon after, I hurriedly walked out of the house, while dad was lost in thought at home. Why does forest court sound so familiar? Then I slapped my head. This is not one of my hotels. Mom just realized too. Hastily made a call to inform them. Telling them the young master is visiting today. Telling them to keep their eyes peeled. On the other side, I just arrived at the Forest Court Hotel. And ran into Air Tang. His name suits him. He's overweight. He's my high school classmate. Also my good buddy. He waved frantically when he saw me but he finally made it. Do you know who arranged this place? I heard Forest Court is the most luxurious hotel in Leung City. 
We can't afford it. I shook my head helplessly, indicating that I also don't know. I only know the location was sent by the homeroom teacher in the group, but I really don't know who specifically arranged it. Then we walked into the hotel. Indeed, as Air Pang said, the expenses here are very expensive. When I asked the waiter, I only knew it was given by the squad leader, but I don't know why. The waiter looked at you with a hint of surprise. After I left, he hurriedly took out the walkie-talkie. All departments, please note. All departments, please note. The young master has entered the hotel, currently heading to room 250. The other end of the walkie-talkie received the same excited voice. Received the European abalone and lobster royal set. Arriving at the battlefield in 5 minutes. Received the 1982 La Fight. Ready to go. Received high quality mature woman. The waiter is in position. And yet I knew nothing about it. As we opened the room door. Many classmates had already gathered here. It felt like a bunch of parolees. When they saw the two of us entering the room. Some classmates started teasing. Looking for brother. Fatty. You guys are late. You'll have to drink 3 cups as punishment later. I also gave an awkward smile. Then I scanned the entire room. Actually. We came today with some other purposes. Soon, I found what I was looking for in the crowd. A hint of jealousy flashed in her eyes. I walked over to him. The few girls who were chatting saw me coming over and suddenly stopped. Xiao Qing, Xiao Qing, Lin is looking for you. The girl's name is Su Qin. The class monitor and I are particularly close. We always review together in the classroom before the college entrance examination. We are the recognized CP in the class, and there are also hidden feelings between us. It's just that the college entrance examination is approaching. Neither of us has ever waited. I stood in front of Suchin and said to her, You look beautiful tonight. Usually at school, she doesn't wear makeup. But tonight, Suchin is indeed so beautiful that I'm a little moved. Several girls immediately started to make a fuss on the side. There was also a slight smile on Suchin's face. Thank you. You look handsome today too. I never thought about dating before. I only had my mind set on the college entrance examination. But now it's time to consider it. So I plan to confess tonight. Then I thought. Su Qin smiled and said. We can take a walk after dinner. Before Su Qin could agree. A girl looked at me teasingly. Oh my. Lin, the handsome guy. Are you going to confess to our Xiaoxing? Stop joking around. Su Qin gave her a disdainful look with her beauty. More and more classmates started to tease around us. However, Su Qin's face showed a hint of uneasiness. Then, looking at me apologetically, she said, I'm sorry, Lin Shui, I can't agree to your request. Suddenly, the whole private room fell silent. All classmates looked at us in surprise. With a forced expression on her face, can I ask why? At that moment, a door pushing sound is heard. Apologized. Lin Shui and Su Qin have agreed to be my girlfriend. Everyone looks over, only to see a boy walking into the box, followed by the high school head teacher. And the boy is the initiator of the graduation banquet, class president Qin Hao. I was incredulous at the sound. Su Qin, what he said is true. Su Qin pursed her lips, although there is some reluctance in her eyes. Walked to Qin Hao's side. Qin Hao smiled slightly, then took his hand, said to everyone, everyone, listen to me. Today, in front of the head teacher and all the students, I officially announce, Su Qin is my girlfriend. As soon as the speech fell, the crowd burst into applause, although many classmates were a bit embarrassed, but following the applause was right. While I stood there dumbfounded, Lin Sun, this year of our mismatch, thank you for your help. I've always considered you a good friend. If there's any misunderstanding on your part, then I apologize to you. I looked at Su Qin who said these words, instantly made me feel so unfamiliar. So you're treating me like a fool, aren't you? Su Qin didn't dare to look me in the eye. While the person beside him, Xin Hao, spoke up. Lin Sun, what do you mean? As if my Su Qin owes you something. But what I didn't expect is, even my homeroom teacher spoke up for him. Yeah, Lin Sun, Su Qin is with Qin Hao now. You should be happy for her. I have a feeling. The homeroom teacher must have been bought by Qin Hao. I was going to have a cup of tea to thank my teacher for the past three years. But now it seems unnecessary. And all the classmates present, only Pang Pang couldn't stand it. Qin Hao. You're really out of line, causing trouble for no reason. Since things have come to this, you're still being sarcastic. I quickly stopped him to prevent him from getting into trouble. But I still want to confirm. Then I turned to Su Qin and asked, Do you really like him? I really wished to see a hint of struggle on his face. But I was still disappointed. I really like Qin Hao. I'm just friends with you. I also hope that everyone won't gossip about any scandals in the future. Su Qin originally comes from an ordinary family. At first, I was a bit hesitant about Qin Hao's friendliness. But during a vacation, after Qin Hao showed him the life of the wealthy, he was itching inside. Spending top dollar at the most high-end places, he compromised with life. 
Qin Hao really gave too much, even my hidden feelings for me were washed away by Qin Hao's superpowers, then I shook my head, and said softly, I wish you happiness, then I turned and called Air Pang, ready to leave, just at this moment, the door of the private room suddenly opened, right after that, one by one, extremely beautiful waiters walked in, everyone had a smile on their face, each of them was holding a pricey dish in their hands, they lined up inside the private room, stunned the classmates, everyone stood up subconsciously, curiously watching all of of this. After some classmates realized, they hurriedly flattered Qin Hao. Hey hey, young master Qin is indeed generous. So impressive. Even Su Qin was looking at Qin Hao with bright eyes, showing a proud expression. And Qin Hao himself also responded with a bewildered smile to everyone. There are also many doubts in my heart, but it's not arranged by myself. Although the family is wealthy, but can only follow the bundled payment method of the forest court and he can't afford what the waiters are holding. But in order to maintain the image in the hearts of the classmates, Xin Hao still forced a smile. Hey, I didn't expect the service at the forest court to be so thoughtful. As long as everyone eats and drinks well, then greeted the waiter. You can just put the dishes on the table. However, the waiters unintentionally ignored him. Xin Hao suddenly felt embarrassed. At this time, a well-dressed man walked in, exuding a strong aura, clearly a successful person. Xin Hao's eyes lit up. This person is the general manager of Forest Court. Even his father has to watch his expression when speaking to him. So he quickly poured two glasses of wine and walked towards the manager, Manager Huang. Hello. Manager Huang glanced at Qin Hao. He frowned, asked in confusion, Who are you? Qin Hao immediately smiled and said, My name is Qin Hao. Can the father of a beast offer you a toast? As he spoke, he handed the wine glass over with a respectful look on his face. But the manager showed a hint of impatience, said coldly, The son of a beast, your old father is not even qualified to offer me a toast. You still want to offer a toast? Too young, aren't you? As soon as this was said, instantly froze Qin Hao, ignoring in my heart. Qin Hao scanned the crowd. His eyes lit up instantly, walked past Qin Hao, quickly walked up to me, under the gaze of everyone, tightly held my hands. Young master, I finally embarrassed you. In an instant, everyone in the box reacted together, staring dumbfounded at manager Huan, who was just scolding Qin Hao, in front of me, now, excitedly grabbed my hand. To be honest, not even able to fool me. Then I felt embarrassed. Sorry, manager Huang, you might have mistaken me for someone else. I am not the young master of your family. And manager Huang also showed a full face of doubt, looking at me and asking, It shouldn't be. Excuse me, is your father Lin Batian? Yes, I replied. Then it's correct. Your father, Lin Batian, is the chairman of our forest court. Then you are our young master, aren't you? At this moment, all the classmates were looking at me with a ghostly expression. Qin Hao and Su Qin looked even more lifeless. It's over, it's over. Offended someone unforgivable. My Qin family is finished. And Su Qin was even more unbelieving. How could Lin Sun be a hidden second generation rich? After being together for so long, I didn't notice at all. If I had known earlier, it wouldn't have been just them who couldn't believe it. Even my mouth formed an O shape. I knew my parents were hidden wealthy, but I really didn't expect them to be this wealthy. Even the forest court is like my own home. Life really has no rehearsals. I'm totally unprepared for this situation. At this moment, manager Huang immediately gestured to the beautiful female waitresses around him. He scolded. What are you all standing there for? Why aren't you calling for help? How have I taught you normally? Without any hesitation, all the waitresses shouted in unison, Young master, there's a wide selection of beautiful girls here. The people present immediately cast envious glances at me. Then, manager Huang smiled and said, Young master, because the chairman personally instructed me that you are to attend the graduation banquet here, so I've already had the kitchen prepare all the food and drinks. You see, we'll move to the diamond box. Shall we continue dining here? The diamond box is. Others are extremely puzzled. Only Qin Hao is full of regret. Does he know the level of the diamond box? Manager Huang glanced at this group of young students. It will also broaden your horizons. Our forest palace boxes are divided into four levels from low to high. The box you are currently in is the bronze box. And the diamond box is the highest level in our forest palace. It's a symbol of status, specially used to entertain some special guests. It's generally not open to the public. Upon hearing this, everyone took a deep breath. At the same time, they also feel that compared to me and Qin Hao, I might just be a novice. Then manager Huang patiently asked me, Young master, what do you think? Everyone was looking at me with a hint of mockery. 
They were eager to answer for me, but I spoke up and said, no need, I was just about to leave. As soon as these words came out, everyone was suddenly stunned. Some classmates were also trying to butter me up. Soon, brother, you've just arrived and haven't eaten anything yet. Don't rush, stay a bit longer. I haven't even toasted to you yet. Yes, that's right. Quite a few classmates echoed in agreement. I looked at this group of classmates who changed their attitudes as quickly as turning a page. I shook my head helplessly. I have no interest in these people now. I felt like slapping their faces, but I didn't think it was necessary. At that moment, Qin Hao walked over to me, with a flattering face, looking for Gu. We are all classmates. Who are you trying to get close to before Qin Hao finishes speaking? Air Pang is not happy. Just now, you were still being sarcastic to me. Now my identity as looking for Gu has changed. You're coming over to be a bootlicker again. What took you so long, Li Air Pang? What nonsense are you talking about? Qin Hao's expression changed, like Air Pang's wooden. Manager Huang had already seen some clues, but out of consideration for my face, I didn't want to see him. Seizing the opportunity, I quickly asked Air Pang, This young man, what did you just say? So Air Pang angrily pointed at Qin Hao's nose and cursed. Isn't this guy a bad person? Then I spilled the beans in detail. I stood on the side, speechless. Couldn't stop it at all. Air Pang was even more excited than me. Those who don't know might think I'd be angry. Manager Huang looked at Qin Hao in surprise, then narrowed his eyes. Is that so? Qin Hao's face changed drastically upon hearing this. Manager Huang. No, not at all. Please listen to my explanation. At this time, Su Qin also walked up quickly and looked at me. Softly said, It's almost time for the patrol. We are all classmates. There's no need to make it so tense. This statement truly left me speechless. Do you want to see me speak up? But at the same time, I had completely given up on Su Qin. Then shook my head. Let's go with Fatty. Said, then turned to look at Manager Huang. Manager Huang, I'll leave first. You don't have to make it difficult for my classmates either. Let's take away these drinks and dishes. Manager Huang's face changed. Young master, however, if the chairman finds out, I can't explain it. I don't care. It's okay. I just need to tell my dad. It's none of your concern. Then, with Fatty, he walked out of the private room without looking back. Watching our departing figures, everyone in the private room looked at each other. Su Qin also didn't know why. She felt empty in her heart. As if something had slipped away from her hand. Manager Huang glanced around. Subtle. You can have your meals here. Of course, this is the last time. From now on, Sensen Royal Court will no longer welcome all of you. Everyone's face turned pale. Manager Huang doesn't care about us. It's all Qin Hao's fault. They are aware. Being blacklisted is not the most terrifying thing. The most terrifying thing is that the power of Sun Lin Royal Court is renowned throughout the entire Leon Dynasty. If their blacklist is made public at that time, I'm afraid they won't even be able to find a job. And Qin Hao is standing still blankly at this moment, because he knows that his Qin family is finished. Manager Huan looked indifferent at all of this, raised his hand. Assistant, go. Have someone check if the Qin family's fuel cards issued at the royal court have all been revoked. Spread the word. Remove the Qin family from the cooperation list of all brother companies. Everyone saw the situation was not good. They all lost the intention to stay. One by one, they all slipped away. They even avoided Qin Hao as if avoiding the plague god. Very soon, inside the box, only Qin Hao and Su Qin were left. While Su Qin was full of regret in his mind, if he had been with me, then his fate would have changed long ago. Qin Hao muttered to himself, how could this happen? His legs went weak and he was about to fall. Su Qin just wanted to help but was slapped in the face by Qin Hao. Bastard, it's all because of you. My Qin family is finished. Su Qin covered his face and looked at Qin Hao in disbelief. You actually hit me. Qin Hao roared. Su Qin, the two of us also ended your bad luck. Don't appear in front of me again. Saying this, Qin Hao then left the room in big steps, leaving Su Qin alone in the room crying. At the same time, I and Li Pang sat at a barbecue stall by the roadside. Air Pang joked, Soon Gu, I really didn't expect you to hide so deeply. How many years of friendship do we have? Even I was deceived. And I really can't bring myself to tell him. Actually, I was also deceived by Auntie for 18 years. Then the two of us drank water, one cup each. Soon, we both felt guilty. Seeing Air Pang already lying on the table, I stumbled my way onto the bridge next to the barbecue stall, hands resting on the railing, staring blankly at the river below the bridge. Just then, someone suddenly embraced me tightly from behind. I could clearly feel the softness behind me. As I was feeling bewildered, a cold voice sounded in my ear. What could make you so desperate? The river water at night is very cold. Even if you don't drown, you'll freeze to death. I turned my head to look and was instantly stunned. A girl was standing beside me. I didn't know when she appeared. In my eyes, she looked like a fairy descended to earth. 
giving me a thrilling feeling, I exhausted all my knowledge and could only conclude with the word fairy. What are you daydreaming about? The fairy looked straight at me. She showed a hint of confusion. After I explained for a while, he finally realized it was his misunderstanding. He even thought I wanted to end my life. Then he awkwardly said, sorry about that. It was my misunderstanding. The fairy nodded and was about to leave. But how could I miss this beautiful encounter? It seemed like alcohol gave me courage. I suddenly called out to her. Sister, please wait. The fairy stopped in her tracks upon hearing me. Is there anything else? Um, sister, are you a college student? The fairy nodded. Yes, I am. I'm from South University. I was instantly overjoyed. Is it really a coincidence? My goal is also South University. The fairy, however, smiled faintly. Then you have to work hard. It's not easy to get into South University. After saying that, she politely smiled at me and left. Watching the fairy's departing figure, I stood there, feeling like a fool. This is bad. My heart skipped a beat. That night, I didn't even know how I got home. I woke up with a splitting headache. I glanced at the time, and it was already noon. After pushing open the door, I saw my parents sitting at the dining table. The dishes on the table were completely different from what I had eaten before. I couldn't even name some of them. Right at that moment, dad embarrassed in front of his son. Your mom is the truth. If you don't wake up, not even allowing me to move the chopsticks, saying with a resentful look at mom, while mom closed the dad, asked me, son, heard that your graduation party last night didn't go too well. It seems that manager Huang has already told dad what happened last night. I'm a bit embarrassed. It's okay. It's all in the past, mom, while dad made a cold snort. Poof. If you ask me, my son is so outstanding and has a wealthy dad. What kind of woman is blind not to have noticed you? During the day, I'll introduce you to some of your uncle's daughters. Each one is exceptionally beautiful. Definitely a hundred times better than your first love. Shut up. Mom gave dad a glare. I quickly changed the subject too. Mom, I heard you guys talking in the house yesterday. Is the villa ours? Where is it? Dad probably chimed in. What are you talking about? Our family's villa is in Tian Sichuan. It's the most expensive villa area in Jing City. I was completely shocked. Xinxur, huh? That's the central city of the country. The people who live there are either rich or noble, without giving me time to react. Mom continued. Son, have you adjusted your mindset? Mom and dad suddenly told you this. They also feared you wouldn't be able to accept it. I nodded. I was a little shocked at first, but now it's okay. Mom suddenly smiled. Back when you weren't born yet, I was already discussing with your dad where to go. Later, because there were still projects to follow up on in Liangcheng, so we decided to come here. Just didn't expect to stay for nearly 20 years. Specifically, dad, he practically monopolized the entire economy of Liangcheng. This isn't the dad I remember. And dad was low-key on the sidelines. Of course, it's all just for fun. I'm fine, really. Although I say that. But his expression was very wrong. Son, we plan to move to a new house soon. We'll temporarily go back to Beijing for now. Let's discuss the details after you finish college. I really can't live in this shabby house anymore. So I want you to choose a villa. Dad will buy it for you, and I can also live there for a while. Since dad said so, I won't be polite. Under my suggestion, our family moved quickly. In the central area of Liangcheng, it cost several million to build. It's considered very luxurious. As soon as we entered the house, maids bowed and greeted on both sides. Welcome back, young master. I was startled, having not seen such a scene before. I quickly waved to everyone. Dad stood by and patted my shoulder. With a smile, the son is slowly getting used to it. You are now the young master next door. The son of the richest man in Rongwa. And at this time, dad had already changed into a set of home clothes. Sitting on the sofa, looking at the documents, the atmosphere suddenly became a bit awkward. I toured the entire villa under the guidance of the butler. Every time a maid passed by, she would kindly call me young master. It made me, little Chu, a bit embarrassed. Back to the living room, I said to my parents, I'm going to school today. The school stuff hasn't been moved yet. Dad immediately laughed heartily and said, Dad will take you there. But you know it as soon as you think about it. Dad must be showing off his old car. I immediately refused when he asked, because you really don't want to cause any more trouble. Dad seemed to understand my meaning, so he chuckled. Well, how about this? I'll ride my old electric scooter and go with you. My eyes lit up. 
I immediately agreed. After that, dad changed into a regular t-shirt and shorts. We chatted and laughed all the way. We soon arrived at the school. By now, many graduates had returned to pack up their things at the school. When we walked into the classroom, I furrowed my brow. I saw the notorious troublemaker Sue Face sitting at my desk. One foot was stepping on my neatly arranged textbooks. I angrily said, Su Fei removed his foot from mine. But when he saw me and my dad coming in, he exaggeratedly sighed and kicked my textbooks into a mess while looking us up and down with sarcasm. What shabby clothes? Lin Su, isn't your family very wealthy? Isn't your dad the chairman? What's wrong? The true colors are revealed. Really? Before he could finish, dad slapped him across the face, then cursed. Psst, brat, I really didn't want to hit a kid, didn't expect your mouth to be so shallow, not only shocked the other students in the class, even I was taken aback, who in the business world doesn't know him, Lin Batty and is ruthless, he achieved today's success by stepping on bones, and now, a kid who hasn't even grown a full set of hair dares to be so arrogant in front of him, you dare to hit me, you stinky laborer, do you know who my dad is, Su Fei angrily pointing at his dad's nose, but before he could finish speaking, his other cheek was brutally hit again. It was me who made the move. Remember this, you can insult me. Hit you, Su Fei wept bitterly. You, you guys wait for me. Su Fei saw that he was no match. He threw down a fierce remark and ran out of the classroom. While dad was extremely happy on the side, the son only fought to defend himself, or it might have a taste of his youth. After finishing organizing all the items, we were just about to leave carrying the boxes, but received a call from Airpang. Hello, Su Gu. Su Fei brought a group of people to block you at the school gate. When we arrived at the school gate, seeing the scene in front of us, my heart sank. Su Fei and 20 some people were being very arrogant at the school school gate. Even the security guard hid in the guardroom. Seeing me come out, Su Fei's eyes were filled with hatred in an instant. Ko approached Su. Today's matter isn't over. At this moment, Air Pang also rushed to my side. It moved me deeply. They say true feelings are revealed in times of hardship. Air Pang, this kid, will be my bro from now on. Dad looked at the scene before him. His eyes narrowed. He hasn't been this angry in many years. Then he patted my shoulder and said, Son, are you scared or not? I showed him a determined look. Dad, are you okay? Then we locked eyes. Rolling up his sleeves, he charged forward. Seeing our momentum, he quickly intervened. I can't do it, bro. But we didn't pay any attention. And then we rushed towards Su Fei and the others. Just as we rushed to Su Fei and the others, there was a sudden roar. A red sports car made a cool drift and stopped outside the school gate. And after the sports car, there were several black commercial vehicles. The doors opened. Mom stepped out with a determined look. I dare anyone to touch my son. Get them for me. Immediately after, dozens of black-clad bodyguards instantly subdued 20 hooligans. Faced with professionally trained bodyguards, the hooligans had no power to resist at all. Huddling on the ground, trembling, Mom coldly looked at Su Fei crouching on the ground. She slapped him directly on his swollen face. Rascal, you dare to provoke me too? The sudden appearance of Gu Yan Yan's son directly stunned everyone present. No one expected my mom to make an entrance in this way. The battle was resolved without any delay, and I swallowed hard. Carefully approached dad's ear. Dad, my mom, he's always been so overbearing. Dad then smiled and looked at his wife. Your mom is not a simple woman. You'll know in the future. Su Fei was directly stunned. I got beaten up by my whole family in one day. Shouted angrily. Lin, maybe you actually asked the family to step in. If you're so capable, let me call my dad. My dad is Su Gang. He's the biggest gang leader in Liancheng now. You guys are in big trouble. What did you say? Your dad is called Su Gang. At this point, my dad suddenly spoke up. So your dad is little gang. Go back and tell your dad. Your grandpa who beat you is Lin Badian. Be sensible. Apologize at the door within three days. Otherwise, bear the consequences. Consequences. Under the pressure of my dad, Su Fei dared not be arrogant anymore, behaving with tail between the legs. Later, with the help of the police, this farce has only temporarily ended. However, but Su Fei's father's reputation has always made me uneasy, so I called dad. Dad, I heard Su Fei's father is involved in both legal and illegal activities. Very powerful. Sometimes even the police can't do anything to him. But dad just smiled faintly. Don't worry. As for Xiao Zhang, I know you. Just wait for him to come and apologize. That's it. Meanwhile, Su Fei ran back home and cried.
cried for a while. Su Gang also seems to have just returned home from outside. There's still a hint of red on his suit. Looking at Su Fei's bruised and swollen face, angrily reprimanded. What does crying like a ghost and howling like a wolf look like? You're still a man. But Su Fei embellished the recent events and told Su Gang all about it. Su Gang heard it and slammed the table, full of anger on his face. What's wrong? Heavens. In this Liangcheng, someone dared to touch my son. Su Gang. They really have eaten the gall of a male leopard. As he said, he waved his hand. I'll call someone to find a place. Then he took out his phone and made a call. After talking for a while, turned to ask. Su Fei. What's the name of the classmate you hit? Su Fei was taken aback. Hastily spoke up. His name is Lin Sun. My last name is Lin. Su Gang was stunned for a moment. I don't know why. His eyelids twitched fiercely. What about his father? It seems like his name is Lin Baowang. Su Gang suddenly widened his eyes at the words. Is it called Lin Badian? Su Fei clapped his hands. Yes, yes, yes. Let's call him Lin Badian. Dad, you are really smart. As soon as the words fell, Su Gang's angry face instantly turned pale. Then he sat down on the ground, pale and bloodless. In an instant, even the thought of death crosses my mind. The position I have now is almost entirely thanks to Lin Baishan's support. Almost all of it is due to Lin Baishan's promotion. I used to hang out with Lin Badian when I was young. Lin Baishan's ruthlessness far surpasses his. It's over. The sun has caused trouble. Brother Lin, this is going to be ruined. The next day, I unexpectedly found a group of people gathered outside the villa. Taking a closer look, Su Fei is among them. I thought I was being sought out for settling scores. Unexpectedly, as soon as dad appeared, Su Gang made Su Fei kneel down with a thud. He even slapped Su Fei hard in front of dad. Just as Su Gang was about to kneel down and apologize, dad helped him up. According to reports, when dad was young, Su Gang once saved dad's life. So Su Gang has achieved what he has today. In Su Gang's eyes, dad is like his own father to him. In the end, this matter came to an end under Su Fei's deep regret. In the following days of prosperity, I also became more accustomed to the life of the wealthy. Every day, I took Air Pang to eat delicious food and drink spicy drinks. But I have to say, Air Pang is really lucky. He can even pick up a masseuse while getting a foot massage. Hey, hey, Sun, can I ask you a favor? Air Pang said to me in a flattering manner. I was a bit surprised. Air Pang doesn't usually ask for help. It seems like there's something he really can't handle on his own. So I asked him what it was. Air Pang, I'm sorry. Soon Gu, didn't I just start dating a girlfriend? He really likes Shui Jiqian. Isn't it perfect that he's coming to our Liancheng for a concert these days? I'm thinking of giving him a surprise, but I really can't afford that ticket even if I had the money. Can you use your rich second generation power? Help a brother out. Without a second thought, I agreed. After all, a brother's matter is my matter. Air Pang was so touched. Not long after, I just got home. I saw my mom walking towards me with her hands behind her back. Want to give me a little surprise? I was instantly surprised. Mom, you're not holding Shui Jiqian's concert ticket, are you? Mom looked at me with a surprising look, asking me how I guessed it. There's no mystery at all. I thought to myself, geez, mom really warmed my heart. Then mom chuckled. It took mom a lot of effort to get this. You did cost me a little money. There are four in total. Just enough for our family of three. It's just right for you to bring a girlfriend. Then I awkwardly said, Mom, I don't have a girlfriend. Furthermore, I don't have one either. But I want to give the tickets to Air Pang's girlfriend. So I told mom about Air Pang's request. Mom isn't stingy either. Agreed without hesitation. If that's the case, I think your dad might not like this kind of scene. You bring Air Pang along. The four of us will go together. The time quickly arrived. On the day of the concert, countless people had already gathered inside a stadium in Liangchang. Air Pang, his girlfriend, and I walked through the crowded crowd towards the venue. But this intimate couple in front of us, I really regret not walking with mom. For bear-like bodyguards escorted her. Had already seated mom in the middle of the front row at this point. After more than 10 minutes of crowding, the three of us finally made it to the entrance. When I saw popcorn being sold nearby, suddenly became interested. So I walked towards the counter. Hello, give me two buckets of popcorn. Two completely different voices sounded. I was stunned by the sound. Why does this voice sound so familiar? Subconsciously turned to take a look. It's actually, actually the fairy sister. I really didn't expect to see the fairy sister here. I thought that the casual encounter that night was just a beautiful encounter. Now being able to meet her. It's really a blessing from heaven for me. It's you. The fairy sister was also a bit surprised to see me. I quickly replied. What a coincidence, fairy. 
I suddenly realized that I don't seem to know the fairy sister's name. The fairy sister noticed my embarrassment, casually said, My name is Cheng Shi. I heard the sound. A glint of light flashed in my eyes, then also introduced. That's Lin Sun, my name. But Qing Shi nodded gently. I know. I was a little surprised. Has the reputation of the richest son spread already? Qing Shi looked at my dumbfounded expression and smiled. She didn't make any unnecessary explanations. As a result, the boss waved the popcorn in his hand and left. And then I felt like like slapping myself in the face. Lin Shui. That Lin Shui. You are such a failure. How can you let the fairy sister pay? Not proactive at all. I felt extremely regretful. I actually forgot to ask for your contact information. The boss of the popcorn shop looked at me and jokingly said with a smirk. The girl I like. My face turned red. But I didn't deny it. Hey. Young people. It's normal to like pretty girls. But that girl looks like a fairy. It's probably hard to pursue her. Although your looks are not bad. But your financial resources must be sufficient. Good luck. Young man. I awkward smiled after paying. I said thank you and then left. But the boss watched me leave. But murmured strangely. Why does this guy look so familiar? Then widened his eyes. Holy cow. This is the son of the richest man. On the other side. Su Qingxi just returned to her seat. Then heard the complaints of her best friend. Sure sure. Why are you so slow to buy popcorn? Do you want to starve this princess to death? Then snatched the popcorn from Su Qingxi's hand. Said. By the way. Sure sure. I just saw you talking to a little boy. What's up with that? Jiang Yunxiao suddenly went up curiously. Su Qingxi is a talented woman at South University. She's also the first goddess of kisses at South University. There are not a thousand, but at least 800 rejected men. She can count on one hand the number of times she's spoken to a boy. So this left Jiang Xiaoyun 10% surprised. But Su Qingxi calmly pushed her away. Moving past this topic, the faint brain has started. Qian Qian has entered. You've also made it to your VIP seat. Sitting next to mom. Finally, the long-awaited Shui Jiqian has appeared. His appearance immediately triggered a roar of laughter from the audience. The atmosphere on site is very lively. Several songs have come and gone. Shui Jiqian is about to start messing around again. Dear friends, how are you? Shan Qian waved her arms towards the cheering audience, causing countless fans to cheer. Thank you all for coming to Liangcheng to attend my concert. Now it's time for our interactive segment. Next, I'd like to randomly select a lucky audience member to come on stage and sing a song with me. The words caused the whole venue to erupt. Countless fans excitedly reached out their hands, hoping to be that lucky one. The level of excitement even caught Shui Jiqian by surprise, then helplessly said to everyone, since everyone is so enthusiastic, then let's have the lighting technician randomly select 321 action. Shui Jiqian gave the order. Suddenly, a beam of light started moving through the audience. But in an instant, the light abruptly stopped at the seventh row. My mom and I also looked over curiously. Then I widened my eyes in surprise. My face was full of disbelief. Because the beam of light was shining on none other than fairy sister. Su Qingxi was momentarily stunned in his seat. Countless eyes fell on him, making him feel particularly uncomfortable. The entire audience also widened their eyes. There's actually such a beautiful girl at the scene. It's really worth it to come to this concert. At this moment, the voice of Shui Jiqian came again. Good. So, please give a round of applause for this beautiful lady to come on stage. While Su Qingxi sat in his seat, seemingly hesitating about something. But a few seconds later, he still stood up. The tall figure walked straight to the stage. My eyes never left Su Qingxi for a moment. Many male fans were making a commotion in the audience. Let Su Qingxi and Shui Jiqian hug for a moment. I was so angry in the audience that I gritted my teeth. Mom looked at me in surprise. I found that my emotions haven't been quite natural since the spotlight shone on that girl. My emotions haven't been quite natural. Then mom seemed to understand something. Quietly took out the phone and sent a message. On stage, Su Qingxi and Shui Jiqian had a brief conversation. Decided to sing a duet called Unexpected. As the music played, Su Qingxi took the lead in singing. As soon as his voice came out, the whole audience erupted in enthusiastic applause. Her voice is sometimes hoarse, sometimes ethereal. Material. It's refreshing to listen to. Even Shui Jiqian looked at him in surprise, very pleasantly surprised by his performance. And I was sitting in the front row, immersed in the singing of the fairy sister, as if I had melted into love at this moment, accompanied by an unexpected ending. The whole audience looked in amazement at the girl on stage. No one expected that such a beautiful girl would sing with such emotion. I was so excited that I stood up. My palms were almost swollen from clapping, and Shui Jiqian on stage was about to say something. But the next second, he hesitantly touched his own future. Seems like I heard something. Then changed and shouted. Do you all think this young lady sings well? The audience below unsurprisingly responded with a unanimous good.
good. So, next I will continue to select a male friend from the audience to sing another song with this beautiful young lady. What do you all think? As soon as this was said, the male audience below immediately exploded. To sing a duet with such a beautiful young lady. This makes me wake up with a smile even in my dreams. Then, the lighting technician then started the random selection process again. But this time, the lighting technician seemed to be searching for someone. The lighting continued for a full minute without stopping. The audience below was getting a bit impatient. Even Su Ching's gaze on stage is following the lights at this moment. There was a hint of emotion in his eyes. It's fine if it's a girl who's chosen, but if it's a boy, he probably won't perform well because he strongly rejects unfamiliar members of the opposite sex. Finally, the light swept through the back row and returned to the front row, finally coming to a stop under everyone's gaze. There's something fishy, definitely something fishy going on. Suddenly, many men started shouting, I don't accept this. This guy must have saved the galaxy in his past life. On what basis? Many women are also curious. Why does this young man look so familiar? Oh my goodness. It seems to be the son of the recently popular show Fu. He's actually so handsome in real life. And as the person involved, I'm still in a daze. Could it be that the matchmaker is really arranging a relationship between me and the goddess? At this moment, mom, with a smile on her face, slyly slipped her hand into the side, smiling at me. Matchmaker, how is that possible? He just displayed a little bit of superpower earlier. Just now, I saw my son acting strange. Looks like he's interested in someone else. But mom is still very satisfied with Su Ching's condition. If I marry her and bring her home, the genes of the baby born will be so good. Just then, Shui Jiqian on stage spoke up. What are you still standing there for, young man? Come up quickly. I finally came to my senses. I looked up and met the beauty of Su Qingxia. Then I stood up excitedly. But then I realized it was a bad idea. I can't sing Shui Jiqian's songs. Forget it. Let me stand next to Fairy Sister first. And the person chosen for Su Qingxia's event is me. I don't know why, but I felt relieved in my heart. If I have a different interest. If it's this genre, it seems okay. When I stand on the stage. Facing the countless pairs of audience's eyes, my legs started to tremble uncontrollably. What song will this little brother sing? Shui Jiqian then handed the microphone to me. My face must have looked a bit embarrassed. I don't know how to sing your song. I gave a little smile. After saying it, I even felt embarrassed myself. As soon as these words were spoken, the fans were immediately in an uproar. Can't sing. Su Ching glanced at me from the corner of her eye. It's really embarrassing. Although he doesn't really listen to Shui Jiqian, but he still knows a few lines. And I blurted out can't sing. Shui Jiqian also reacted. Turns out you're a fake fan. But after all, it's the organizer's request. Can't just joke around. Then said to me, since you've been chosen, just sing any song. What should I sing? Su Ching's cold voice sounded in my ear. Will you sing when we meet? I was stunned at the words. I looked at the fairy sister's plain face. I was somewhat surprised. Does meet refer to our meeting? Without time to think, I quickly answered. Yes, I will meet this. The two of us decided. Shui Jiqian also tactfully stepped back. Accompanied by the music melody, the audience below was also full of curiosity. They really want to see what kind of spark the guardian sun and the little fairy can create. The air in the venue suddenly became tense. I heard it in the eyes of winter. I woke up by the roadside. Side. Su Ching's performance immediately drew a round of applause, and I was successfully drawn into it as well. I think I'm waiting for my future expectations, but I can't love because of this. My voice is sometimes clear and cold, sometimes scattered. It gives people a fresh feeling. The audience looked at me in surprise. I really didn't expect my singing to be so refreshing. Even Su Qingxia looked at me in surprise. I have to say my performance surprised him a bit. The climax is coming soon. We all sing together. Who will I meet? What kind of people will I encounter? Afraid of being redundant. I will hear all of of it. The wind comes from the subway. Am I queuing up with my hobbies? Everyone is immersed in our singing. Even Shui Zhijian is no exception. He seems to have a kind of illusion. It's as if we, on stage, are stepping on the main characters of this concert. As the curtain falls on this song, the applause gradually resounded throughout the venue, starting from small and growing louder.
Fantastic, I ship you too, so sweet, I miss my ex, our singing even made a crowd of fans cry, it's as if we told a beautiful love story, suddenly, a strange voice rang out from the audience, kiss each other, kiss each other, but the scene suddenly changed, everyone is shouting kiss each other, even my mom is cheering from the audience, watching the audience making a commotion below the stage, my face turns red, suddenly feeling a little at a loss, kissing an audience member so passionately, I kiss or not, then I instinctively look looked at Su Qing's lips and met her gaze for a moment. Su Qing also slowly closed her eyes facing me. Under the atmosphere's influence, I gradually leaned towards Su Qing, gently kissed Su Qing's soft lips, causing the audience to cheer wildly. Finally, the two of us slowly walked off the stage. After Su Qing returned to her seat, she did not sit down immediately. Instead, she turned to look at me, who was wearing a bewildered expression. You took away my first kiss. I let you kiss. I just don't want you to lose face in front of so many people. And don't get any ideas, I'll figure it out. I wish I could find a hole to crawl into. Who can understand what I was thinking just now? I've even chosen the name for our child. There was a big embarrassment written all over my face. Just at this moment, Su Qing's friend grabbed Yun Xiao. Then a glint flashed in her eyes. Hi, hey handsome, I'm Shershur's friend, my name is Jiang Yunxiao, do you like our Shershur? I was taken aback, I was just about to speak, but Su Qingxur timely spoke up to stop Xiao Xiao, we should go, Jiang Yunxiao quickly responded, then he eagerly looked at me, and showed me the QR code on his phone, at this moment my brain was spinning like crazy, adding a friend could get me the contact information of the fairy sister, and get to know the fairy sister, worth it, totally worth it, without saying a word, I quickly scanned it. Just as I finished scanning, Zhang Yunxiao grabbed me by the collar and dragged me away. A few minutes later, I saw the notification of successful friend request on my phone. A smile slowly formed on my lips, but when my mom came back home, my dad looked at me with resentment on his face. His eyes looked pitiful, like a child abandoned by someone. You just left me alone at home to go to the concert. It made things awkward between me and mom. Since we got home, dad has been nagging non-stop, questioning why we didn't take him along. We finally managed to go out as a family. And now this, left at home by the whole family. You didn't even consider my position in the family. Comrade Batian is finally erupting this time. I widened my eyes in surprise. Dad is about to rise up finally going to overturn the usual strictness of the Lin family. Dad's reaction even startled mom. Then he roared angrily. Lin Batian, have you been drinking horse urine? You dare to talk to your mother like that? Once these words are spoken, dad's momentum just dropped by half. What's wrong? What are you talking about? What did you say when you first got together? You've forgotten all the rules. Mom is like a strong woman right now, exuding the aura of the head of the family. Dad's mouth twitched and said, I didn't forget. If you didn't forget, then repeat it for me. Remember it well. First, don't make your wife angry. Second, don't yell at your wife. Third, listen to your wife and everything. Mom crossed her arms and said, then explain it now. What were you doing just now? Yes, yes. Dad's face suddenly turned out. Passion. Family status has directly turned into family status. Let's go. Come with me into the house. Today I'll let you understand who's really in charge of this family. Thinking you're something just because you've made a little money. Mom's anger didn't subside at all. Grabbing dad's ear, she walked into the room. I silently watched the scene. Dare not make a sound. Afraid of getting into trouble. Just then, the phone rang. I took out the newly changed phone. I saw it was a message from Sister Zhang Shui. I immediately ran back to the room excitedly. Hey, is the junior brother there? I quickly replied to the message. Meanwhile, in the rental room, Zhang Yun's lips curled slightly. I sneakily glanced at Su Qingxia blow-drying her hair. Then my eyes shifted. Quickly snapped a photo. I looked at the photo of the fairy sister on my phone. Took a sharp breath. The senior sister in pajamas was simply maxing out the cuteness. She tilted her head slightly while drying her hair. A stunning and charming face was faintly visible. Both pure and alluring. I can hardly imagine. Imagine, how can a girl combine purity, allure, and cuteness, incorporating the aloof and mature styles, without any sense of contradiction, just as I wanted to save it, while admiring it in bed at night? Jiang Yun suddenly retracted it. I'm so angry I could scratch my teeth. Senior sister, doing this will shorten your life. On the other side, Jiang Xiaoyun is smiling like I stole the rice, curiously sizing up Su Qingxia. If the aloof school beauty senior sister and the rich son of a milk dog are together, what kind of spark will be ignited? Then she messaged me again. Do you want Shershur's contact information or not? I immediately replied with a smile. The other party directly proved it with actions. Soon, a friend recommendation was sent. This time, I repeatedly clicked with the speed of being single for 18 years. 
Add, confirm, send, all in one go. After doing everything, I flashed a victorious smile, but suddenly I was completely confused. What have I done? I actually directly added Fairy Sister's contact information. This sudden action won't make people dislike me, right? He won't think I'm very casual, will he? But obviously, it's too late now. Meanwhile, Zhang Yunxiao is undergoing a great ordeal. At this moment, she is sitting in the chair like a primary school student, looking at Su Qingxiu with a wry smile on her face. Sure sure, what are you doing? I'm just chatting with a friend. While Su Qingxiu's eyes remained calm, holding Zhang Yunxiao's phone in her hand, the screen is still lit up. At a glance, it's clear that Zhang Yunxiao has sold herself out. At this time, unaware, I sent a message. Thank you, Sister Zhang Xue. Free now, let me treat you to a meal. After receiving the message, Su Qingxiu looked at the phone. The corner of the mouth lifted with a hint of confusion. Then, the fingers quickly tapped on Zhang Yunxiao's phone a few times. I saw the good news sent by Sister Zhang Xue, and I excitedly walked a few laps in the room. Sister Zhang Xue actually agreed. Of course, my target is not Sister Zhang Xue, but the fairy sister. I can finally get closer to the fairy sister. But then I felt a little uneasy, because I added the fairy sister in the heat of the moment. I still don't know if she will agree. Meanwhile, inside the rental house. Su Qing returned the phone to Zhang Yun. Xiao Xing, ah, Xiao Xiao can betray her best friend for a guy she doesn't even know. When will someone give you some benefits? Aren't you able to push me into someone else's arms? Zhang Yun smiled playfully. Sure sure, did I do something wrong? I just wanted to tease the senior sister for fun. But he took the phone, opened the interface, and took a look. Suddenly widened his eyes. Holy cow. Sure sure, did you write this? Su Qing gently lifted her chin. What's wrong? Zhang Yun repeatedly exclaimed holy cow. Then said, sure sure, do you really agree to go out for a meal with the junior brother? Su Qing sneered and said, did I agree? But the phone is yours, Zhang Yunxiao. What does it have to do with me, Su Qing sure? Zhang Yunxiao looks speechless. You caused the trouble. Now deal with it yourself. Take your time to figure it out. Su Qing sure casually dropped a sentence. Then returned to her own computer desk. Zhang Yunxiao looked at the chat interface. She felt a little worried for a moment. I've agreed to all of this. How can I refuse? What if he refuses? Will the other party spend money to send someone to set me up? Thinking of this, Zhang Yunxiao looked at Su Qingxiu. No, I have to drag someone else into this. At this time, Su Qingxiu opened her computer, suddenly noticed that the contact has a red chair. He clicked in and took a look, suddenly laughed. Goodness, my typing speed is still slow. Got added by that kid. But Su Qingxiu quickly frowned. Usually, only the opposite sex adds him. Except for using the announcement as an excuse. He will temporarily hold back. After dealing with it, then delete any other mails. He basically basically doesn't fake. Just thinking about the duet that night, the eye contact between the two, Su Qingxiu's mind suddenly became a bit confused. How could he be affected emotionally by a guy he's only met three times? Su Qingxiu shook his head, then hesitated for a full 10 seconds before clicking agree. I'm taking a shower at the moment. After Su Qingxiu agreed, waited for a full 10 minutes, but I didn't see any messages from me. Then, Su Qingxiu lightly pursed her lips. What do you mean? Didn't you want to add me? Do I have to initiate the conversation myself? Stay Pinky brother, half an hour later, I came out of the bathroom, wiping my hair while checking my phone screen. Sure enough, there's a message. Joey Chang has approved your friend request. Now we can start chatting. Nicknamed Joey Chang. Angshir. Looking at the profile picture again, suddenly shocked, Sister Su Shui, she agreed to the friend request verification. I'm extremely excited inside, hesitated for half a day. I gathered my courage, typed two words in the input box, Senior Sister. I looked at the blank chat box, fell into contemplation. At this time, Su Qingxiu sent a message. Who is it? Started typing. My name is Lin Sun. I'm the guy who sang with you that night. So it's you. How did you add me? Su Qingxiu replied. I scratched my head. Then I decided to be honest. It was senior sister who introduced you to me. Senior sister won't mind, right? Su Qingxiu saw the reply. A slight smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. Sneeringly glanced at Zhang Yunxiao playing games. See, she just recruited you directly. She's really an honest senior. Then Su Qing took the initiative to start a conversation. Are you confident about getting in to non do with your college entrance exam? I was excited at the words. I was just worried about running out of topics. I didn't expect the senior to understand me so well. So I hurriedly replied, Yes, I got the answer right. I think this college entrance exam score should be around 700 points. Su Qing was a little surprised. The son of the prime minister is actually a little academic overachiever. 700 points are enough to get into Nanda. 
Then she asked me again, Why do you want to take the entrance exam for Nanda? My expression froze instantly. In my mind, I can't help but think of Su Qing's appearance. It was a goal we originally set together. But in the end, only I fulfilled it. This night, I chatted with Su Qing for a full two hours. It was a chat with no real substance. Su Qing noticed that I was quite slow in replying. And each reply made her feel a bit amused and exasperated. I wondered if I was really that terrible. I have to be so careful even just typing a message. Looking at the green and white chat history, Su Qing fell into contemplation. I actually chatted with a guy for so long. Is this really me? Shook my head. Su Qing couldn't be bothered to think about other things. After tidying up, she went to bed. I repeatedly scrolled through the chat records. Every time I look, my mouth corners raise by one degree. In the end, it turned into a silly smile. From the chat, I learned. Su Qingxia is about to enter her junior year. She is majoring in finance. She didn't reveal anything else. I asked if she was chased by a lot of people in school. Her response was, didn't pay attention. Not sure. This made me laugh and cry. Actually, I know that a beauty like Su Qingxia must have a lot of people chasing after her. There are too many outstanding guys in college. I seem to be just too ordinary. Except for money. There's only the handsome face left. I repeatedly looked at the chat records five or six times before I could sleep peacefully. Two days passed. I left early, and I purposely changed my outfit today. I look like a perfect idol trainee. Mom and dad were both shocked by my transformation. Son, are you going on a date? Then, both of them took out their phones at the same time. And I, sitting in the taxi, was directly stunned. Received 10,000 yuan. Received 10,000 yuan. The driver was also startled when he heard this sound. He even laughed and said, Your ringtone is quite nice. I could only smile in agreement. Then I casually opened my phone. I found 20 times the usual amount in my bank account. At the same time, I received a message from my parents. Son is taking a girl out for dinner. You must eat well. Do your best. It's both amusing and frustrating to see you having so much fun. But my heart still feels warm. It's great to have a wealthy auntie. On the other side. In the end, Su Qing was still dragged out by John. Yun. Both of their looks are very eye-catching. They both turn heads when walking down the street. After I got out of the taxi, I immediately spotted the dazzling fairy-like senior sister in the crowd. Of course, there's also Jang. Even from a dozen meters away, I could feel their ethereal aura. Every time I see the fairy-like senior sister, I always think she's so beautiful. So I quickly walked up to the two senior sisters. With a shy smile, I said, Sorry, you two have been waiting for a while. Su Qingxia nodded gently, didn't say anything, but Jiang Yunxiao looked at me with shining eyes. Is it okay? Senior sister is very handsome. I shyly scratched my head. No, the two senior sisters still didn't amaze me. I put in some extra thought for this trip. Jiang Yunxiao heard the sound. Her eyes emitted a hint of glow, asked leisurely. Then tell me, who is prettier, me or Shur Shur? Hearing this, Su Qingxia also looked over. Curious about how I would answer, I instinctively glanced at the two girls. My face looked a bit embarrassed, stammered and said, Actually, both senior sisters are very beautiful. Goddess. No, no. Sister Su Shui looks like a fairy who walked out of a painting. What about me? What about me? Jiang Yun quickly asked in response. I seriously said, Sister Jiang Shui is also very beautiful and has a good personality. She gives people a feeling of being approachable. Hearing this, Jiang Yun's eyes curved into crescents. She smiled and said, So, who do you think is prettier, me or Sister Su Shui? I hesitated for a moment, but then I told the truth. Sister Su Shui. Su Qing slightly tilted her head. A small smile appeared at the corner of her mouth, while Jiang Yun's face turned stiff. Are you polite? I quickly explained. Jiang, please don't misunderstand. I meant you're very beautiful. Well, um, this is me. Su Qingxia looked at my incoherent self. Then she grinned. Looking at me, she said, no need to explain. He's just joking with you. Jiang Yunxiao looked at Su Qingxia speechlessly. It was clearly a dinner for three. Why does he feel unnecessary? I felt a bit embarrassed. The junior already has some goodwill. Are all girls this terrifying? Luckily, Fairy's senior sister is understanding. Little did she know, Su Qingxia was only helping him out because I complimented her beauty. There's no girl who doesn't like compliments. Even though Su Qingxia knows she's very beautiful, but it's more convincing when others acknowledge it. After a brief discussion, we decided to go for hot pot. I can't afford Forest Palace, but hot pot is more cost effective. And Sister Xian wants to have hot pot. Soon, I quickly secured a table and hailed a taxi on the way. Sitting in the car, Zhang Yun brought up a topic. Junior Lin. 
husband. I thought you had a chauffeur. Your family didn't arrange a driver for you? I explained. I'm not used to it. I think it's fine this way. And it's not good to show off by riding in a luxury car. Su Qingshu glanced at me. He's been chatting with me these days. Through our conversations, he learned a lot about me. No way. This silly junior brother had no intention of hiding anything from him. Admitted everything. Zhang Yunxiao, on the other hand, looked envious. When can I live the life of driving luxury cars and living in villas? We soon arrived at the hot pot restaurant. It was still very crowded at this time. And when the three of us walked into the hot pot restaurant, we immediately attracted a lot of attention. No way. For the two girls, they were already the most eye-catching presence in the whole hot pot restaurant. Although I'm also a handsome guy, but in comparison to the two girls, my presence was immediately diminished. I'm basking in the envy and jealousy of others. Under the boss's lead, we arrived at a private room. Wow, you booked a private room? That's really thoughtful. Shui Di really cares about you. Zhang Yun looked at the quiet and spacious private room, instantly surprised. Su Qin didn't say anything on the surface, but her eyes still revealed a hint of satisfaction. After all, there are too many people outside. Their looks will undoubtedly attract attention. They will feel uncomfortable eating hot pot. I can think of this, which shows thoughtfulness. In fact, I didn't think that much. I just wanted to go to a nice place. Is this private room the most expensive or the best? Even when eating hot pot, I have to show my identity as the son of a billionaire. I didn't expect to accidentally leave a good impression. While eating Eating hot pot, the fairy sister always calmly pours me juice. She also keeps adding more food for me. It feels like being surrounded by happiness. We three are very satisfied with this hot pot meal. After resting for a while, we walked out of the hot pot restaurant. The sun was already shining down on us. We found a spot under a big tree to cool off. Thank you for treating us to hot pot, junior brother. Are you thirsty? Wait here for a moment. I'll go buy you a drink. Before I could even respond, Su Cheng pulled Zhang Yu away. I found a clean spot. Just as I sat down, then I heard a puzzled voice. Lin Shui. I paused for a moment. Then I looked up at the other person. I saw Su Qin standing outside the Kimi Tai in a white dress. What are you doing here? I said faintly. Just came out to buy something. My tone was a bit cold, completely lacking the enthusiasm when talking to Su Qin. Su Qin also felt his estrangement. A touch of sadness passed through her eyes, but she still had a smile on her face. You look very handsome today. No wonder you're the son of the richest man. You've changed changed a lot compared to before. You didn't use to dress up much before. I did catch her eye today. In high school, my clothes were very ordinary, although a little handsome, but not that eye-catching. Now I have a bit more confidence in myself. Plus trendy outfits. A proper sunny boy. Su Qin suddenly felt that the boy who used to secretly admire her was becoming outstanding. Unfortunately, he hurt my heart. There's no extra expression on my face. Cold to the point that the world becomes different, right? This is also what you taught me. Su Qin's face stiffened. Lin Sun. Me. I raised my hand to interrupt him. Sorry, we're not that familiar with each other. You can call me Lin Sun or just classmate in the future. Thank you. I've long given up on this girl. Let's just consider it as the excitement of youth gone to waste. Su Qin originally wanted to say something, but was interrupted by another voice. Have you been waiting long? Surely, only to see Su Qingshu walking to my side, although the tone is still as usual plain, but with a hint of gentleness. Seeing the goddess holding two ice creams in her hand, holding one in each hand, instantly made her lose some of her ethereal charm, but gained a bit of liveliness, so cute, and Su Qin saw a sudden addition of a girl by my side, and with some outstanding looks, her face suddenly turned pale and distorted, who is she, Su Qingshu glanced at her, she had just seen Lin Sun chatting with the girl in front of her, for some reason, she felt uncomfortable seeing this scene, so she took the initiative before Jiang Yunxiao, Su Qingshu was a little surprised, because the girl in front of her was still very beautiful, at least on the same level as Jiang Yunxiao. Does this junior have such good popularity with women? Junior, who is this? Look, this is the difference. The senior sister uses this to show respect for strangers, while Su Qingxiu's question to her had a somewhat interrogative tone. Lin Sun, of course, stood on the side of the senior sister, and introduced her first, this is my high school classmate, we just happened to run into each other. He then turned to Su Qing and said, This is my senior sister, Su Qingshu. The two women looked at each other knowingly. Su Qing's face couldn't hide her discomfort. She was the first to ask, and Lin Sun actually answered this girl first, and didn't even bother to introduce her name. Ouch. Su Qingshu's eyes flashed with satisfaction. She was very clever and could tell from Lin Sun's differential treatment. It had to be said that she felt a bit pleased. And she also sensed an unusual atmosphere. 
So she reached out to Su Ching, Hello, I'm Su Qingshir. Hello, I'm Su Qingshir. Note that it's I am, not my name is, a small difference that asserts her position. It had to be said that Su Qingshir had high emotional intelligence. Su Qing's face stiffened as she also reached out and shook Su Qingshir's hand, Hello, I'm Su Qing, Lin Sun's classmate from high school. Su Qingshir smiled lightly, What a coincidence, you also have the surname Su. Yes, it's quite a coincidence. Sister Su, just now Lin Sun said you are his senior sister? How did you two meet? Su Qing's gaze was sharp. Senior sister? Taking a step back to move forward, trying to emphasize her older age? Ha! Little sister, you're too naive. Su Qingshir's eyes flashed with a hint of mockery as she said, I studied at Nanjing University and happened to meet Lin Sun. Nanjing University? What a coincidence. Senior sister, I also want to apply to Nanjing University. Su Qing smiled. Weren't you planning to apply to Peking University? Lin Sun interjected coldly. Su Qing's face stiffened, feeling annoyed. Lin Sun, you idiot, you're ruining my game. Su Qingshir took the opportunity to say, it's not easy to get into Peking University. Su Cheng didn't want to show weakness and said, yes, I also feel uncertain, so I decided to stick to my original plan and apply to Nanjing University. After a pause, she added, this was the goal we set together when we studied together with Lin Sun. We were almost together every day studying, so we set this goal together. Bringing out the big guns. Lin Sun's face darkened. Little girl, you're blocking my pursuit of the senior sister. But what Su Qing said was true, and he couldn't refute it. Conflicted, what to do? Su Qingshir glanced at Lin Sun, seeing his expression, a hint of anger flashed in her eyes, and she smiled. Is that so? Then Lin Sun must have done well in his exams, thanks to you. Su Qing raised her eyebrows, I also have to thank Lin Sun, without him, I'm afraid I wouldn't have progressed so quickly. This girl is quite scheming. Su Qingshir smiled and pursed her lips, are you two a couple now? For some reason, although it wasn't directed at herself, Lin Sun sensed a hint of hostility in her words. He quickly explained, no. We have a clear and innocent relationship, nothing more. The hostility disappeared, crisis averted. Su Qing's face looked a bit unpleasant. Su Qingshir was surprised, I thought you two were already together. Su Qing was about to speak, but Lin Sun quickly said, Senior sister, I'm thirsty. His tone carried a hint of coquetry. Su Qing looked at him in astonishment, she had never seen this side of Lin Sun before. Su Qingshir was also caught off guard, but she quickly reacted and found it amusing. Then put your things down. She handed the ice cream to Lin Sun. Su Qing. For a moment, Lin Sun was stunned. He wondered if he was dreaming. The fairy-like senior sister was feeding him ice cream? Was this for real? Hmm. Su Qingshir's voice sounded a bit puzzled. Lin Sun snapped out of it and quickly took a bite of the ice cream. The cool sensation made him feel a sense of satisfaction, and more than that, happiness. Suddenly, carrying things didn't seem so tiring. Su Qing looked at the intimate couple. Her face couldn't hold up anymore. She originally wanted to say that Lin Sun had confessed to her, but now, there was no need. The clown turned out to be herself. Um, I have something to do, I'll leave first. As she turned around, Su Qing's eyes turned red uncontrollably. Watching Su Qing leave, Su Qing's momentum suddenly cooled down. She glanced lightly at Lin Sun and said, put it down. Lin Sun was confused, what's wrong? What happened? He obediently put down the things. Su Qing handed him the ice cream that he had bitten and asked indifferently, are you happy that I fed you ice cream? Happy. Lin Sun nodded subconsciously, then quickly explained, Sis. I. Su Qing glared at him and then said, Is that your sweetheart? Her tone was somewhat dissatisfied, don't ask how Lin Sun could tell. He immediately explained the situation between them. For him, this matter was like a thorn that should be removed as soon as possible, so as not to feel guilty when facing his senior sister in the future. After listening to Lin Sun's explanation, Su Qing's expression softened a bit. She unexpectedly looked at him and asked, Do you like this kind of thing? Lin Sun scratched his head, Not really, after all, when two people often spend time together, there's a bit of ambiguity. But after the last time, it's completely impossible between us. Senior sister, you can rest assured. Rest assured? Su Cheng smiled ambiguously, What should I? Rest assured about? What are you in a hurry for with me? Lin Sun broke into a cold sweat, It's nothing, I have a loose tongue, I misspoke. At the same time, he also felt a bit lost. Yeah, senior sister doesn't like me, why would she care about such a small matter? Lin Sun couldn't hide his emotions, his whole face drooped. Su Qing was surprised to see this, she didn't expect her words to cause such a big change in this little guy's emotions. After Su Qing left, she was struggling in her mind. Her performance today was too abnormal, not at all like something Su Qing could do. 
She actually competed with someone's first love, just like being jealous. Well, using the word jealous is not appropriate. Did she like Lin Soon? No way. What did she feel for him? It seemed that when she was with him, her mood would relax a bit more than usual. And when she was self-hypnotizing, she accidentally said the last sentence. Obviously, her words hurt this little junior. For a moment, Su Ching didn't know how to speak. Comforting people, she seemed to have never done that before. However, Lin Sun's emotions came and went quickly, and he soon returned to calmness. Licking the ice cream, he exclaimed, this ice cream is delicious. By the way, senior sister, where is sister Jiang? Su Ching looked at him strangely and then said, she's still in line. She probably went to buy soda. Lin Sun nodded, he looked at the ice cream in Su Ching's hand and reminded her, senior sister, if you don't eat the ice cream soon, it will melt. Su Ching came to her senses, looked at the ice cream in her hand, and sure enough, under the high temperature, most of the ice cream had melted, and the cream was flowing down, about to flow onto Su Ching's fair fingers. Lin Sun quickly reached out to help her catch the flowing cream. Unexpectedly, Su Ching also moved at the same time, blocking the ice cream with her other hand. And Lin Sun's reaching hand just happened to hold her other hand. For a moment, both of them were stunned. Sis, senior sister, I didn't mean to. Lin Sun's face suddenly became extremely embarrassed, as if it were a cooked shrimp. But then again, senior sister's hand was so soft, it felt so comfortable to touch. Su Ching looked at Lin Sun, who was anxious to explain, and said helplessly, why are you so jumpy? Lin Sun looked at her in surprise, not understanding why she would say that. Su Ching said lightly, so, can you let go of my hand now? How long do you plan to hold it? Ah. Lin Sun realized that he was still holding her hand and quickly let go, looking at his self-conscious appearance, Su Ching sure found it interesting. Even his cold face softened a bit. So beautiful, Lin Sun was stunned. Su Ching sure made a sound, what did you say? Lin Sun's mouth lifted, openly praising, senior, you are really beautiful. Su Ching sure pursed her lips, thank you. She felt something was off and quickly used the ice cream to cover her embarrassment. Lin Sun smiled, feeling that sometimes he should be bolder. Although having a secret crush was beautiful, without the courage to confess, it would only lead to regrets. Thinking of this, Lin Sun's mouth lifted, revealing a natural smile, and his whole demeanor seemed to have changed. Su Qingxi looked at Lin Sun in surprise, realizing that this junior seemed to have become more handsome. It seemed like he had gained a bit of a male god vibe from the sunny boy. What was this unexpected sense of security? What's wrong with you? Why are you so happy? Jiang Yunxiao, who had just returned, curiously looked at Lin Sun. Lin Sun saw her and smiled, you're back, senior Jiang. Jiang Yunxiao nodded and then handed him a plastic bag, here, your water. After thanking her, Lin Sun first helped Su Qingxi open a bottle of soda and handed it to her, and she politely accepted it. I say, you two, why do I feel something's not right? Jiang Yunxiao curiously looked at the two of them. Su Qingxi was startled, then thought of what had just happened and suddenly felt awkward. Oh my! Qingxi, why are you feeling shy? That's rare! Jiang Yunxiao looked at her best friend as if she had discovered a new continent. Shut up! Su Qingxi gave her a faint glance. Lin Sun, as if nothing had happened, drank his soda, as if everything had nothing to do with him. He felt like he was blossoming inside. He felt that after today, his relationship with Senior would progress further. After another hour of strolling, Su Qingxi, understanding that Lin Sun was carrying too many things, suggested ending the day. Soon, Lin Sun called a car for the two girls, put the bags in the trunk, and waved goodbye to them. Lin Sun took another car back home. Young master is back, the maid respectfully greeted Lin Sun. He nodded slightly, hello. He walked into the hall, leaving the maid with a lovesick look. Young master looks really handsome today, in the living room, Gu Yin Yan was doing her skincare. Recently, she had been diligent in her skincare, and the effect was very obvious, completely different from the ordinary woman she used to be. Mom, I'm back, Lin Sun greeted. Gu Yin Yan nodded and then suddenly realized, my son is back? Come here, quickly. Lin Sun was about to go upstairs when he heard her and walked over. What's wrong, mom? Gu Yin Yan asked eagerly, how was it? Did you have a good time? Lin Sun nodded, it was good, just the sun was a bit strong, everything else was fine. Gu Yin Yan said seriously, who asked you about that? I mean, how was the date? Lin Sun helplessly smiled, mom, I just took her out for a meal, it's not really a date. Gu Yin Yan smiled, taking a girl you like out for a meal, isn't that a date? Lin Sun was speechless. What did you eat? Hot pot. Hot pot? As the son of the richest man, you took her for hot pot? Is the money I gave you not enough to take her to a nice place? Gu Yin Yan widened her eyes. Lin Sun was puzzled, what's wrong? Hot pot is delicious. He saw. 
seen you're enjoying it. Gu Yan Yan said with regret, son, if you want to pursue a girl, you have to put in more effort. Don't be stingy with money, just spend it, we're not short of money. Girls like generous boys. Lin Sun crossed his hands, please, not all girls like rich guys. Anyway, please don't worry about this matter, okay? I will handle it. I'll go to my room first. I've been out all day, I need to take a shower. After saying this, Lin Sun didn't wait for his mother to respond, and quickly got up and ran. Hey, this child. Gu Yan Yan looked at her son, unable to help but cry and laugh, sighing. After returning to his room, Lin Sun received a message from his fairy senior sister. Fairy senior sister, I'm here. Is this a safety check? Lin Sun's mouth curved into a smile, feeling somewhat happy, and replied, What a coincidence. Me too. Fairy senior sister, you've been carrying things all day today, working hard. Lin Sun widened his eyes, somewhat incredulous that his fairy senior sister would actually care about people? Goodness. Unconsciously, have they progressed to this point? Lin Sun was about to reply when Su Qingxer sent another message. Fairy senior sister, are you free tonight? Lin Sun was surprised and quickly replied, I'm free. After the college entrance examination, not having to work summer jobs, he was basically a lazy person, flipping however he wanted. Fairy senior sister, will you accompany me somewhere tonight? Lin Sun was full of surprise, the senior sister took the initiative to ask me out? Ha ha, she asked me out. He replied, okay. After ending the chat, Lin Sun was full of excitement. He was so surprised. Originally, being able to accompany the fairy senior sister for a day of shopping was already a great honor, and he never expected an unexpected joy. Shower. He had to take a fragrant bath. In no time, the sound of Lin Sun singing in the shower could be heard. It is said that when boys are showering, they always think they are a famous singer and sing passionately. At the same time, in the rented house. So tired. Zhang Yunxiao stretched lazily, her graceful curve stunning, but unfortunately no man had the privilege of seeing them. Su Qingxia glanced at her and said, tidy up your things. Most of them were bought by Zhang Yunxiao, and she only had a few of her own. Zhang Yunxiao had to reluctantly tidy up, like a puppet on a string. Su Qingxia sat on the computer chair, looking at the messages on her phone, and smiled slightly. She didn't know what had gotten into her, actually making an appointment with a guy she had only known for less than a week, late at night. Maybe she was going crazy. Jiang Jiang. Ha, huh? can I borrow your car tonight? You're going out? Where are you going? To see my dad. Oh, do you want me to accompany you? No need. Well, be careful on your own, darling. Mm, Lin Sun stood by the bridge, sending a message to his fairy senior sister on WeChat, indicating that he had arrived. But the fairy senior sister did not reply. It was now exactly 7.30 in the evening, the evening breeze was slightly cool, and the weather was not very good, with a forecast of rain. Lin Sun had just realized this and couldn't help but silently pray, Oh God, today is my first date with the beautiful senior sister, please don't let it rain and ruin it. For tonight's appointment, well, it couldn't really be called a date, for the sake of meeting the senior sister, he changed into a new outfit, and his hair was slightly styled, looking a bit fluffy. He also put on a thin checkered jacket, looking spirited and handsome. The two had agreed to meet on the bridge, where they had first met. After hesitating for a moment, Lin Sun sent another message, but the other party still did not reply. What's going on? Has it started raining on the senior sister's side? Did she not leave the house? A faint sense of disappointment surged up. Just then, a small electric scooter stopped beside him, and a cold voice called out to him. Hey, what are you daydreaming about? Lin Sun was startled, and when he looked over, he was pleasantly surprised. Senior sister. At this moment, Su Qingxia was sitting on a small electric scooter, her long legs touching the ground, wearing a pink helmet on her head. Tonight, Su Qingxia was not wearing a dress, but a short-sleeved shirt with jeans, still wearing the same white sneakers, her hair simply tied up, wearing a pink helmet and a mask, only revealing a pair of cold eyes. Lin Sun had never imagined that the beautiful fairy like Su Qingxia would actually ride a small electric scooter. He had always thought that a sports car would be more suitable for the fairy's senior sister but today he saw a different side of her, however, this discovery surprised him, as if the fairy was not so unattainable. What to do with a bit of cuteness? What are you staring at? Get in the car, Su Qingxia reminded the boy when she noticed him staring at her. Oh, okay, Lin Sun quickly moved closer. Su Qingxia handed him a helmet and said, put it on. Lin Sun took it and found it to be a new helmet with the tag still on. Senior, did you buy this for me? Su Qingxia lightly responded, this is Jiang Yunxiao's bike, and there's only one helmet, so I went to the store to buy one for you. It was also an explanation for her late arrival. Lin Sun's eyes showed indescribable affection. 
Ha, this is the first time Senior has bought something for me. He decided that he must put this helmet on the bedside when he returned. Just return it to me before we go back, Su Qingxi suddenly spoke. Ha, Lin Sun was stunned, then somewhat disappointed. Was she just lending it to him to wear? I was just kidding, Su Qingxi's mouth curved into a beautiful arc, but unfortunately, Lin Sun couldn't see it behind the mask. Idiot, why would she take back something you've worn? And it was originally bought for you, right? Lin Sun immediately turned his worry into joy. Thank you, senior. He quickly put on the helmet and happily hopped onto the back seat. Wait. Su Qingxi suddenly said. What's wrong, senior? Lin Sun's face turned red as he looked at her with some confusion. Su Qingxi said expressionlessly, I'll drive? Lin Sun realized and wanted to give himself a big slap. Look at his emotional intelligence. How could he let senior drive? Just now, he was so focused on sitting behind senior, thinking he might even be able to put his arm around her, that he was a bit absent-minded and didn't react. Sorry, sorry, senior, then should I drive? Lin Sun, who had already sat on the back seat, suddenly felt relieved. Hmm, Su Qingxia responded, then used her long legs to move to the back seat. Senior has really long legs. Lin Sun couldn't help but sigh. Then he also pulled himself together, not wanting to embarrass himself again, and sat in the driver's seat. He could still feel a bit of warmth underneath him, thinking that it was where Senior had just been sitting. Lin Sun's face turned red again, feeling a bit awkward. Slow down, Su Qingxia's voice came from the back. Okay, Senior, hold on tight, Lin Sun responded, then gently turned the handle, and the electric scooter slowly moved forward after a few turns. Su Qingxia sat in the back seat, not reaching out to hold Lin Sun's waist, but instead holding onto the iron bars on both sides of the seat. She looked at Lin Sun's back, his broad and sturdy back giving her an inexplicable sense of security. And being so close, she didn't smell any sweat. Did the junior take a shower? Su Qingxia had never been so close to a boy before, and she had never thought that this scene would happen to her. But her mind was in a struggle, and ultimately, a voice in her heart told her that some things, you have to try to know if you can accept them. So she was slowly changing herself, with Lin Sun as her target. During this time, she found this boy to be somewhat special, different from other boys, so she was willing to try to get closer to him. If it was not what she wanted in the end, then. But being with the junior made her character involuntarily gentler, and she couldn't be as indifferent to him as she was to others. Perhaps there was something shining on him that attracted her. It still needed further investigation. Senior, where are we going? Lin Sun's question came from the front. Su Qingxia said, I'll navigate for you, just follow along. Okay, Lin Sun responded, then his somewhat timid voice came again, um, senior, if holding onto both sides is tiring, you can hold onto my clothes. Su Qingxia was stunned, she didn't expect Lin Sun to say that. To be honest, holding onto both sides did make her feel a bit awkward, her arms were tired, and she had to maintain a distance at all times, which made her feel overly tense. After some thought, she quietly withdrew her hand and then grabbed the clothing around Lin Sun's waist. Hmm, Su Qingxia, you are a cool goddess, and he's just a younger brother. Why are you feeling shy and nervous? Come on, take the initiative. Following Su Qingxia's directions, Lin Sun was surprised to find that the road led to the cemetery. Along the way, when they passed by a flower shop, Su Qingxia stopped Lin Sun and went in alone. A few minutes later, she came out with a bunch of white chrysanthemums in her hand. Lin Sun's expression immediately became serious. He realized that this trip seemed very important to the fairy-like senior sister. What are you nervous about? As they continued on the road, Su Qingxia also noticed Lin Sun's tense body, both of them were sweating slightly. Lin Sun's hoarse voice sounded, Senior sister, is my outfit today too casual? He thought that the senior sister was only inviting him to go shopping and eat, and he didn't expect to come to the cemetery. Would his loser appearance be inappropriate at the cemetery? Su Qingxia was stunned for two seconds, then she realized what the boy was worried about and said softly, It's okay, you look good like this, very handsome. The boy was very sensitive and noticed her thoughts, and he also considered the problem from her perspective, which indicated that this boy was paying attention to her. Thinking of this, a faint smile appeared at the corner of Su Qingxia's mouth under the mask, and her eyes, the only visible part, also softened. Unfortunately, Lin Sun, who was driving, was destined not to see it. The cemetery at night looked very quiet, with only a few strangers walking around, apparently visiting the deceased. Lin Sun parked the electric scooter near the entrance and accompanied Su Qingxia into the cemetery. Senior sister, watch your step, Lin Sun reminded softly. The streetlights here were not very bright, and the road could only be seen vaguely. After Lin Sun's reminder, he quickly turned on the flashlight on his phone to light the way for Su Qingxia. Su Qingxia nodded gently. 
A few minutes later, the two of them had already entered the cemetery and arrived in front of a tombstone. Su Qingxi looked at the gray and white portrait on the tombstone, lost in thought for a moment. Lin Sun also looked at the tombstone. The portrait was of a middle-aged man, with a very serious appearance, but also with a kind and gentle expression between his eyebrows. His features were full of righteousness, indicating that he must have been an extraordinary person when he was young. Su Shang, that was his name. There was no need to ask, Lin Sun also knew that this was Su Qingxi's father. She, the senior sister, had no father. For some reason, Su Qingxi's figure at this moment seemed a bit lonely, desolate, and sad. Lin Sun's heart ached, and a feeling of pity arose, magnified, wishing he could hold the senior sister in his arms and be her support. Su Qingxi was lost in thought for a while as she looked at the portrait, then she slowly bent down and placed the bouquet of flowers in front of the tombstone. He is my father. He was an extraordinary police officer in his lifetime. In a bomb disposal incident, he fought alone with the criminals to prevent harm to the public. In the end, as he was about to grab the bomb, he was held by the criminals and fell into the river, and the bomb exploded. He never came back. Su Qingxi spoke softly. Lin Sun knew that she was speaking to herself, and his expression was complicated. Is that the bridge where we first met? Su Qingxi nodded gently, yes. Lin Sun opened his mouth, wanting to say something, but didn't know how to start. That night, she also thought she was going to jump into the river, and he spoke up to stop her, which led to their first encounter. It was at this moment that Lin Sun understood why the cool goddess would specially talk to a stranger. Yes, Su Qingxi's personality had never been to actively strike up a conversation with a boy, and she also disliked boys. To be honest, if it had been someone else that night who seemed to want to jump into the river, she would have spoken up too. When she saw someone jumping into the river, she would think of her father who fell into the river. At the time, it was just that person, and it happened to be him. At this moment, Lin Sun didn't know whether he should feel fortunate or what emotions he should have. It's too complicated. Su Qingxi looked at the tombstone and said slowly, My mom always advised my dad not to rush ahead at work, but my dad always just smiled and brushed it off. In the end, there was only a banner and a cold, icy bank card lying on the bedside table in my mom's room, and he never came back. My mom lost her husband, and I lost my dad. Sometimes I think, what kind of impact does the family of a sacrificed police officer suffer? They are also a husband, a wife, a child, a father. Salute to every police officer who silently dedicates themselves to society. Lin Sun couldn't hold back anymore at this moment, so he made the boldest decision of the day. He gently embraced Su Qingxi and said softly, Senior sister, if you feel uncomfortable, just cry it out. There's no one else here, and I'm willing to bear your tears. Uncle, he's very great. I think, if he were given another chance, he would make the same choice. He's an extraordinary person. Living well is the greatest repayment to him. Su Qingxi did not resist Lin Sun's embrace. On the contrary, at this moment, she showed an unprecedented vulnerability. After so many years, her disguise finally came off at this moment, after finding someone to rely on. Lin Sun's embrace made her feel a strong sense of security, and her intense heartbeat gradually calmed down. Su Qingxi, like a little cat, gently rubbed against Lin Sun's embrace and slowly closed her eyes. At this moment, she was not the aloof goddess Su Qingxi, nor a fairy, just a fragile ordinary girl. Regardless of what happens in the future, right now, she just wants to catch her breath. Lin Sun gently stroked Su Qingxi's back. At this moment, he didn't feel any romance, only deep heartache. He decided that he must make senior sister happy every day. He would protect senior sister. The two of them continued in this emotional state for several minutes. After Su Qingxi completely calmed down, her voice was a bit hoarse as she said, had enough of hugging? Lin Sun gently released Su Qingxi, without the usual shyness, and asked gently, feeling better now? Su Qingxi nodded gently and said, thank you. Lin Sun grinned, senior sister, actually I think you're fine like this, not as unapproachable as usual, it makes you seem more approachable. Su Qingxi glanced at him lightly, what's the point of being approachable? Just to attract a bunch of people to bother me? Lin Sun was stunned, then realized. Yes, if the fairy-like senior sister was really so gentle and approachable, wouldn't it attract a horde of pursuers? Then his rivals would increase dramatically, wouldn't they? No, absolutely not. He could only keep this side of senior sister to himself. Su Qingxi glanced at Lin Sun, who was gradually getting into the role, and warned with a hint of threat in her voice, tonight's events, just keep it to yourself. Lin Sun immediately assured her, don't worry, senior sister. I promise not to tell anyone. The fact is, senior sister is actually a gentle girl. Su Qingxi's face stiffened, a hint of killing intent flashed in her eyes. She looked at Lin Sun with a half-smile and warned, Junior brother, come here. What is it, senior sister? 
Lin Sun eagerly approached. Unexpectedly, Su Qingxia reached out and grabbed his ear, giving it a gentle twist. Ow! Senior sister, spare me! Be gentle! I was wrong! Boom! At this moment, there was a sudden loud noise in the sky. Both of them were startled. Is it going to rain? Lin Sun frowned. Su Qingxia said softly, let's go back. Lin Sun felt a bit regretful. Were they going back so soon? Whoosh! The heavy rain came without giving them any time to react. So soon? Senior sister, let's find shelter from the rain first. Lin Sun said hurriedly, subconsciously grabbing Su Qingxia's hand and running towards the exit. Su Qing's poem looked at the hand held by the boy, feeling somewhat strange. She seemed to be not rejecting the closeness of the elementary school brother. This guy always did some subconscious things that made her feel warm. But it seemed that this feeling was not bad either. The sudden heavy rain caught them off guard, with the first thunder and then the rain. Although Lin Sun and the two of them had run fast enough, they still got wet. They ran to a shelter and barely avoided the rain. They leaned against a billboard, with a piece of iron sheet 50 centimeters wide, just enough to cover one person's position. The heavy rain seemed to want to wash away the summer heat all at once, showing no signs of stopping. Due to being soaked in the rain, both of them were now a little wet, and Su Ching's black hair was also wet, with a few wet strands sticking to her cheeks, giving a pure and indescribable charm. And because the clothes were wet, the clothes clung to their bodies, revealing her perfect figure, the short sleeves clinging to her body, Lin Sun could even see her fair skin through the clothes, and a touch of white. Lin Sun's breath paused, this, this was too tempting, right? The heavy rain accompanied by cold wind hit them, and the fine sand like rain mist hit them, plus the cold wind, Su Qing, who had a slender body, immediately sneezed and shivered. Seeing the situation was not good, Lin Sun quickly took off his coat and said to Su Qing, Senior sister, wipe your hair with us. Su Qing looked at the coat Lin Sun handed over, hesitated for a moment, and then took it, saying, Thank you. She took off the khaki hair tie and handed it to Lin Sun, hold this for me. Lin Sun took it with an O sound. Su Qing did not mind Lin Sun's worn coat and used it to wipe her hair. They had already hugged, so what was wrong with using his clothes? Lin Sun watched Su Qing wipe her hair and showed a foolish look. Previously, Zhang Yunxiao had also sent him a photo of the fairy sister wiping her hair, but he had not had time to save it before it was withdrawn. Now, he actually saw the senior sister wiping her hair with his clothes, so elegant. Her profile was so beautiful. Lin Sun felt that he loved her even more. But he didn't just stand there, he casually tied the hair tie around his wrist, then took out his phone, opened the camera, and secretly aimed it at Su Qing. The clothes blocked Su Qing from seeing Lin Sun's actions. She didn't notice. Ha ha. Lin Sun was delighted, focused, and ready to take a picture. His first private photo of the senior sister was about to be born. Click. However, reality was cruel. Just as Lin Sun pressed the button, a click sound rang out. Lin Sun's face froze. Ha! Su Qing looked over in confusion, and happened to see Lin Sun aiming his phone at her. Lin Sun. Oh no! Social death. Forgot to turn off the sound. Lin Sun was going crazy. What to do? Who can save him? How to face this situation? Su Qing looked at him with a smile that was not a smile, taking a sneak shot? Lin Sun smiled awkwardly, no, I, I was taking pictures of the rain scene. Is that so? Let me see? Su Qing smiled lightly. Little brother, can't even lie. Lin Sun looked at Su Qing's smile, and was stunned. Her hair was still a little damp, and her clothes were clinging to her body. At this moment, she showed a charming smile, which was simply irresistible. Click. Lin Sun didn't hesitate and pressed the button again. Su Qing raised her eyebrows, are you trying to pull a tooth from a tiger's mouth? He had the nerve to take a sneak shot right in front of her. This move, she wouldn't let him get away with it. Lin Sun quickly put away his phone and said seriously, senior sister, don't just chat, hurry up and dry off, or you'll catch a cold. Su Qing glanced at him, but didn't ask him to delete the photos. Since he wanted to take them, then take them. Of course, if it were someone else, she would have forced them to delete the photos long ago. After wiping her hair, Su Qing planned to wring out Lin Sun's coat. I'll do it. Lin Sun took the coat and twisted it, and the water drops fell. After a few twists, the coat was dry. Then, Lin Sun put the dry coat back on Su Qingxia. Thank you, Su Qingxia said, then looked at the rain. Lin Sun also gazed at the heavy rain. Neither of them spoke, but there was an invisible understanding between them. The heavy rain lasted for more than 10 minutes before gradually subsiding. Suddenly, Su Qingxia said softly, it seems like the car is parked in the open. Lin Sun also smiled bitterly, yeah, I wonder if it can still be used after being soaked for so long. If it's broken, well, he'll compensate for a car. Shall we go? Su Qingxia looked at Lin Sun and asked. 
After thinking for a moment, Lin Sun couldn't bear to see his senior sister getting wet in the rain, so he said, How about this, I'll have my family come pick us up. My home is nearby, just 10 minutes away. Su Qingzhi shook her head, No need, Lin Sun, let's give it a try? Lin Sun was stunned, Give it a try? Try what? Is senior sister confessing to me? Oh, is it true? Su Qingzhi said softly, I'm not in a good mood today, I want to stand in the rain. Lin Sun realized, feeling somewhat disappointed. Oh, so senior sister just wanted to try standing in the rain. He had misunderstood. No, senior sister's words are easy to misunderstand, right? But, you might catch a cold like this. Lin Sun hesitated. Su Qingzhi said, I exercise regularly, and my physical condition is okay. Lin Sun didn't dare to say anything more after hearing this. He usually only focused on studying and didn't exercise much. Let's go, to the car. After Su Qingzhi finished speaking, she stepped into the rain. Wait for me, senior sister. Seeing this, Lin Sun also rushed out without hesitation. Okay, just dried the hair, and Su Qingzhi was soon soaked again. When they arrived at the electric scooter, as they expected, the scooter had already been thoroughly washed by the rain, even the helmet was full of water. After a quick adjustment, Lin Sun carried Su Qingzhi away. Drive slowly, the road is slippery. Su Qingzhi said to Lin Sun. Don't worry, senior sister. I won't let you fall. Lin Sun said loudly with a smile. Su Qingzhi's lips curled up, her mask had long been lost, and her natural beauty, washed by the rain, was stunning. She slowly reached out, passed through the young man's ribs, and held his sturdy waist, gently leaning her cheek against his back. Lin Sun, who was driving, was suddenly overwhelmed by the sudden happiness. His back was enduring the pressure with great elasticity, and from the touch, he could feel how amazing Su Qingxi's figure was. What's more, it seemed that the fairy-like senior sister was gradually accepting him. This means he still has a chance, doesn't it? In fact, Lin Sun understood that Su Qingxi was just turning into a firework fairy tonight. After tonight, she would seal herself again. But her trust in him and her honesty made him feel honored. The young man's dream was not just a dream. He was gradually conquering the iceberg with his passionate heart, melting her. On the busy street, people were bustling about, uncles and aunts were hiding under umbrellas, staring blankly at the rain. There were also young men and women, walking alone in the rain, moving slowly, as if the rain was cleansing their souls. Linson suddenly remembered a line from the internet, I walk in the rain because no one knows I'm crying. Halfway through, the rain started pouring again, so Linson could only drive towards a hotel. Of course, it was just passing by, but since they were already there, Lin Sun decided to book a room. Senior sister, let's go into the hotel and take a shower. We're all wet. Lin Sun parked the car in the parking lot of a certain budget hotel and said to Su Qingxi. The girl got out of the car, wiped the water off her face, and nodded in agreement, okay? Hearing this, Lin Sun finally breathed a sigh of relief. He knew that if they continued to stand in the rain, both of them would probably catch a cold. So he took Su Qingxi into the hotel. At the front desk, Lin Sun was in a dilemma. How many rooms should he book? One, is it too sudden? Will the senior sister think too much? Su Qingxi hugged her shoulders and stood quietly behind herself without speaking. It seemed that the cold rain had made her uncomfortable. Lin Sun immediately said to the front desk, Hello, give me two rooms. Seeing Lin Sun and Su Qingxi drenched, the front desk also kindly introduced, Sir, we have a VIP room here with clean clothes, a washing machine, and free dining. Do you need it? Change clothes? Lin Sun's eyes lit up, just about to speak, when Su Qingxi suddenly spoke, no need, just a regular standard room, one. One room? Lin Sun's mouth lifted, unable to suppress it. Whatever the senior sister said, he politely said to the front desk, hello, just book a standard room. The front desk was a bit disappointed, but quickly arranged for the two to check in, sir, miss, your room number is 0520, please keep your room card. Lin Sun took the room card, thanked them, and then entered the elevator with Su Qingxi. We're just going in to take a shower and change clothes. There's no need to book two rooms or a VIP room. Even if you have money, you can't spend it recklessly, you know? In the elevator, Su Qingxi took the initiative to speak, her voice sweet and a little cold. Lin Sun quickly nodded, what the senior sister said, I won't do it next time. The senior sister is really nice, she's already saving him money before they even enter the room. He he. Swiping the card to enter the room, the standard room is also quite large, after all, it costs nearly 200 yuan, and the facilities are basically all there. Senior sister, you go take a shower first, I'll see if I can buy some clothes. Lin Sun said to Su Qingxi. Su Qingxi glanced at him, and she could tell that Lin Sun was even colder than her at the moment, after all, he was wearing short sleeves. So she said, you go in first, I'll buy the clothes, 
and you don't know my size, do you? Lin Sun was about to say something, but Su Qingxie frowned, let you go in first, then go in, don't dawdle. Yes. Lin Sun saw the situation and quickly slipped into the bathroom. Su Qingxie smiled lightly, then took out her phone, which had been wrapped in a plastic bag on the way. She selected a set of clothes for herself on Meituan, and bought a set for Lin Sun as well. Although she didn't know Lin Sun's size, it's easy to guess a guy's size, it's basically that big. Senior sister, did you buy the clothes? Lin Sun's voice came from the bathroom. Su Qingxie glanced at the bathroom door, then walked over to the closet, took out a men's robe, and said, the delivery will be here in a while, you should put on the robe first. Okay, senior sister, um, could you hand me the robe, um? Lin Sun hadn't finished speaking when the bathroom door opened a crack, and a robe was handed in. Lin Sun's face was either hot or embarrassed, all red, and he quickly took it. Thank you, senior sister. Hurry up and put it on, I still need to shower. Two minutes later, Lin Sun walked out of the bathroom in a robe, not too exposed. It's a good thing it's a robe, not a towel. Su Qingxie went into the bathroom, and soon the sound of running water could be heard. Lin Sun sat on the sofa in a daze. The sound of the water in the bathroom made him feel unreal. He and the fairy senior sister, have they already reached the point of staying in the same room? Is this progress too fast? At this moment, he was so close to the senior sister, and for the first time he heard the sound of the fairy senior sister taking a shower. In his mind, he saw the fairy senior sister's forbidden figure, tall and noble, especially when he thought of the faintly visible spring light when the senior sister's clothes were wet in the rain, Lin Sun's blood surged. He was only 18, at the age of youthful vigor, and encountering a beauty like Su Qingxie, he couldn't help but have improper thoughts. The fairy senior sister standing under the shower. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. No. Lin Sun, you can't be so impure. How can you take advantage of someone in their vulnerable state? The senior sister is a fairy. Sacred and inviolable, how can you have such thoughts? Pa. Lin Sun gave himself a slap, and the restless blood immediately calmed down, leaving him feeling somewhat helpless. If only he had booked two rooms. Ding dong. The doorbell rang, and Lin Sun got up to answer it. Hello, your takeout is here. Lin Sun took the two packages and said to the delivery person. Thank you, you've worked hard. You're welcome, I wish you a happy life. Remember to give us a 5-star review, dear. Lin Sun closed the door and said to the senior sister who was still in the shower, Senior sister, your clothes have arrived. There was a moment of silence in the bathroom, and Su Qingxie's voice came through, Put my clothes outside the door, I'll take them in a moment. Lin Sun responded and did as he was told. After about 10 minutes, the bathroom door finally opened. Lin Sun had already changed his clothes and was sitting brushing his hair. When he heard the sound, he instinctively looked up and was immediately captivated. Su Qingxie had put on the temporary clothes she had bought, her hair wrapped in a white towel, making her look like a bun. She wore a white shirt on top and loose pants on the bottom, the reality of what happened yesterday. He even had to thank the rain from yesterday. By the way, mom, I still have over a month of summer vacation, right? I want to go to the gym, Lin Sun said. Sorry, I made a fool of myself. Li Er Pang awkwardly laughed. At this time, the door opened, and Gu Yan Yan walked in holding a computer. Son, use mom's computer, your computer has been used for so many years, it must be very slow. Gu Yan Yan smiled and handed the computer to Lin Sun. Thank you, mom. Lin Sun was delighted and took his mother's computer. The second-hand computer, I remember your dad got it from a friend when he was working at the construction site. Gu Yan Yan looked at the second-hand computer on the table, a hint of nostalgia in her eyes, Lin Sun smiled and asked, did you really find out about the results from working at the construction site? Gu Yan Yan smiled awkwardly and replied, Actually, your dad got it from one of his employees. Lin Sun was speechless. Alright, let's not dwell on the details. Hurry up and check the results. Gu Yan Yan urged, eager to see how well her son had done. After all, he had studied hard for over a decade for this day. Lin Sun nodded and then turned to Li Er Pang, saying, Pangzi, check yours first, using your exam registration number. After a few clicks, the page started to load. Before long, Ponzi scores appeared in front of them. Chinese, 101, Mathematics, 88, English, 66, Physics, 60, Chemistry, 65, Biology, 71, Comprehensive Science, 196, Total, 451. Ha! Huh? 451? Ponzi, not bad. This score exceeds your expectations, right? Lin Sun exclaimed in surprise. Pangzi was also pleasantly surprised to see his score. Wow, I've made it. No need to work on the construction site anymore. This score meant he could go to university. Impressive. Gu Yan Yan praised. Hee hee, thank you, auntie. 
Lin Gu, it's your turn, check your score. Li Erpang urged. Lin Sun smiled and calmly switched accounts, then clicked to log in, and his scores appeared. Ah! Gu Yen Yen suddenly screamed. Pongzi's eyes widened in shock. Wow! Lin Sun raised his eyebrows as he looked at the scores. Chinese, 136, Mathematics, 145, English, 140, Physics, 93, Chemistry, 100, Biology, 97, Comprehensive Science, 290, Total, 711. 711. 711. Oh my god! My son scored 711! Gu Yin Yan muttered to herself, covering her mouth as tears streamed down her face. Seeing this, Lin Sun quickly handed her a tissue. Mom, why are you so excited? Why are you crying? Gu Yin Yan held Lin Sun's face in her hands, full of tenderness and pride. Mom is happy. My son is so outstanding. It's all worth it, she said. Lin Sun was also overwhelmed with emotion. Yes, my son didn't let you down. Mom and Dad, your efforts over the past decade were not in vain. Li Er Pang watched the scene and felt a tinge of emotion in his eyes. It was so touching. He thought that if he showed his scores to his parents, he would probably get a harsh lesson from his father's seven wolves. Thinking of this, Li Er Pang shuddered and dared not think further. After learning about her son's score, Gu Yen Yen immediately called Lin Ba Tian and left the room. Lin Sun's score of 711 was beyond his expectations. He had expected to score full marks in chemistry, but the high score in Chinese was a surprise. He could only attribute it to good luck. But at least he didn't disappoint his family. Lin Sun took out his phone and took a picture of his scores, and the first thing he did was send it to Su Qingxi. Unexpectedly, she replied immediately. Very senior sister, very good. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Lin Sun immediately smiled like a child. He replied, senior sister, from now on, I am your junior brother. Please take care of me. Smiling, fairy senior sister, you have always been my junior brother. Lin Sun couldn't help but burst into laughter. Li Erpang, who was nearby, couldn't help but ask, Lin Gu, why are you so happy? Lin Sun glanced at him and said, you will soon have a stepmother. What? Li Erpang was stunned, then his eyes widened. All right, you tricked me. Take this, my physical attack. Lin Sun. On the other side, Lin Batian was holding a meeting when suddenly a phone rang. Everyone looked over, curious about who would dare to have their phone not on silent during a meeting. Lin Batian quietly took out his iPhone 15. Everyone quickly looked away. Oh, it's the boss, sorry to disturb. Hello? Lin Batian answered the phone in front of everyone. What? Lin Batian suddenly exclaimed, startling the senior executives. What's wrong? What's wrong? Is the company going bankrupt? Is the boss in trouble? Everyone is confused. Ha ha. Good. My son is really something. Good. Good. I'll be right back. Lin Batian immediately smiled, looking as happy as a chrysanthemum. He hung up the phone and said to the senior management, meeting adjourned, we're leaving an hour early today. Everyone? What the heck? Did the sun rise from the west? Didn't you hear? Lin Batian looked around. Everyone quickly packed up. Ahem, my incompetent son's college entrance exam results came out today. He only scored 711 points. I have to go talk to him. Lin Ba raised his hand and looked at the gold watch on his wrist, pretending to be nonchalant. The senior management, who were packing up, froze for a moment, and then, Wow! Is the young master really that amazing? He actually scored over 700 points? Wow! Terrifying! I didn't expect the CEO to be so outstanding, even the young master has the potential. Truly strong genes. Yeah, my rebellious son dropped out early. He can't even compare to the young master. The young master is amazing. The CEO's education is remarkable. Yes. Hearing the satisfying words, Lin Batian felt comfortable. He waved his hand and said, I declare that the entire company will have a three-day paid vacation. He's rich, so he can do whatever he wants. Oh yeah. The CEO is wise. I second that. After the college entrance exam results came out, the class group where Lin Sun was exploded. Wow. I scored 498. 50 points higher than usual. Impressive. Did you meet the cutoff for the top universities? What are you thinking? This year's cutoff for top universities is after 530. Then I just made it. Amazing. You're all academic overachievers with boundless prospects. Hey, you scored 666? That's impressive. What are you talking about? I only got 388. Bro, watch your words. Hey, can you guys share your scores? I'm curious. Plus one plus one. Soon, a message with mentions was sent out. Class teacher at Lin Sun at Su Ching at Luli at class president at student committee, 
How did you guys score? As soon as the class teacher spoke, the group became lively again. Luli, teacher, I messed up. I only got 617 points, 20 points lower than estimated. Class president, hee hee, I made it to the top universities. Student committee, make way, make way, I'm going to show off. Student committee, image, crowd A, wow, terrifying, so impressive. Crowd B, both the first and second are just showing off, I only admire the student committee. Crowd C, impressive, 666, truly 666 points. With this score, you can get into a top university. Crowd D, my class is full of talented individuals, I'm so pleased. Su Ching's slender fingers scrolled across the computer screen as she eagerly waited for someone to speak. Then she clicked and another page appeared, showing her college entrance exam results. Looking at her results, Su Ching couldn't help but smile. Class group. Crowd D, why aren't Lin Sun and Su Ching sharing their scores? Show us and blind my dog's eyes. Crowd C, it's common knowledge that Lin Sun and Su Ching always dominate the top two spots in the class. Even their worst scores are better than 666, right? Student committee, what do you mean by that? Crowd C, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to look down on you. Su Ching, image, onlookers, wow, I'm in awe, truly a goddess. These scores are amazing. I'm uneducated, please speak. 700 points, I almost thought 700 was the maximum score, but it's only 50 points off, academic overachiever. Su Cheng scored 700 points? Lin Sun and Li Pang glanced at each other, somewhat surprised. Hey, isn't this amazing, Sun, you're impressive, right? Su Ching has always had good grades. Li Pang said nonchalantly. Lin Sun shrugged, whether her grades are good or not, it's none of my business. Sun, everyone is curious about your results now, aren't you going to show off and blind these guys with your titanium alloy dog eyes? Li Er Pang was eager to try. Lin Sun thought for a moment and nodded, alright, let's show them what we've got. The competitive spirit of the youth was strong, and Lin Sun was no exception. He had never thought of keeping a low profile. Lin Sun, image, as soon as Lin Sun announced his results, the group chat was flooded with messages. Sun GE is awesome. The main character always appears last. 711, scored 11 points higher than Su Qing. With this score, Qing Bei is secured. More than secured? I think it's almost guaranteed. Basking in the joy, my internet has been down for two hours, hoping that when the results come out, I can have half of Sun GE's score. In the high school headmaster's office, Lin Sun's headmaster suddenly exclaimed. His colleagues all looked at him with curiosity. The headmaster chuckled and said, two of my students scored over 700. Over 700 points. And it was two students. Instantly, his colleagues looked at him with envy and praised him. Lin Sun glanced at the messages in the class group, most of which were uninteresting, so he decided to leave and asked Li Er Pang, Ponzi, what are you planning to do next? Li Er Pang replied, I've decided to work in a factory with my girlfriend for a month during the summer break. Lin Sun was surprised, isn't your girlfriend already working part-time? Li Er Pang waved his hand, I asked her to quit that job. After all, it's not quite appropriate for my girlfriend to work as a masseuse. What about you, Sun Ji? What are you planning to do? Me? I'm planning to work out, and not much else. Envious of the rich and carefree. Get lost. After bidding farewell to Li Er Pang, Lin Sun breathed a sigh of relief. The college entrance examination had finally come to an end. High school was truly an unforgettable place, where many people experienced their first love. Lin Sun was no exception, but for him, it was an unfinished story. He opened the WeChat of the fairy-like senior sister and sent a message. Lin Sun, senior sister, what are you doing? Soon, Su Ching replied. Fairy-like senior sister, I'm packing up, I'll be back at school tomorrow. Lin Sun was shocked and quickly replied, so soon? Fairy-like senior sister, I was originally just on vacation here, planning to stay for a month, but there are still things to do at school. Her family's situation was not as extravagant as Lin Sun's, and she had her own part-time job. Since there was still some time before the start of the semester, and she was already a junior, she had plenty of time, so she planned to make use of it. Lin Sun suddenly felt a sense of loneliness. With the fairy-like senior sister gone, it seemed like a lot of the fun had disappeared. Did this mean that he could only see the fairy-like senior sister when school started? After thinking for a moment, Lin Sun replied, Take care, senior sister. On the other side, Su Ching was sitting at her computer desk, looking at the WeChat message, and a smile appeared on her face. She replied, I'll be waiting for you at South University. Why are you smiling so happily? Zhang Yunxiao suddenly appeared behind Su Ching and asked curiously. Su Ching casually closed her phone and said, Have you finished packing? Zhang Yunxiao said, there's still a little left. 
Don't change the subject. Tell me, who are you chatting with, that little fresh meat? Su Qing glanced at her, guess? Jiang Yunxiao exclaimed in surprise, Su Qing, I've noticed that you've changed a lot in the past month in Liangcheng. You used to hardly ever smile, but now, every time you look at your phone, you smile. What's going on? Su Qing was taken aback. Apparently she hadn't thought about this question either. But thinking about it carefully, it was true that she wasn't as cold as before. Why? Unconsciously, the figure of Lin Sun appeared in her mind. By the way, are you still chatting with that junior? Jiang Yunxiao suddenly asked. The more she thought about it, the more she felt that something was wrong. It seemed like her best friend was showing symptoms of being in love. No way? But her best friend hadn't gotten close to any guy. Oh, it seems like only that junior high school student. Su Qingxi said lightly, Do you have nothing to do? Why are you so concerned about this? Zhang Yinxiao stared at Su Qingxi with wide eyes, Oh my god, you're trying to cover it up. Covering up is the truth. No way, are you really interested in the younger brother type of guy? What's the problem? Su Qingxi felt that there was no problem at all. Who said that you can only find a boyfriend who is older than you? Isn't the little milk dog appealing? Zhang Yinxiao marveled, Wow, 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 our aloof goddess is about to have a change of heart. But if it's Lin Ziox Weidi, it should be quite interesting, right? By the way, we will be leaving tomorrow. Do you want to say goodbye to him? Jiang Yunxiao teased her best friend. Su Qingxi said, no need. She had already said it. The senior sister returned to South University, and the college entrance examination results came out. Lin Sun followed his own wishes and applied to South University. In the days that followed, apart from three meals a day, he was basically immersed in the gym. Exercising. Of course, the early stage was very difficult. Linson couldn't even finish a hundred push-ups in one breath for the first three days, and the next day he woke up either with a sore back or weak hands. Exercising is so difficult. Whenever he was tired, Linson would think of his senior sister, and he would be motivated again. In addition to exercising, Linson also chatted with his senior sister every day. Although it was just a few simple greetings, it could make Linson happy for a long time. He also understood that his senior sister was usually busy, so he didn't dare to disturb her, so he also asked Zhang Yinxiao, his senior sister, to find out about Su Qingxi. Now, he and Su Qingxi, well, should already be considered friends, right? According to Zhang Yinxiao, he seemed to be Su Qingxi's first opposite-sex friend. Lin Sun couldn't contain the smile on his lips. So, as the summer vacation drew to a close, it was almost time to go back to school. Without a doubt, Lin Sun was admitted to South University. During this time, he even received a phone call from the leaders of Qingbei to greet him and ask if he wanted to apply to Qingbei. With a score of 711, this score was already very high, although he was not the top scorer in the college entrance examination, he had already exceeded the admission score of Qingbei. Of course, Lin Sun refused, for him, no matter how good Qingbei was, it couldn't compare to having a fairy-like senior sister at South University. Fatty was admitted to a local engineering college in Liangcheng, undergraduate. Being able to go to college, and still an undergraduate, was a rare thing in Fatty's hometown, and it was said that there was a big banquet that caused a sensation in the whole village. During the application period, Su Qing also sent a message asking Lin Sun if he had already applied to South University. Lin Sun was stunned when he saw the message. Su Qing? Why is she still in my contacts? Didn't I delete her? After so long, Lin Sun almost forgot that Su Qing was still in his contacts. But he was too lazy to reply to her. September 2nd, South University Gate. Today is the day for new students to start school, and the young faces are looking at the place where they will live for the next few years with curiosity in their eyes. She spoke, she warmly took the suitcase from Lin Sun's hand. Lin Sun smiled shyly, the senior sister was so enthusiastic. He took out his phone and casually took a picture, sending it to the fairy like senior sister. Lin Sun, senior sister, I'm here to register. Lin Sun, following another senior sister to register. On the other side, Su Qingxi, who had just finished work and was about to go to the cafeteria, felt her phone vibrate, and when she looked at it, a smile appeared on her face. The junior brother is here. However, she quickly opened the picture that Lin Sun had sent her. In the picture, a senior sister in uniform was leading the way with a suitcase in front, probably the other senior sister that Lin Sun mentioned. The skirt of the girl's uniform was not long, revealing a pair of fair and beautiful legs, and she happened to turn her head and smile at the camera which was captured. Su Qingxi frowned, hesitated for a moment, then changed direction and walked towards the school gate in the opposite direction of the cafeteria. The fairy-like senior sister did not reply, leaving Lin Sun somewhat disappointed, but he soon followed the senior sister to the main base for receiving new students in the finance department. Hey hey hey! Enin, 
Where did you pick up this handsome young man from? Most of the receptionists were girls, and when they saw Lin Sun's handsome face and his puppy-like aura, they immediately started to tease. Yin Yin was the senior sister who brought Lin Sun, and she smiled and said, he is a new student in our department. Handsome, isn't he? Don't say, he really is quite handsome. After receiving dozens of new students, we finally have a handsome guy. Does the handsome guy have a girlfriend? Where had Lin Sun seen such a scene before? He didn't expect these senior sisters to be so enthusiastic, making him a bit socially anxious. Hello, senior sisters, um, could you help me with the enrollment procedures? Lin Sun politely asked. Come, I'll help you with that, take out your admission letter. Lin Sun did as he was told and took out the admission letter, then signed some documents according to the procedure. And your WeChat ID, and your phone number too. A senior sister said with a mischievous look in her eyes. Ha, huh, do I need to provide that too? Lin Sun was taken aback. Yes, yes. The senior sister nodded eagerly. Of course, I'm just kidding. How else would I get your WeChat ID? At this moment, Yinin suddenly laughed. Don't listen to their nonsense. Come on, the procedures are done. I'll take you to your dormitory. Hey, hey, hey. Yinin, you've gone too far. The other girls all teased. Yinin, he he, trying to flirt with my junior brother? Sorry, I've already set my sights on him. Of course, I'll add him first. Lin Sun, who understands? On the first day of school, I encountered campus fraud. Just as Lin Sun was about to follow Yinin to the dormitory, a commotion suddenly broke out in the crowd. Wow! That girl is so beautiful, is she a senior sister? He he, is the junior brother a new student? Let me introduce you, that is Su Qingxer, the recognized campus beauty of South University. When you see her in the future, remember to keep your distance. Why? He he, you still want to be stubborn? Let me tell you, there are enough people at South University who want to pursue the goddess to circle the entire campus. She is not only the campus belle, but also a talented student in the finance department. Last year, she won many awards with her professional knowledge. She is a high and mighty fairy. Sister Sue has a cold personality. Most people dare not approach her. Many boys who confessed to her were rejected. No one in Nan University can catch her eye. I wonder what kind of person Sister Sue likes. The girl was wearing a floral dress, with a tall figure and a beautiful face, exuding a mature charm. Even the girls admired Su Qingxer, realizing that they were not even worthy of jealousy in front of this talented woman. Lin Sun was also stunned at this moment, because Su Qingxer was walking towards him, and their paths were about to intersect. Sister is so beautiful. Lin Sun was amazed as he looked at Su Qingxer. After not seeing her for a while, she became even more charming. The fairy-like sister had regained her goddess-like image, and the once gentle side seemed to have been left in the rainy days of the cold city. Soon, Lin Sun became nervous, because Su Qingxer seemed to be walking towards him. Could it be that sister is here to meet him? Despite his disbelief, there was still a hint of hope in his heart. Amidst the many gazes, Su Qingxer stopped in her tracks, only two meters away from Lin Sun. Everyone was confused. What was happening? Why did the goddess stop? Hi, S. Sister. Lin Sun smiled and waved at Su Qingxer. Seeing this scene, everyone showed disdainful looks. Kid, are you thinking too much? How dare you greet the goddess? Do you think the goddess is here for you? You must be blocking the goddess's path, right? Yeah, that's it. Yining, who was helping Lin Sun with his luggage, whispered to him, Junior, you better move aside quickly, you're blocking Sister Su. Ha! Huh? Lin Sun was stunned, then awkwardly shifted to the side. Did he really block Sister? Su Qingxia glanced at Lin Sun and lightly asked, Have you completed your enrollment procedures? Lin Sun quickly nodded, Yes, I have. Su Qingxia nodded, then looked at Yinin who was standing beside him, Where is his dormitory? Yinin instinctively replied, Building 7, Room 307. Thank you. Su Qingxia looked at Lin Sun, Bring your luggage and follow me. Without waiting for Lin Sun's response, she turned and walked away. Lin Sun was dumbfounded, but after reacting, he became excited, Okay. I'll be right there. I'm sorry, sister. I can go to the dormitory by myself. You don't have to trouble yourself. Lin Sun quickly took the luggage from Yinin's hand and chased after Su Qingxia. Ah. Yinin looked at Lin Sun's back in disbelief. Junior, remember to add me on WeChat before you leave. After the two of them walked away, the silent atmosphere suddenly exploded. Oh my god. What did I just see? Is Su Goddess talking to a guy? Is the impossible happening? Is the pig flying? This is a big deal. Who is that new student? How can he make Sister Sue personally take him to the dormitory? He seems a bit handsome, but I don't think he's worthy of Sister Sue. I think I've seen him before. 
His parents drive a Rolls Royce. Excuse me. Oh my god. Quickly inform the guys in the dormitory, there's an opposite sex near their goddess. For a moment, the campus forum was filled with discussions. Some even took a photo of Lin Sun and Su Qingxiu together and posted it on the forum. Su Qingxiu was a highly watched figure at Nan University, so when this topic emerged, it quickly rose to the top of the forum. Damn it! Who is this kid? My dear friends, within five, exchanged contact information and gradually became acquainted. Where did you serve in the army? Lin Sun asked curiously. Lu Gang smiled, on the border. After his retirement, many people had asked him where he had served, and this was always his answer. Even after retiring, he couldn't disclose the address of his former unit due to a confidentiality agreement and a sense of duty. Lin Sun nodded, somewhat envious, life inside should be very disciplined, right? Unlike him, who could stay up until 2 or 3 in the morning. Lu Gang waved his hand, it's not as good as you think. Discipline depends on the situation, whether you're carrying a gun or a crutch on your shoulder. Lin Sun didn't understand and didn't dwell on it. Can you have a girlfriend in the army? Lu Gang's face softened at the question. I had one in high school, and it's been five years now. Impressive. Lin Sun gave him a thumbs up. Currently, he was the only single guy in the dorm. Guys, I'm here. An excited shout came, and a guy rushed in. He had a messy, dyed hairstyle, a few pimples on his face, but overall looked very energetic. Hey, there are two of you. Hello, I'm Go Shengli. I live in the Tung Lo Wan district 10 kilometers away. They all like to call me Goshen. I'm Lin Sun. I'm Lu Gang. Lin, Lu. Go, go. The three smiled at each other. Lin, Lu, how old are you guys? Go Shengli asked casually. I'm 18, Lin Sun said. I'm already 20 this year because I served for two years, Lu Gang added. Go Shengli earnestly clasped his hands. I'm 19 this year. How about we become sworn brothers of different surnames? This, the younger brother goes first. Younger brother Go Shin greets the two elder brothers. Go, you're too polite. Lin Sun and Lu Gang quickly returned the courtesy. This guy is too enthusiastic, isn't he? So, can the two elder brothers help the younger brother move his luggage downstairs? Go Shengli suddenly grinned. Lin Sun and Lu Gang's faces froze. Wow, he was waiting for them here. But the two didn't refuse and followed Go Shengli downstairs. Five minutes later, the three returned, each carrying a large pile of things. I understand you bringing a basketball, Go, but what's the meaning of bringing a basketball hoop? Lin Sun held a small basketball hoop and wondered. Hee <laughs> hee, to be honest with you guys, I'm a big shot in Tun Lo Wan. I participate in every basketball game in the district and win prizes every time. This is one of the prizes I won, so I thought I'd set it up in the dorm to practice shooting. Lin Sun was speechless. This reason was too strong, and he couldn't argue with it. With Lin Sun and Lu Gang's help, the third roommate's bed was also tidied up. After exchanging contact information, the three sat down to chat. When will the last roommate arrive? I don't know, but it should be soon, before tonight. It seems like there's a meeting at 7.30. Wow, there are a lot of beautiful girls in our finance department, aren't there? Oh, don't even get me started. I heard that the campus bell is in our department. Her name is Sue something. Sue Qingshur. Yes, yes. Man, Lin, how do you know her as a new student? Because senior Sue is really beautiful and famous. Really? I have to meet her someday. Lu, don't you have a girlfriend? Having a girlfriend doesn't stop me from admiring beautiful women. Impressive. Finally, at 6 in the afternoon, the last roommate arrived at the dorm. His name was Wu Dei, a rather shy and tall, thin guy with glasses, a bit introverted. But with Gua's encouragement, they were able to chat harmoniously. After everyone was settled in the dorm, Lin suggested going out for dinner. Gua said, let's go. I'll treat you guys to dinner, help me with the luggage. Lu said, let me treat you, I still have a lot of money left from my discharge fee. Wu Di suggested splitting the bill. Lin said, stop arguing, I'll treat you guys. Gua insisted on treating them. Lu agreed, and Wu Di had no objections. Lin said, let's not argue, I'll treat you guys. Alright, we'll take advantage of your generosity. Lu also agreed. Guo was curious, Lin, you come from a good family, don't you? Lin nodded, it's okay, my family is one of the richest in the country. So you're that, huh? What's going on? Guo widened his eyes. Lu and Wu Di also looked at Lin in shock. Lin shrugged, I do have some influence. Impressive. You're my brother from now on. If you don't mind, I'd like to call you my adoptive father. After making up his mind, the group headed to the second cafeteria, which had better food options. Many universities have more than one cafeteria, each with its own characteristics. The first cafeteria is usually operated by the school, 
while the second cafeteria is contracted to outside vendors and offers a wider variety of flavors. As they walked through the campus, the group admired the scenery. So many beautiful, oh, I mean, so many beautiful landscapes. Lin was quite handsome, nearly six feet tall, with a messy hairstyle and a fair, attractive face. As they walked, several girls glanced at him. Excuse me, can I add you on WeChat? A girl stopped Lin and asked, looking a bit embarrassed. What and the others teased Lin. Lin was taken aback, then politely declined, sorry, I, I didn't bring my phone. His roommates were speechless. How could you refuse like that? Let me handle it. The girl looked disappointed and walked away. Lin, it's so awkward to refuse like that, isn't it? Guo said, putting his arm around Lin. Then how should I refuse? Lin asked, genuinely unsure. Watch and learn. I'll show you. Guo pointed at himself, then took out his phone and slightly scanned the area. His eyes lit up, and he walked over to a girl. Excuse me, can I add you on WeChat? The girl looked surprised, then glanced at him with disdain and said, Sorry, you're a good person. She then avoided Guai. Like he was a plague. His face turned stiff. Ha ha. Lin and the others laughed heartily. What are you laughing at? Did you learn anything? Guo blushed. Lin chuckled. I learned. Guo, you're a good person, huh? Lu and Wu De laughed even harder. After dinner, it was almost 7 o'clock. They decided to head to the classroom, class group. They had already joined a few days before school started, and a notification with the counselor's profile picture was posted to Yutsai Building 104 for a class meeting. A young man with glasses walked into the classroom, holding a folder in his hand, and stood at the podium. Everyone, please be quiet. Um, hello everyone, I am your counselor, my name is Luan Dai, the name may sound a bit strange, so, barring any surprises, I will be guiding you through a wonderful campus life for the next few years. The teacher's alma mater is also Nine University, and was once the president of the student union. After graduating from school, I happened to apply for the teacher, so the age difference between us is not great. If there is anything you don't understand in your daily life, you can always communicate with the teacher, and the teacher will do his best to help everyone. All right, the teacher has finished introducing himself. Next, it's the students' turn to introduce themselves. Each person will come to the podium to let everyone recognize their faces. Don't be shy, according to your student number, starting from number one. Hello everyone, my name is Huang Chouyan, from Kyoto, born in 2000. I like to read, play the piano, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Go Shenli, from Causeway Bay, male, interested in women. Hello handsome and beautiful, my name is Zhang Xiao, not arrogant, I have a somewhat introverted and social phobic personality, I hope everyone will take good care of me. Soon after a round of self-introductions, it was Lu Gang's turn. Comrades, hello, my name is Lu Gang, a retired soldier. If anyone needs help in their daily life, feel free to ask. Also, if there are sports enthusiasts, we can meet offline. Also, I would like to compete for the position of sports committee member. I hope everyone will support me. Thank you. Clap clap clap. The students applauded one after another. Retired soldiers are generally quite popular among students. Next, it was Lin Sun's turn. Wow, that guy is so handsome. Our class has a handsome guy, and I didn't even know? As Lin Sun walked towards the podium, he clearly heard a few girls whispering. He didn't pay much attention to his own looks, thinking that his appearance was quite ordinary, but now, it seems that it's not the case. Is he really quite handsome? Hello everyone, my name is Lin Sun, from Liangcheng, 18 years old this year, I am honored to study at Nan University, I am very happy to meet everyone, please take care of me, thank you. Clap clap clap. This round of applause was even louder than Lu Gang's. Soon, the self-introduction session ended, and Lu Andai smiled and said, Alright, self-introduction is just to give everyone a preliminary understanding of each other, there will be more time in the future to get to know each other better. Next is the election of class leaders, everyone has the opportunity to choose the position they want, I hope everyone will actively participate, this is a great opportunity to exercise yourself. Those who have decided to run for election, need to come to the podium to talk about their reasons for running and what they plan to do. After the counselor finished speaking, Lu Gang was the first to go up, wrote his name on the blackboard, and after eloquently expressing his thoughts, he stepped down amidst applause. Lin, do you want to be the class monitor? Go Xingli quietly nudged Lin Sun's arm. Lin Sun shook his head, no, I know I'm not cut out to be a class monitor. Class monitor? Has he eaten too much or drunk too much? Not even a dog. Hello everyone, my name is Huang Chouyan, I would like to run for class monitor, because I served as a class monitor in high school. Lin Sun silently retracted his sarcasm. Soon, all the class leaders of Finance 201 were confirmed. Lu Gang unquestionably became the sports committee member, after all, no one dared to challenge a retired soldier. 
After the meeting, two girls walked up to Lin Sun. Um, Lin Sun, can we add you on WeChat? Several boys looked on, lamenting in their hearts, why? Why is there so much romantic interest? Can being handsome really give you free reign? Oh, precious one, you can. Go Xingli cheered Lu Gang and Wu De showed a kind fatherly smile as if they were looking at their successful eldest son. Lin Sun refused, I'm sorry, you are both good girls, but I already like someone. Familiar formula. Go Xingli's face froze. The two girls were confused. Put, put. Lu Gang and Wu De turned their heads in unison, their mouths twitching. Sorry, I just couldn't help but laugh. Hearing Lin Sun's rejection, the two girls were still somewhat unwilling. One of them said, classmate, don't think too much. We're not adding you because we like you, we just want you to help us with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lin Sun's mouth twitched. Do I look that naive? In the end, the two girls left unwillingly. I say, Lin, you're going to break so many girls' hearts with this attitude. Go Xingli said indignantly. Lin Sun was puzzled, didn't you teach me? And I really don't want to add them, do I? Lu Gang interjected, I think Lin's refusal is right. If you add every girl who wants to add you on WeChat, what's the difference with the Sea King? Agreed, Wu Din nodded seriously. What's wrong with the Sea King? The Sea King is not scum, he just wants to give every girl a home, Go Xingli said lightly. Your words are like those of a villain. I cannot agree. Going back to the dorm? Why go back? It's the first day of school, of course we're going to. Drink. Go, are you up for it? He he, of course, just a little bit. Encouraged by Go Xingli, the group left the school gate and arrived at a barbecue restaurant. Boss, we're ready to order. Coming. 10 skewers of pig's penis, 10 skewers of kidneys, 10 skewers of leeks, 2 portions of pig brains, oysters, let's start with a hundred. Lin Sun and the others stared at Go Xingli in amazement. Go, are you really that hungry? What did you do last night? All about supplementing kidneys. Go Xingli waved his hand, eating barbecue is for supplementing kidneys, come on, you guys order too. The group silently placed their orders. Lin Sun, a grilled tilapia, peanuts, and pig intestines. Lu Gang, a seafood porridge. Wu De, I like hot dogs. Do you want some alcohol? Why not? Beer? Coward. Bring two Jean of Urguatu. Before long, the barbecue arrived, and the group gradually entered a frenzy. Oh my, Lin, how did you become two people? Two? Isn't it just me? Ha? Huh? Why are you swaying up and down? I feel like throwing up. Ha ha, you guys can't handle your alcohol. Whom? Who's barking like a dog? Tonight, because it was the first day of school, the barbecue stalls around were very busy. Oh my, am I drunk or seeing things? Look, there's a beauty. Go Shengli suddenly exclaimed, pointing behind Lin Sun. The group looked over, and they were also amazed. About 10 meters behind Lin Sun, two girls were waiting at the traffic lights. Under the street lamp, the two tall and sexy girls were eye-catching, and their looks were stunning, especially one of the girls in a long dress, with her black hair scattered, her side profile was cold and noble giving people an unattainable feeling at first sight. A beauty. Whom? Why do they look a bit familiar? Lin Sun stared dazedly, then felt a dizzy sensation and couldn't help but cover his head. Of course, not only Lin Sun and the others saw it, but others also started to discuss, and some even dared to strike up a conversation, but they came back dejected after a few seconds. Hey, guys, want to make a bet? Go Xingli's eyes lit up. Bet on what? I bet I can get the WeChat of one of those two beauties. Go Shengli said confidently. Just you? Go, don't embarrass yourself. Do you have any idea of their level? Lu Gang said disdainfully. What are you saying? Although I may look average, I have a heart that has made countless beauties fall for me. Appearance? That's all superficial. Well, if you can get it, I'll treat you tonight. The waste is as much as it takes. Really? Really? Lin Sun and Wu Di can testify. That's right. Plus one. Guo Xingli was so excited that he took a sip of liquor and was about to get up. At this moment, Wu Di suddenly grabbed him. Guo, they are coming over. The green light on the road was on, but the two girls suddenly turned in the direction of Lin Sun and others. Oh, oh my god, are they coming to find me? Is my charm that great? Guo Xingli couldn't help but say, your shamelessness is beyond me. Hey, look, that's the school flower Su Qingxia and the beauty Jiang Yinxiao. Heavens, how did they come down to earth? Oh my god, could it be that the two school flowers are also here for barbecue? Is that the school flower? So beautiful. She looks like a fairy up close. Su Qingxia? Lin Sun had a bit too much to drink, and his ears were buzzing, but he seemed to faintly hear the name of the senior sister Su Qingxia? Su Qingxia and Jiang Yunxiao were also having a team-building activity tonight. 
After all, it was just the beginning of the school year, and the dormitories had to gather. The two of them were about to go back when Su Qingxie faintly heard Lin Sun's name. She glanced over and really saw Lin Sun bowing his head. Although she couldn't see his face clearly, she recognized him. It was Lin Sun. So she walked over. Less than three meters away from Lin Sun, suddenly a disheveled male student stopped her. Su Qingxie frowned slightly. Is there something? Guo Xingli looked at the beauty in front of him. His eyes also stunned. He had never seen such a beautiful girl. For a moment, his usual confident demeanor was suppressed. And he spoke with some stuttering. Th that senior sister, can I? No. Su Qingxie spoke indifferently, interrupting Guo Xingli's attempt. As soon as the other party spoke, she knew what the other party wanted to do. Nothing more than to ask for her contact information. She was used to it. Guo Xingli, ha ha. Lu Gang's heartless laughter came over. Zhang Yunxiao looked at the scene with a smile, but didn't speak. Su Qingxie bypassed Guo Xingli and came to Lin Sun's side. Hmm, smells good. Lin Sun smelled a fresh fragrance, slowly raised his head, and his slightly intoxicated gaze fell on Su Qingxie's face. Oh my, are you a fairy? Put, ha ha. As soon as the words came out, Zhang Yunxiao burst into laughter. Su Qingxie's lips twitched slightly, as if she wanted to laugh, but she held it back. She whispered, why did you drink so much? Lu Gang and Guo Xingli were somewhat sober at this point, staring blankly at the scene. Oh my god, what's going on? The legendary school flower actually took the initiative to talk to Lin Sun? The people around them were also puzzled, speculating about the relationship between the male student and Su Qingxie. After all, for so long, Su Qingxie had zero rumors, and suddenly there was a male friend who could make the goddess greet him, which was really shocking. Lin Sun chuckled, I'm happy today. You see, I'm not drunk, my sons can't hold their liquor, they're all talking nonsense. Lu Gang and the others were suddenly speechless. Who's talking nonsense? And we treated you as a brother, and you want to be our father? Brother Lin, we didn't expect you to be like this. Su Qingxie glanced at Lu Gang, who was still relatively sober among them. You all live in the same dorm. Lu Gang had also seen the world, after all, he still had a girlfriend, so he wasn't that restrained towards Su Qingxie, and nodded, yes. He's had a bit too much to drink, can you take him back? Uh, okay. At this point, Wu Shengli leaned over, um, senior sister, do you know brother Lin? Su Qingxie glanced at him, I do. For your coat. I'll give it back to you after I clean it. Fairy senior sister, the coat belongs to Zhang Yunxiao. Lin Sun? Su Qingxie looked at the reply and couldn't help but smile at the image of Lin Sun freezing up in her mind. It was like a beautiful scenery. The classmates who were silently watching her were all stunned. The goddess's smile was too beautiful. It turned out that the coat didn't belong to senior sister, and Lin Sun felt embarrassed after the misunderstanding. After ending the conversation with fairy senior sister, Lin Sun sent a thank you message to Jiang Yunxiao. The latter didn't mind and instead started gossiping with him. Through the conversation with Jiang Yunxiao, he found out that he had become famous, and now everyone on the campus forum was looking for information about him. Lin Sun was shocked and quickly asked Jiang Yunxiao to teach him how to log in to the campus forum website. When he saw the information on the forum, Lin Sun's face turned dark. He had indeed become famous, but many of the posts were saying that he wasn't worthy of senior sister, claiming that he was like a flower in cow- Great. Move around a bit. The instructor said gently. Lu Gang glanced sympathetically at his buddy and quietly averted his gaze. Brother, good luck to you. Sometimes squatting is better than standing, of course, as long as a group of people accompany you. Go shyly. Report. He wants to report. The instructor is favoring him. What about you? Speak up. Go Xingli's eyes turned. Then he loudly said, report to the instructor. My roommate said you're not good. He wants to challenge you. Instructor? Roommate? What did you say? The instructor doubted if he heard it correctly. Go Xingli gestured towards Lu Gang with his mouth. My roommate wants to challenge you to push-ups. Everyone was curious about the showdown between the veteran and the instructor. After the commercial break, the instructor glanced at Lu Gang, then at Go Xingli, and smiled. All right, listen to the command. You, get ready for push-ups. Go Shangli looked puzzled, huh? No, my brother Lu is challenging you, but you want me to get ready for push-ups? Don't understand? Do you need to go to the field and run a few laps to wake up? Yes. 100 push-ups, when you finish, you can stand up. Everyone, go, you are so pitiful. Lin Sun and the other two silently prayed for Go. Hang in there, Go, the faster you finish, the sooner we can avoid the agony of squatting. It must be said that Go Shingli is truly worthy of being a basketball player, with good physical fitness. In less than 5 minutes, he completed 100 push-ups. Everyone, attention. At the command, 
March. Amidst the sounds of refreshing groans, the head instructor finally blew the whistle for the break. Everyone, rest in place for ten minutes. The burden was lifted from everyone, their clothes soaked through. Lin Sun and the others were exhausted, and Go Xingli collapsed in exhaustion. Ouch. My back, Lu Go, Ifu, can you help me plead with the instructor? I don't want to stay here. Go Xingli looked despondent. Lin Sun and Wu Din nodded in agreement, feeling stifled as well. The sun beating down on their heads made it feel like a sauna. Lu Gang chuckled, stop complaining, take this opportunity to exercise your body. After all, university military training only happens once. With that, he skipped off to boast to the instructor. During the break, the atmosphere became lively as many senior students who had been waiting outside with milk tea came to visit. Some brought autumn milk tea for their girlfriends, while others brought cold drinks for their secret crushes. Suddenly, Go Xingli's eyes widened as he sat up abruptly. Oh my god, are you faking it? Lin Sun looked at him in shock. Hey, hey, Lin, look, it's your goddess. Go Xingli suddenly pointed excitedly in the distance. Lin Sun followed his gaze and was stunned. He saw the fairy-like senior sister, Su Qingxiu, walking towards them, wearing a long skirt, holding an umbrella in one hand and a bottle of mineral water in the other. It seemed that the senior sister liked wearing skirts. As Su Qingxiu entered the scene, she immediately attracted everyone's attention. Wow! That's senior sister Su. Why is she here at the military training ground? Wow, she has such a strong presence, truly deserving of being the campus beauty. Why is she here? Is she delivering water? No way. Who has accumulated enough good karma in their past life to have senior sister Su deliver water? She must be passing by. Hey, look. She's heading towards the 21st platoon. Oh my. It looks like she's heading towards that group of guys. What? Why? We're all wearing the same military training uniform, and I'm obviously more handsome. Your words, I cannot agree. When Su Qingxiu stopped in front of the 21st platoon, everyone finally accepted the fact that the campus beauty was not just passing by. Curious eyes stared at her like copper bells. Hello, may I ask who you're looking for? Even the instructor had never seen such a beautiful girl and asked suddenly. Su Qingxiu glanced at him and said, I'm looking for Lin Sun. Lin Sun. Hey. The classmates all started teasing and looking at Lin Sun. Lu Gang and the others had ambiguous smiles, and Go Xingli nudged Lin Sun, dude, why are you still sitting? Lin Sun snapped out of it and quickly stood up, brushing off the dust from his pants, and eagerly walked over to Su Qingxiu. Senior sister, are you looking for me? Su Qingxiu glanced at him. The boy was wearing a military training cap, and after just one morning, his originally fair skin had turned slightly yellow, with sweat streaming down, but he looked spirited. Maybe it was because he had seen her. Su Qingxiu handed him the bottle of mineral water, this is for you. Lin Sun was pleasantly surprised, for me? Although he wanted to confirm, he had already taken the water and was smiling happily. You focus on your military training, I'm just here to check on you. Remember to protect yourself from the sun. Su Qingxiu's words were light, but they sounded like genuine concern. Okay, okay, I will, senior sister. Lin Sun nodded vigorously. He was very surprised that senior sister had personally come to give him water. This was something he had never dared to imagine. She was the fairy-like senior sister, however, he was somewhat worried, senior sister, will it have any impact on you if you bring me water? After all, Su Qingxiu's reputation was off the charts, and her actions might invite a lot of criticism. Su Qingxiu said lightly, what I do is none of anyone else's business. Strong. Lin Sun looked at her with some admiration. I'm leaving. Su Qingxiu came and went quickly, leaving behind a stunning figure. Not bad, Lin Xiong, the campus bell even brought you water. Is the marriage proposal stable now? Go Xingli looked at Lin Sun with a smirk. At this moment, many eyes were on Lin Sun, their gazes complex, unable to accept this fact. Some people recognized him as the guy who had a scandal with the campus bell, and he had become popular on the internet. They didn't expect that he really had a close relationship with the campus bell. At this moment, Lin Sun did not notice that in the adjacent block next to him, a girl in military training uniform was staring at him blankly. She was very beautiful, with fair and clear skin, and even in the military training uniform, she was eye-catching. Ching Ching, what are you looking at? A girl next to her asked in confusion. Su Chung withdrew her gaze and shook her head, nothing. The girl sighed, that boy is really handsome. I think it's not unacceptable for senior sister Su to bring him water. Another girl nodded, now that you mention it, I feel the same. That boy is really handsome. Is he really the campus bell's boyfriend? I suspect he's related to the campus bell, after all, they both have good looks. Makes sense, hee hee, Xiaofeng, why don't you go ask him? Are you kidding? 
I have social anxiety. Listening to her classmates' discussions, Su Qing felt a sense of frustration. Yes, she had also successfully applied to South University, but she was not in the same major as Lin Sun. Of course, she didn't go to South University just for Lin Sun, but every time she saw the boy who had once been so good to her becoming more and more outstanding, she felt like she had missed something. Deep. Continue the training. The break time always passed quickly, even though the instructor extended the time. Attention. Eyes right. Eyes front. Military posture begins. Military posture can cultivate a person's temperament. Shoulders back, arms naturally hanging, middle finger close to your trouser seam. Tighten your buttocks. Classmate, don't stick your butt out so much. Pull it back. A day of military training quickly passed, and after the head instructor blew the whistle, the group of people attacked the cafeteria. Time to eat. Sons, dad's back. Oh, the stepfather is back? What's for dinner tonight? Twice cooked pork. Stir fried tomatoes and eggs. Spicy chicken. Fried chicken legs. Lin Sun and the others looked affectionately at Lu Gang, who was bringing meals to the entire dormitory, as if they were looking at their own foster parents. They were all exhausted, so the arduous task of getting food naturally fell to the strong man Lu Gang. Here, eldest son, this one's for you. Lu Gang quickly distributed the food. Thanks, stepfather. I decided, from now on, you're our dormitory head. I second that. I second that. At 7 o'clock in the evening, the football field, basketball court, and other open spaces were filled with people. After military training during the day, the evening was naturally for entertainment. For the first class tonight, our instructor will teach everyone a few military songs. Welcome, everyone. Great. Applause. After half an hour, amidst the sparse singing of the classmates, they moved on to the next activity. Is there anyone willing to come up and perform a talent? The instructor asked with a microphone. Half a minute of silence, no one moved. The instructor chuckled, no one? Since there isn't, let's start the training then. Don't. The students began to get restless. Report. Soon, the first brave soul appeared, bringing an off-key old song for everyone, ending amidst the audience's suppressed laughter. With the first one, there came the second. Singing, dancing, telling jokes, and even martial arts performances, all kinds of talents emerged one after another. Wow, there are really hidden talents among us. If you win, you'll be the envy of everyone, was said, then turned to Lu Gang. Brother Lu, why don't you go up and perform some military boxing? Lu Gang shook his head. I've long forgotten about that stuff. At that moment, a girl from the neighboring platoon was singing in the field. After finishing a song, she suddenly said, Instructor, can I invite a classmate to come up and sing with me? This statement not only brightened the eyes of the instructor, but also excited the onlookers. They loved to see a spectacle. Who do you want to call? The instructor asked. The girl's gaze suddenly fell in the direction of Platoon 21, and she said, Classmate Lin Sun, can you sing a song with me? Oh, Lin Sun, Lin Sun, Lin Sun. The crowd cheered and repeated Lin Sun's name. Wow, Brother Lin, you've hit the jackpot. Envy, go up and make a fool of yourself. I mean, go up and shine. Lin, don't be timid, go up. Lin Sun was a bit surprised, but he stood up and went to the girl's side. The instructor handed him a microphone. Linson felt a bit awkward with so many eyes on him, he was somewhat socially anxious. Hello, I'm Chu Weiwei, majoring in computer science, the girl introduced herself to him. Linson politely replied, I'm Lin Sun, majoring in finance. The girl in front of him was very attractive, with a melon seed face, fair skin, light makeup, a tall figure, and a budding curve. She seemed like a very confident girl. However, Lin Sun was unmoved, after all, she wasn't as beautiful as the fairy-like senior he liked. So, what do you want to sing? Lin Sun asked shyly. Chu Weiwei looked at the handsome and tall boy in front of her and smiled. Before that, can I ask you a question? Ha, huh? do you have a girlfriend? Oh, as soon as she said this, there was an uproar. Vuat and his friends all showed a kind smile. I no longer have to worry about my son not getting married. The child has grown up. The instructors all smiled, they were a bit sentimental thinking how good it was to be young. However, Lin Sun didn't know that his answer had excited many girls. Some boys also breathed a sigh of relief. It seemed that this kid didn't have that kind of relationship with the campus bell. Well, they could rest assured then. Chu Weiwei's eyes showed a hint of joy, but seeing Lin Sun becoming more and more nervous, she didn't ask again. Can we sing I will wait? Lin Sun nodded. I know a little. As everyone turned on their phone flashlights and started swaying, the music began. Girl, I want to learn a magic that can travel through space. Boy, I want to know where the wind should go. Wow, they sing so beautifully, don't they? 
Yes, the girl's voice is so sweet, and the boy's voice is so magnetic. I love it. I want to sing a duet with a boy later too. Duet. I will wait for the withered tree to sprout new flowers. After the song, thunderous applause erupted in the field. Sure, sure. Where did you go this morning? Su Qingshu had just returned to the dorm, and Jiang Yunxiao came over, looking gossipy. Su Qingshu replied calmly, studying. Studying? Oh my, our Su University campus bell went to the military training ground to study? Jiang Yunxiao teased. Obviously, she already knew about Su Qingshu delivering water to Lin Sun in the morning. Oh my, this is too fierce. Since returning from Liangchang, Shu has been like a different person. She almost thought her best friend had been possessed. Su Qingshu glanced at her. Has it spread? Jiang Yunxiao nodded eagerly, like a little chicken pecking at rice. Yes, it has. It's not just on the forums, it's even causing a stir in the neighboring school. The charm and popularity of Su Qingshu are no longer limited to Nanda. Even the neighboring universities have heard of her legend, and many alumni come just to catch a glimpse of the goddess. Su Qingshu nodded, as she had expected this. She had never intended to hide her feelings. Speaking of which, Shushu, do you really like Lin Sun? Jiang Yunxiao asked tentatively. Is that not allowed? Su Qingshu glanced at her lightly. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Jiang Yunxiao widened her eyes and covered her chest dramatically. Shushu, are you really my dearest friend? No. What? Your dearest friend is Mao Ye. My best friend really likes Lin Sun. When did this happen? Where? Why didn't I know anything about it? Jiang Yunxiao certainly didn't know why, but the only thing she knew was her electric scooter, which unfortunately she hadn't brought. However, this also made it hard for her to believe. If this got out, the whole Nanda would probably be shaken. Seemingly aware of her thoughts, Su Qingshu said lightly, Don't spread rumors. Jiang Yunxiao rolled her eyes. Come on, you're so obvious, do I still need to spread it? By the way, does Lin Sun know? Does he need to know? Good point. I can't argue with that. Ignoring her crazy best friend, Su Qingshu sat in front of the computer. Thinking about what had happened to her in the past few days, she felt it was somewhat unreal. Did she really seem to be actively pursuing Lin Sun? It's too crazy. Su Qingshu opened her computer and absent-mindedly logged into Tiba. She was curious about any recent rumors about herself. However, Su Qingshu suddenly came across a video titled, Military Training Evening Performance. The video had just been posted for less than two hours and already had thousands of views. Clicking on it, Su Qingshu quickly found the key point. When she saw Lin Sun standing side by side with a girl singing in the video, her beautiful eyebrows raised. She glanced at her best friend and then silently put on her headphones. The younger brother's singing voice was as good as ever, just like the last time they performed together at Shui Jiqian's concert. However, this time, there was another girl standing beside him, and she was quite pretty. When she sang, her peach blossom eyes frequently looked at Lin Sun. Sensing this scene, Su Qingshu felt inexplicably uncomfortable. Fortunately, the younger brother was still honest, immersed in his own world, and didn't look at the girl. The song ended, and they left the stage. From the comments below the video, Su Qingshu learned that the girl was from the computer science department, named Chu Weiwei, also a freshman. With outstanding grades and a pure appearance, she had become the department's flower. It seemed that this girl had feelings for Lin Sun? This guy's popularity with girls is not bad. And these girls are all very beautiful. The last time she met another girl, named Su Qing, was Lin Sun's first crush, or his first love. Su Qingshu narrowed her beautiful eyes. A sense of crisis? Su Qingshu had never felt any sense of crisis, because what she wanted, no one could take away. The younger brother was the one she had set her sights on first. While watching the video, Jiang Yunxiao suddenly shivered, feeling strange. It was very hot, so why did she suddenly feel a chill? The next morning, amidst the sound of the alarm, the residents of room 307 reluctantly got out of bed. Pushingly, I propose that we split into two groups. Brother Lu will go to the military training ground to resist the instructors, and the other three can sleep for another two hours. Lin Sun, I have read and approved. Reporting to the United Nations. Wu Di, I second the motion. Lu Gang, the proposal is good, but don't bring it up again next time. In the end, they succumbed to the call to assemble and headed towards the military training ground, looking as if they were going to the gallows. The military training process was very boring. During the day, it was either military posture or marching and running, all under the scorching sun. Many people's skin had turned several shades darker, and some even experienced peeling. The evening activities also depend on the instructor's mood. When they are in a good mood, we sing, dance, and perform as a team. When they are in a bad mood, we stand at attention. Soon, it's time for the assessment. At the principal's command, 
the square team showcases the results of the past half month. Of course, when the square team marches, there are always a few outstanding individuals, leaving different sized shoes scattered on the track, unnoticed. Finally, it's over. The military training ends, some are happy, some are in tears. As they bid farewell to the instructors, many silently shed tears, filled with reluctance. This day has finally come to an end. My skin color, even my own mother wouldn't recognize me, right? Go Xingli takes a photo of his dark face with his phone, looking even more bitter than a bitter gourd. Hey, with this handsome face of mine, it might take months to lighten up. Lu Gang laughs, why lighten it up? Isn't this good? It looks great. Lu, your dark skin looks good, but if I get dark, it's just funny, like a piece of coal, ha ha ha. Get lost. I don't have sons like you. After some teasing, Lin asks, what's the plan, you guys? Go Shengli, hey. What do you suggest, Lin? Lu Gang, I'll follow your lead, brother. Wu De, I hope Lin will arrange it. Lin, alright. We must have a feast. My treat. My parents said to treat others more. Lin, you're righteous. Father of righteousness. Good brother. Instead of heading to the cafeteria, the four of them head to the dormitory with a common purpose. To enjoy the evening meal, they decide to endure hunger for a while. We still have some time before evening, guys, want to play a game? Ha! With your skills, how many times will you cheat me? I need to take care of my skin, the plan to lighten up starts now. I just want to quietly look at beautiful women. I mean, read a book, and not play with you guys. 6. In no time, the door of room 307 is closed, and a harmonious snoring sound fills the room. As the four of them finish tidying up in room 307, a joke from the heavens is played on them. It starts raining. Go Xingli stands at the dormitory door in a tank top and shorts, looking into the distance with a weary gaze. Go, have you figured out how to deal with this battle? It's tough. In my opinion, this is a tough battle with a strong enemy and few of us. Any strategies? Hey, we'll have to call for reinforcements. Reinforcements? We're outnumbered on the west side. Where will we get reinforcements? Hello? Is this Meituan delivery? Yes, yes, on the seventh building side, please deliver to our door, and we'll give you a five-star rating. Six. In the end, the four of them can only order takeout in the dormitory to get through the meal. Mainly because they haven't had Chinese food, they devour the meal like hungry wolves. This rain at Nanjing University is extraordinary. Look at the intensity. It seems like it's going to flood the whole university, right? Lu Gang lights a cigarette, surprised. Lu Gang is a smoker, and besides him, the other three don't smoke. But Lu Gang rarely smokes in the dormitory, always going to the balcony when he does. Guys, look at the class group chat. I'll go. Go Shengli suddenly exclaims. Lin and Lu Gang exchange a glance, then silently take out their phones and open QQ. The class group chat is already buzzing. Help, it's suddenly pouring, and we're trapped in the cafeteria. It was fine when we came, but now we can't go back. Our entire dormitory is here, and we don't have umbrellas. Can someone help us? This rain seems like it's going to last until next year. Ha <laughs> ha, you guys should buy blankets from the supermarket above the cafeteria and sleep there. 666. Luckily, I'm in the dormitory. Image, wow. So many people. Who needs an umbrella? I'm willing to be a vanguard. Me. Thank you, kind person. Plus one. In room 307, Go Shengli suddenly lets out a howl. Why are you so excited? Lin asks, puzzledly Go Shengli said triumphantly, look, so many girls are trapped in the cafeteria. As long as I take the umbrella over, love will come, right? Damn. I didn't expect you to be like this. Is this your way of showing warmth? With your gloomy appearance, are you trying to scare them instead? What's wrong with you? Are you discriminating? Can't someone with a dark complexion have love? In the end, under the speechless gazes of the others, Go Xingli took the umbrella and even changed into the newly bought acorn shoes, happily went out to find love. Lin Sun, why isn't he wearing slippers? Lu Gang, I was wondering the same thing. Wu Di, with such heavy rain, won't brother go be washed away? Lu Gang, damn. This is what happens when love clouds your judgment. Whatever, we'll just prepare to retrieve the body. Ding Dong. Lin Sun was staring at the rain absent-mindedly when his phone suddenly vibrated. He took a look and saw a notification from the fairy senior sister. Lin Sun quickly opened it. Fairy senior sister, animated expression, are you there? Lin Sun, yes, senior sister. Fairy senior sister, image, Lin Sun opened the picture and found that the senior sister had sent a photo of the rain, with the cafeteria in the background. From the angle of the photo, if Lin Sun guessed correctly, it should have been taken from the library. The fairy senior sister was in the library? Lin Sun curiously asked, are you still in the library, senior sister? 
Do you have an umbrella? Fairy senior sister, no. Lin Sun immediately realized that the senior sister was trapped in the library. Did she send the message to him because she wanted him to go and pick her up? No, to bring her an umbrella? Thinking of this, Lin Sun didn't dare to delay and quickly stood up. Where are you going, brother Lin? Lu Gang asked in confusion. Lin. Sun responded, uh, a friend of mine is trapped in the library, I'm going to pick her up. Wu Di curiously asked, is it a guy or a girl? It's a senior sister. Well, let's pretend he didn't ask. Lu Gang looked heartbroken, changed. You've all changed. I, a new era man, how can I be so impetuous? So passive? What do you want to eat? I'll bring it back for you when I return. Lu Gang, a fried chicken burger and a fried rice. Wu De, a taro bubble milk tea, no bubbles. Okay. In the library, a group of students were standing under the library door, whispering as they looked at the heavy rain in front of them. On the second floor of the library, Su Qingcher sat by the window, lost in thought as she looked outside. She still held her phone in her hand. Opening her phone, Su Qingcher looked at the chat page. The conversation ended with her sending the word no, and there was no further reply from the other side. Did that guy come to find her? Based on her understanding of him, it was very likely. But, the rain was heavy, and even if someone held an umbrella, they would still get wet in a short time. It shouldn't be, who would be so foolish? It was probably that the other person was busy and didn't reply. Su Qingxiu shook her head. She had sent the photo to Lin Sun not to ask him to come find her, but simply because she knew that people's emotions would fluctuate on rainy days, so she shared the photo with him. Putting away her phone, she couldn't go back in the rain, so she decided to read for a while. However, suddenly, she caught a glimpse of a figure out of the corner of her eye. Su Qingxiu's expression froze for a moment, her pupils dilated, and in the rain, she could barely make out the figure of that young man. The next moment, Su Qingxiu stood up, pushed her chair aside, and walked downstairs. Due to the sudden movement, the students who were reading frowned and looked at her, and when they saw Su Qingxiu, their displeasure turned into astonishment. Lin Sun didn't expect the rain to be so heavy. Although his umbrella covered his entire body, he was still soaked from walking over from the dormitory. There were other people in the Western Zhou dynasty who were running in the pouring rain, and screams could be heard. Finally, Lin Sun stood in front of the library on the first floor, under the eaves, temporarily avoiding the heavy rain. Seeing him looking like a drowned rat, the students of the Western Zhou dynasty instinctively moved away from him, however, they were all somewhat surprised. Everyone else was running back, so why was this boy running through the rain? Could it be that his girlfriend was in the library? Thinking this, everyone understood. Lin Sun didn't mind and looked around, not seeing the fairy like senior sister. He started to feel anxious. Could it be? Is senior sister not in the library? Subconsciously, he took out his phone, ready to send a message to the senior sister. At this moment, the crowded people at the library entrance suddenly became restless, and then a passage was opened up by the crowd. Lin Sun happened to be at the exit of the passage. He looked up and was overjoyed. Senior sister. Su Qingxiu was walking slowly towards him, and the surrounding students were all amazed by her. The goddess was truly a goddess, and up close, she was simply too beautiful. And their goddess, at this moment, was walking towards Lin Sun, who was shivering from the rain, but he was now looking at her with a silly smile on his face. Su Qingxiu felt something stir in her heart. Perhaps she would never forget the scene of the silly boy running towards her in the pouring rain. Am I seeing things? Is the campus bell approaching that boy on her own? I thought that boy looked familiar. Isn't he Lin Sun, who recently had three scandals with the campus bell? Him? His? What makes him so special? Although he's a bit handsome, he's not that extraordinary. Could it be? Is the campus bell interested in him? Found it. That Lin Sun is a freshman, and he's only been in school for less than a month, but he's already had three scandals with Su, the campus bell. The most explosive one was during military training, when the campus bell gave Lin Sun water. Damn. It really is him. I thought his skin color didn't match. Hiss. How is that possible? Has the campus bell's aloof image finally collapsed? I heard that the computer science beauty is also interested in this kid. The surrounding whispers grew louder and Lin Sun frowned. He didn't mind for himself, but he didn't want the senior sister to be criticized. When facing Su Qingxiu, Lin Sun was a shy and obedient boy, but in normal times, he was quite normal, and even a bit cold. Just as he was about to warn everyone, Su Qingxiu suddenly spoke, Are you cold? Lin Sun immediately smiled foolishly, not cold. Su Qingxiu looked at his wet appearance and said, Let's go. Ha! Huh? But the rain is still heavy. Lin Sun was a bit dazed. Su Qingxiu said lightly, I've been through worse. You want to get wet again? Senior sister, this time is different. You might really catch a cold. 
don't you have an umbrella this time? But, let's go. Before everyone could react, Lin Sun held the umbrella and left the library with Su Qingxiu. Damn, damn, did I hear that right? There's too much information, I, a student of South University, can't keep up. It seems like Su, the campus bell, was saying that they've been through rain before. Hiss, they've been through rain before? You understand it right, don't understand it next time. I can't accept it. Is the campus bell admitting that her relationship with Lin Sun is not ordinary? The rain was indeed heavy. Just as the two walked a few dozen meters, Su Qingxiu's shoes were already soaked, and mud splattered on her pleated skirt, clearly visible. This was despite Lin Sun tilting the umbrella towards Su Qingxiu, and he was already thoroughly chilled. Senior sister, let me take you back to your dorm. Lin Sun said loudly to Su Qingxiu. She shook her head to the south gate. Lin Sun was stunned. The south gate? What's there? But he didn't think much about it and walked towards the south gate with Su Qingxiu. Perhaps the heavens couldn't bear to see such a beautiful girl get wet, and the rain gradually lessened. On campus, students wrapped their phones in plastic bags in various waterproof items, and rushed into the rain, accepting the baptism. Screams were heard one after another, the university has east, west, south, and north gates, all of which are open, so Lin Sun and Su Qingxiu easily left the school gate. Because her face was covered by an umbrella, no one recognized Su Qingxiu. The two arrived at a parking lot. Su Qingxiu took out a key from her shoulder bag, and in the next moment, the headlights of a car lit up not far ahead. Get in the car. Su Qingxiu called out to Lin Sun. At this moment, Lin Sun was still surprised, not expecting that the fairy-like senior sister actually had a car. The car was a simple white Audi. It seems that the senior sister's family background is pretty good. Lin Sun escorted Su Qingxiu to the driver's seat and then got into the car himself. The windows closed, and the world suddenly became much quieter. However, Lin Sun quickly reacted and felt a bit awkward. Um, senior sister, I won't wet your car, will I? It's already wet, Su Qingxiu said lightly. So don't worry about it. Fasten your seatbelt. Oh, okay. Lin Sun obediently fastened his seatbelt. The car started and drove away from the school gate. Senior sister, where are we going? Lin Sun asked curiously. My home. Is senior sister's home in the local area? I rented a house during the summer vacation and haven't returned it. Oh, I see. The conversation ended. Lin Sun couldn't help but look at the senior sister. Su Qingxiu was driving at this time, and her beautiful face looked a bit chubby from the side, with a hint of seriousness in her expression. The senior sister driving seriously is so beautiful. Lin Sun couldn't help but be lost in thought. What are you looking at? Su Qingxiu noticed that this kid had been staring at her for a long time and asked lightly, Senior sister, why are you so beautiful? Naturally beautiful. Ha ha. Senior sister, you can also joke? Why not? I'm also a human. No, you are a fairy. Little brother, how am I supposed to respond to this kind of conversation? However, hearing this kind of praise from Lin Sun made Su Qingxiu feel unexpectedly happy, and even a corner of her mouth lifted, which she didn't notice herself. But Lin Sun caught it, and his heartbeat started to accelerate. Then, thinking of something, Lin Sun suddenly asked with some curiosity, Senior sister, have you seen the posts on Tieba? Su Qingxiu glanced at him. You found out about Tieba so quickly? Lin Sun smiled foolishly. I heard about it from Sister Jiang, so I registered. Su Qingxiu raised an eyebrow. I occasionally take a look, but not often. Lin Sun became excited. Senior sister, can I ask you, how do you feel about the rumors about us on Tieba? Rumors? Su Qingxiu was puzzled. Lin Sun nodded. Some people unexpectedly took a picture of us together and made various comments on Tieba. And last time, when I was in military training, senior sister brought me water, and they also discussed it. He asked tentatively, senior sister, aren't you angry? Angry about what? Angry, that they say we have, that kind of relationship. At a red light, the car slowly stopped. She turned her head, and her originally cold eyes now had a hint of a smile. That kind of relationship? Lin Sun couldn't face Su Qingxiu's gaze and subconsciously looked away, then boldly met her eyes again. A boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Su Qingxiu chuckled lightly. Do you want us to have that kind of relationship? Ha! Huh? Lin Sun was caught off guard and was stunned. He didn't expect these words to come from the high and mighty fairy like senior sister. He was completely unprepared. What does senior sister mean by this? Is she testing him? Do you like me? Su Qingxiu suddenly said something surprising. These five words made Lin Sun's face instantly flush. I, I. Su Qingxiu looked at this little junior with interest, then looked ahead and started the car. Lin Sun's blood was boiling, but soon he calmed down. 
What am I afraid of? I just like the fairy like senior sister. What is there to be afraid of? Looks, he's also quite handsome. Wealth, his dad is the richest man. He's got everything. Let's go for it. Just as Lin Sun was about to muster up the courage to say that word, the car stopped. We're here, Lin Sun said, retracting his courage. Su Qingxiu's rented house was next to a primary school, in a unit on the fifth floor. Apart from a primary school nearby, it was a bit of a walk to get to the bustling city, so the surroundings were relatively quiet. Su Qingxiu opened the door and invited Lin Sun in. Does senior sister usually come back to stay? Lin Sun curiously surveyed the living room. Is this where the fairy lives? It was tidy and clean, clearly well maintained, unlike his own messy living space. Lin Sun was lazy about tidying up at home, not messy but not very neat either. Su Qingxiu changed into slippers, still wearing socks. She took a pair of men's slippers from the shoe rack and handed them to Lin Sun. Put these on. Seeing the men's slippers, Lin Sun's heart sank. Is there a guy living in senior sister's house? He imagined the scene of senior sister cohabiting with the opposite sex, and suddenly felt a pang in his heart. Su Qingxiu shook her head. No, these are to confuse outsiders. Ha! Huh? Lin Sun didn't understand. Su Qingxiu explained, as a single woman living alone, if someone is watching, these slippers can make them think that I'm not alone, increasing the safety. Factor. So that's it. Lin Sun was amazed by senior sister's strong sense of security. His mood lifted from the bottom of the valley, and he felt delighted to be wearing the slippers that were originally meant for display. Go take a shower, Su Qingxiu said at that moment. Lin Sun had basically been shielding her from the rain the whole way, getting himself wet in the process. He hesitated, but I don't have any clothes. It was such a familiar scene. Last time in Liancheng, they had to stay in the same hotel because they got wet. Su Qingxiu said calmly, my brother has a similar bill to you. I bought him some clothes last time but haven't had a chance to give them to him. You can wear them. Brother? Yes. Wow, the fairy senior sister actually has a brother. If the fairy herself is so beautiful, then her brother must be a handsome guy, right? After washing up, Lin Sun put on the clothes that Su Qingxiu had prepared for him. It fit him perfectly, as if it had been tailored for him. Sitting on the sofa, Su Qingxiu glanced at Lin Sun and nodded, it looks like I have good taste. The clothes were indeed bought for her brother, but she hadn't had a chance to give them to him. Now that Lin Sun was wearing them, his temperament suddenly emerged. Not bad. Curiously, Lin Sun asked, senior sister, should I remove the tag? He picked up the tag on the clothes, obviously new, with the tag still attached. Su Qingxiu said, go ahead, my brother probably doesn't need any more clothes. Consider it a gift for you. Lin Sun's eyes lit up. Thank you, senior sister. You're welcome. Consider it your reward for braving the rain to pick me up. Lin Sun was used to senior sister's Sundara attitude. He went to the trash can, fearing that she might change her mind, and tore off the tag, throwing it into the trash. Turning to Su Qingxiu, he asked, aren't you going to wash up? Hearing this, Su Qingxiu stood up, took the clothes she had prepared, and walked into the bathroom. Lin Sun went to the refrigerator, opened it, and found meat, shrimp, tomatoes, and vegetables, among other ingredients. He mentally went through the dishes he knew how to make and then took the ingredients out of the refrigerator. When he was young and his family wasn't well off, his parents were often not at home, so he basically cooked for himself after school a first, divide a lump of lean meat in half, then cut it into thumb-sized slices and marinate them in a plate. Turning around, Lin Sun removed the shrimp's digestive tract. The shrimp wasn't very fresh, so Lin Sun decided to deep fry it. After about 10 minutes, all the ingredients were prepared, and Lin Sun also cooked rice. Well, enough for two people. Although he had eaten, being able to have dinner with the fairy senior sister was such a happy thing. After familiarizing himself with the layout of the kitchen, Lin Sun started stir-frying. He washed the wok, lit the fire, and added oil. Sizzle. Lin Sun's first dish was deep-fried shrimp, without any starch or other assistance, just deep-fried in oil. Before long, a fragrant aroma gradually filled the kitchen. Oh, I forgot to turn on the exhaust fan. Lin Sun quickly cleared his hands and turned on the exhaust fan. Su Qingxiu had finished bathing by this time and could already smell the fragrance coming from the kitchen in the living room. She was a little curious about how this junior brother cooked, so she found her way to the kitchen door. Watching Lin Sun skillfully stir-frying, Su Qingxiu's eyes revealed a satisfied expression. Not bad, not bad. He can handle both the living room and the kitchen, a good candidate for a family cook. How is it, senior sister? Is the fragrance drawing you in? Lin Sun also noticed the senior sister standing at the door. At this moment, she was wearing a nightgown, which covered her well-proportioned figure, giving her a touch of gentleness and kindness. 
The usually aloof senior sister at home was not as cold as usual, which was what fascinated Lin Sun the most, because this side of the senior sister was only seen by himself at the moment. Hearing this, Su Qingxiu smiled faintly, I didn't expect your cooking skills to be this good. Lin Sun smiled, when I was young, my parents pretended to be poor, so I often had to cook for myself. Su Qingxiu nodded, that's good too. A guy who can cook earns extra points. Lin Sun curiously asked, how many points can I earn from you, senior sister? Su Qingxiu tilted her head and thought for a moment, nine points. Lin Sun's eyes lit up, why so high? Su Qingxiu added, out of a hundred. Lin Sun. I immediately withdrew my surprise. Su Qingxiu had a sentence that she didn't say out loud, in my eyes, your basic score is 80 points. 80 plus 9 is equal to 89. 80 is a good impression, 8 9 is just one point away from liking. Is there anything I can help with? Su Qingxiu looked around the kitchen and asked. Then, senior sister, could you take this plate of shrimp out? It's already fried. Su Qingxiu nodded and took the plate of fried shrimp out of the kitchen. In the hall, Su Qingxiu couldn't help but lower her head and sniff, feeling a little hungry. It smells so good. She glanced at the kitchen, where Lin Sun was currently in a fierce battle with the wok. So she reached out and picked up a shrimp, starting to peel it. As the shrimp entered her mouth, a bright light appeared in Su Qingxiu's eyes. The second one, the third one, she couldn't stop. Senior sister, the dishes are ready. Lin Sun's call came from the kitchen at this time. Su Qingxiu pretended as if nothing had happened and walked over. Lin Sun looked at the fairy senior sister who had just walked in and was about to speak when he suddenly noticed a trace of oil at the corner of her mouth. Lin Sun was stunned for a moment, then burst into laughter. What's so funny? Su Qingxiu asked in confusion. Lin Sun chuckled, senior sister, did you sneak a taste? Su Qingxiu's face immediately froze. Under Su Qingxiu's cold gaze, Lin Sun dared not mention the incident of sneaking a taste again. The little episode quickly passed, and not long after, Lin Sun had prepared two dishes and a soup. Deep-fried shrimp, stir-fried pork with green peppers, and vegetable soup. When he came out of the kitchen, Su Qingxiu had already prepared two sets of bowls and chopsticks, with rice already in the bowls, obviously also preparing for Lin Sun. Lin Sun sat opposite Su Qingxiu, feeling a little nervous for some reason. It was the first time he had dinner alone with the fairy senior sister. Who would understand? His hand holding the chopsticks was trembling a bit. Su Qingxiu glanced at him, the shrimp is well done, try some. As she spoke, she picked up a shrimp and put it in the bowl in front of Lin Sun. Thank you, senior sister. Lin Sun was pleasantly surprised. Go ahead and eat. Although there were only two dishes and a soup, the two of them didn't have much to say, but the atmosphere was inexplicably warm. Lin Sun had a feeling that this scene was like that of an old married couple. Clearly, they weren't even a couple. Even Lin Sun felt this way, and usually when she cooked alone, her meals were average and she could manage while playing with her phone, taking almost half an hour to finish a meal. But now, Su Qingxiu suddenly felt that eating a meal seriously made time pass so quickly. She even felt that her appetite today was surprisingly good, with an impulse to eat more. You're a good cook, the food tastes great, Su Qingxiu suddenly praised. Lin Sun's eyes lit up, thinking that his cooking didn't suit the taste of a goddess. Then, senior sister, eat more. Yes, you too. The two of them quickly finished the two dishes. Lin Sun still seemed unsatisfied, even though he had already eaten takeout before. Eating with the goddess he liked made him have a big appetite. I'll wash the dishes. Lin Sun quickly cleared the plates and headed to the kitchen. Even though he had only been there for over an hour, he already felt at home. Su Qingxiu smiled faintly, feeling a bit fulfilled. But she couldn't let Lin Sun do all the work alone, cooking and washing dishes. Let me help you, Lin Sun turned back and smiled, the hands of a goddess should stay away from water, at least when I'm around. Su Qingxiu smiled and said, I'm not that precious. I'll do the washing, she rolled up her sleeves, revealing her fair arms, ready to join in. But as she stepped forward, she suddenly slipped and lost her balance. Ah! Even the goddess couldn't help but let out a light cry. Lin Sun quickly reached out and held the senior sister's slender waist, stabilizing her. Are you okay, senior sister? Lin Sun's anxious voice came through. Su Qingxiu realized, relieved that if it weren't for Lin Sun, she would have been bruised and in pain for days. Thank you. Su Qingxiu then noticed that the boy's large hands were holding her waist, the warmth seeping through her clothes, making her blush. Lin Sun also noticed this, his breathing becoming rapid. The sight of the senior sister blushing was a blow to him. But Lin Sun knew his limits. If he did anything inappropriate, the senior sister would probably feel disgusted. He whispered, senior sister, the floor is too slippery, don't come in, I'll help you out. Su Qingxiu calmly nodded, okay. Only she knew that her heart was not as calm as it seemed. 
beating rapidly. Lin Sen carefully led Su Qingxia out of the kitchen, then let go of her, saying, Senior sister, go rest on the sofa for a while, I'll take care of the dishes. Su Qingxia also realized and nodded, thank you. No trouble. Lin Sen finally finished washing the dishes after a few minutes, then cleaned the kitchen before leaving. In the living room, Su Qingxia was looking at her phone, lost in thought. Lin Sen looked down at her, admiring her profile. Su Qingxia's profile was very beautiful, especially with her hair up, revealing her fair neck. Her profile, neck, and collarbone were stunning. Her figure far surpassed her peers, with perfect curves that were simply too alluring. She looked like a character from a manga. Lin Sun had never seen such a beautiful girl. The goddess senior sister made his heart flutter. What are you looking at? Su Qingxia's calm voice brought Lin Sun back to reality. He said, senior sister, I should go back now. Being invited by the goddess senior sister to her place to shower and change, and having a meal, he was already satisfied just now when he was washing the dishes, he saw that the rain had stopped outside the window. Su Qingxia paused for a moment, then nodded, be careful on the road. Lin Sun nodded, okay, senior sister, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, tomorrow, he hoped to see her. Su Qingxia nodded slightly and replied softly, see you tomorrow. Lin Sun left the building. Su Qingxia sat on the sofa, looking at the empty house, and suddenly felt that her heart was also empty. In the past, when she was alone, she would do whatever she wanted and rest on time without thinking about anything else. But today, this junior brother had only been here for less than two hours, and he made her feel that life had become colorful and a bit more warm and beautiful. However, with the departure of the young man, the atmosphere was also taken away. Hmm, this kid cooks well, let's have him come over again next time. Shaking her head, Su Qingxia got up and paused as she passed the bathroom. Looking at the damp men's clothes on the washing machine, Su Qingxia's mouth lifted. This fool, doesn't even want his clothes? After leaving the building, Lin Sun didn't rush to take a taxi, but walked towards the bustling market. He looked back in the direction of the building, then took out his phone, took a picture, turned on the location, and saved the screenshot. After doing all this, Lin Sun was satisfied to leave. At this moment, a young man brushed past him. Lin Sun. Couldn't help but look back at the other person out of curiosity. Because that young man was very handsome, tall, with a strong presence, like a male star, someone that people couldn't help but pay attention to. What's more, Lin Sun always felt like he had seen his face somewhere. Under Lin Sun's gaze, the handsome young man walked into the building. Lin Sun was surprised, was he also living in that building? Without thinking much, Lin Sun turned and left. After he turned around, a handsome and puzzled face appeared from inside the building. This kid is quite handsome, just a bit dark, probably not the type that Shershir -Sher likes. When Lin Sun returned to school, it was already 9 o'clock in the evening. As he entered the campus, Lin Sun's restless heart gradually calmed down. Yes. Suddenly, Lin Sun jumped up and clenched his fist fiercely. The passing classmates all looked at him with a caring and foolish look. Lin Sun felt a little embarrassed, then hurriedly walked towards the dormitory. On the way back, Lin Sun felt like he had forgotten something. But what did he forget? Oh well, he didn't want to think about it. Ten minutes later, Lin Sun, can you explain why my fried chicken burger didn't show up? I don't want boba milk tea with my taro balls, I also want an explanation. Lin Sun looked at Lu Gang and Wu De, who had cornered him, with an embarrassed look. Um, I didn't mean to forget to bring you guys something. Oh no, he had enjoyed himself and forgotten to bring the late night snacks for his roommates. It's well known that if you forget to bring warmth to the boys in the dorm, they can hold a grudge against you for several days. Lin, my man. I have to say, when you went out and came back, you look like a different person, this outfit, doesn't seem to be the same as before. Lu Gang looked Lin Sun up and down, like he was looking at a panda. TSK TSK, look at that spring-like face of yours, could it be, you went out with the goddess? Wu Di also showed a teasing smile. Lin Sun chuckled, what do you mean by went out? There's nothing between us. Lu Gang looked at him in surprise, so, did you really go to pick up the campus goddess? The ambiguous relationship between Lin Sun and the campus goddess was known throughout the dormitory. Although Lin Sun had not yet confirmed the relationship, the latter had not denied the fact that she liked the campus goddess. So, the only person who could make Lin Sun show such a foolish look was the famous campus goddess, Su De Lin Sun nodded shyly. You spent three hours picking her up? Uh, wasn't it because it was raining heavily? We were all soaked, so we went to the house rented by the senior sister to take a simple shower and have a meal, that's it. Simple? Lu Gang and Wu De looked at each other, then fell silent. You call this simple? Can anyone in Nanda be treated like this by the campus bell? I'm afraid not, right? Lin Sun's idea of simplicity, in their eyes, was as difficult as climbing to the sky. It's too Versailles. 
Not long after, Wu Xingli came back. To everyone's surprise, he had also changed his clothes. Did he also encounter love? Lu Gang tentatively asked, Gua, what's this? Gua Shengli suddenly waved his hand and said, Boys, this dad announces that I'm officially single today. What? I'm telling you. Is it true or false? How did you find a girlfriend? The three of them looked puzzled. Gua Shengli proudly said, Of course, it was on that stormy night, bro. It turned out that Gua Shengli really went to pick up a girl with an umbrella. He originally intended to pick up a girl from his class, but unexpectedly encountered a girl who had fallen by the roadside, so he went to help her. To thank Gui Shengli, the girl specially took him to her dormitory. Guo Shengli then found out that the girl was Dashi, preparing for an internship, living in the staff dormitory, with her own room, and usually doing part-time work at school. After changing his clothes in the staff dormitory, Guo Shengli used his emotional intelligence comparable to Einstein's to stay in her dormitory until now. So, did your love come like a gust of wind? Lin Sun asked strangely. Guo Xingli glared and said, What do you guys know? This is love. I love you, mom. Lin Sun suddenly asked, Gua, did you exchange contact information with each other? Guo Xingli, who was looking pleased, suddenly froze. Contact information? Yes. Since you get along well, why not add each other as friends? Lin Sun said matter-of-factly. A few seconds later, 307 let out a wail. Ha ha. I'm dying of laughter. You just chatted all night, and didn't even ask for contact information. That's impressive. This, Gua, I'm sorry, Gua, I really didn't mean to laugh. Ha ha, accept my condolences, you deserve better. Gua Shengli looked despondent. He didn't even ask for WeChat. He just left so casually. Why? Why did this happen? Does he really not deserve to have love? In the end, Gua Shengli accepted this fact. It's a good thing, bro is still innocent. The three of them were collectively speechless. The next morning, class 201 gathered to receive their books. After military training, it was time for classes. Dashi walked on the campus with a thick book in her arms. Hey hey hey, look, a beauty. Wei Shengli excitedly gestured in a direction. Lin Sun and the others were speechless. This guy had just broken up the day before, and now he had returned to his old self, and no one said anything. Can you spend some time on exercise? Seeing beauties every day, isn't your body feeling empty? Lu Gang couldn't help but mutter, while his gaze followed Guo Xingli's direction. Wow, she really is a beauty. Lin Sun was speechless, is she really that beautiful? He also looked in the same direction and suddenly froze. It wasn't that he was stunned by the beauty like the other two, but because he knew that beauty. At this moment, the beauty seemed to have noticed them and walked towards them. 307 and the others were somewhat surprised and delighted. The beauty walked directly towards him. Could it be? Lin Sun, long time no see. Guo Shengli and the others. They stared at Lin Sun as if they had seen a ghost, as if asking, Lin, do you know this beauty? Strange, why do all the girls Lin knows have such high quality? Lin Sun ignored his roommate's inquiries and calmly nodded, long time no see, so you're also at Nanda now. The pretty girl in front of me is Su Qing. At this moment, Su Qing is wearing a long-sleeved yellow dress, her hair tied up in a bun, and her height of about 1.6 meters makes her figure look very good, exuding a youthful and energetic vibe. Su Qing looked at the sunny boy in front of her, hesitated for a moment, and then said, Do you have time tonight? I want to invite you to dinner. Oh my god, is she being so proactive? She's asking me out to dinner on our first meeting? Is this, the charm of looks? All three roommates were a bit annoyed. Lin Sun frowned, then indifferently said, Su, we're not that close, so I'm sorry. Su Qing was stunned, Looking at Lin Sun in confusion, Lin Sun, since when did we become strangers who can't even have a meal together? Lin Sun shook his head, not wanting to waste time with her, and said to his roommates, let's go. After speaking, he left first. It was the first time the three of them had seen Lin Sun being so aloof, and they looked at each other curiously. It seems that Lin Sun is not very friendly to this girl. Lu Gang and Wu Di silently bypassed Su Qing and followed along. Wu Xingli glared at Su Qing, let me tell you. My brother Lin already likes someone. Although you are beautiful, it's impossible with my brother. I advise you to give up. After speaking, he turned around handsomely and followed along. Su Qing silently watched Lin Sun's figure, her eyes dim, feeling a bit lonely being all alone. For Lin Sun, meeting Su Qing was just a small episode, and he started to open his computer when he returned to the dorm. Lin Sun only plays games when he's bored, and he's not very good at it. Every time he wants to invite his roommates to team up, he's rejected. Lin, how did you meet that beauty? Wei Shengli suddenly approached, holding a bag of potato chips. Lin Sun paused, then immediately shut down the computer. 
At the same time, Lu Gang also offered melon seeds and snacks, and Wu Da followed along. Lin Sun shook his head and sighed, it's all in the past. She was my high school classmate. Do you like her? Lin Sun said flatly, I did like her before. And then? Then she got together with a rich second generation. Oh my god, how dramatic. After I slapped that rich second generation in the face, they broke up. Wow, so now she's not trying to pursue you again? Impossible, she's very proud, and I've already drawn the line with her. Next time you meet her, well, I mean if you do, just ignore her. Damn, I was planning to pursue her, but I didn't expect her to be like this. It really hurts my heart. Wu Sheng Li sighed. Lu Gang glanced at him, you want to pursue everyone you meet. Forget it, forget it. Wei Xing Li took a pack of tissues and walked to the bathroom. The others also went about their own business. At this time, Lin Sun's phone suddenly rang, and when he looked at it, it was a video call from his mother. After answering, he saw the mature face of his mother, Gu Yan Yan, smiling at him. Son, how's your university life going? Lin Sun smiled, it's going well, mom. Then he noticed that his mother was in a high-end place, not at home, and he was a bit puzzled. Mom, are you out? Gu Yan Yan smiled and said, no, I'm at home. At home? Lin Sun paused, then he realized, surprised, you guys haven't moved back to Tian Zixuan number one, have you? Bingo! You got it right! Gu Yan Yan turned the phone's rear camera on, showing Lin Sun the decoration of the house. How is it, son? This villa is very nice, isn't it? Lin Sun nodded in amazement, indeed it was very nice, like a palace, with a complete collection of famous paintings and antiques, even bigger than the villa in Liangchang, and much more luxurious. Is this their family headquarters? This is just in the living room, Tian Zixuan number one is very big, so big that it's beyond your imagination. By the way, are you coming back for the national day? Gu Yan Yan turned the camera and asked. Lin Sun thought for a moment, then nodded, I'll go back. The national day is also a short holiday, so I'll go home. He he. Okay, how about the three of us go on a trip? Gu Yan Yan immediately showed an excited smile. Lin Sun smiled, okay, I'll listen to you. Over the years, he hadn't relaxed with his family, so going on a trip with them was a luxury. Okay, that's a happy decision. By the way, son, how's your conversation with that girl going? Lin Sun felt a little embarrassed when he heard this, Mom, why are you so nosy? Gu Yan Yan said seriously, what's wrong? This is related to my future daughter-in-law. How can I not worry? And your emotional intelligence is not as good as your dad's. If you scare the girl away, it would be a pity. Lin Sun. Is he really that unbearable? Shaking his head, Lin Sun said helplessly, Mom, I've been getting along well with her recently. We should be good friends now. Good friends are fine, but a girl as beautiful as her should be the campus bell, right? Gu Yan Yan teased. Lin Sun nodded seriously, yes, the senior sister is very popular at South University. Then you have to seize the opportunity. Use the pocket money we give you, and the family background, don't let someone else take the lead. Gu Yan Yan advised. Lin Sun nodded, I got it, mom. His parents gave him a considerable amount of pocket money when he started school, and he hadn't used even 1% of it until now. Ah, it's really a dilemma to have a wealthy family. Lin Sun had planned to find a part-time job as soon as he entered university to earn his living expenses and reduce the burden on his family, but he didn't expect such a joke from fate. Also, don't be afraid if you get into trouble at school. Just find the principal if there's a problem, the principal has some connections with your dad. Gu Yan Yan suddenly said. Lin Sun was stunned. When did dad get to know the principal of South University? Gu Yan Yan chuckled. Your dad just wanted to take care of you more at school, so he donated a few buildings to the school in your name. Lin Sun. Wow. Dad has always been very particular about donating buildings. To be honest, it's impossible for Lin Sun not to be moved. His parents have silently sacrificed so much for him, and he has to repay them. After chatting with his mom for a while, Lin Sun hung up the phone. After a moment of silence, he opened WeChat and opened the chat with the senior sister. Lin Sun, animated expression, what's the fairy doing? He originally thought the other party wouldn't reply, but the next second. Senior sister, animated expression, Buddhist girl, Lin Sun's face suddenly showed a hint of surprise. Senior sister, where are you? Senior sister, shopping, with John Yunshao. Senior sister, picture, Lin Sun opened the picture, and in the picture, there were the shadows of two girls, one wearing a dress and the other wearing shorts. Just from the shadows, it was clear that they were both very beautiful. Lin Sun, do you need a laborer? There was silence for half a minute before a new message came. Senior sister, Zhang Yunxiao needs one. Zhang Yunxiao, okay, okay, what are we playing? Lin Sun was overjoyed and quickly changed his shoes. 
Lin, where are you going? Lu Gang was working out with dumbbells and asked curiously when he saw Lin Sun in a hurry. Lin Sun chuckled, the senior sister asked me to go shopping. Lu Gang opened his mouth wide, are you serious? Lin Sun proudly nodded, of course. Although he was going to help carry things, it was the senior sister who asked him, so it's reasonable to call it a date, right? 6. Dad, I'm leaving. Get out. Not long after Lin Sun left, Go Xingli came out with a crutch and a tissue. Is this polio? Lu Gang looked at him with a smile. Go Xingli's face was somewhat pale. It's a bit numb. By the way, where is Lin Xiong? Oh, just went out, said he's going shopping with the campus bell. Shopping, huh? With whom? Su, the campus bell. About two kilometers to the right of the north gate of Nan University, there is a large shopping mall, and Lin Sun arrived in a few minutes. Following the location given by the senior sister, Lin Sun found them at a Meishue Ice City. Hey, junior schoolmate. Zhang Yunxiao saw Lin Sun, and her eyes lit up, you're getting more handsome. Lin Sun greeted shyly, senior sister, hello. He looked at Su Qingxer, his eyes shining, senior sister. Su Qingxer nodded gently and handed Lin Sun a cup of already ordered milk tea. Thank you. Lin Sun took the milk tea, feeling the coldness in his hand, undoubtedly relieving some of the heat for him. The senior sister is so thoughtful. What should I do if I like her even more? Senior sister, didn't you buy anything? Lin Sun curiously asked. He noticed that the two women didn't have anything under their feet. Zhang Yunxiao leisurely said, shopping doesn't necessarily mean buying things. We just came out to relax. Lin Sun looked at Su Qingxia, who slightly turned her head and looked out the window. Lin Sun smiled knowingly. The three of them sat in the milk tea shop for about half an hour, finished drinking, and then returned to the mall. Basically, it was Jiang Yunxiao and Su Qingxia who were shopping, and Lin Sun followed behind them. The two women's looks attracted a lot of attention. In the entire mall, they had become the focus, and many gazes fell on Su Qingxia. There was no way, the goddess was too beautiful, with an inexplicable ethereal aura. Such a beautiful girl, is the one in the dress a fairy? She's even more beautiful than the pictures online, right? This appearance, tsk tsk. The other one is not bad either. She's also pretty and has a hot figure, my type. These two beauties have made my roommate act like an idiot. How should I approach them to show my elegance? Seeking advice online. Joking, even if the advisor comes, he'll still be hooked. Most people's attention was on Su Qingxia and the two women, but Lin Sun was not noticed. Because he was following the two women at a safe distance of 2 to 3 meters, at first glance, it seemed as if he didn't know them at all. Even if someone noticed, they would think he was one of the two women's younger brother or something. Lin Sun's appearance was also very outstanding among the male students, sunny, handsome, spirited, and a bit honest. Little brother, can I add you on WeChat? Lin Sun, who was about to catch up with Su Qingxia, was suddenly stopped by two girls. The two girls were dressed somewhat revealingly, with a bit of their belly button showing, and short skirts revealing a pair of fair legs, looking cool. Because of the heavy makeup, their appearance was okay. But Lin Sun clearly didn't want to deal with them, and raised his hand to stop them, saying, sorry. Come on, little brother, you're really handsome, let's get to know each other. You're a student at Chang University, right? We're also from Chang University. One of the girls stepped forward and approached Lin Sun, squinting and smiling. Lin Sun subconsciously took a step back, feeling nervous, and said, Um, you've got the wrong person, I'm from Nan University. Oh so you're from Nan University, he <laughs> he, impressive, handsome and a top student, add me on WeChat. The girl was bold, obviously experienced, and where was Lin Sun her match? Just as he was getting anxious, the girl in front of him was suddenly pulled away, and Zhang Yunxiao suddenly appeared, protecting Lin Sun behind her, glaring at the two girls, you two, dare to hook my man in broad daylight? Lin Sun? Two girls? Su Qingxia, who had just arrived next to Lin Sun, suddenly had a few black lines on her face. Who, who are you? The girl didn't expect Zhang Yunxiao to be so imposing, and said somewhat nervously. Zhang Yunxiao's mouth lifted, what does it matter who I am? You can't touch this little brother. Why not? He's not your boyfriend. Exactly, everyone has a chance. Shouldn't you take turns as well? Su Qingxia glanced at the two girls, her eyes as disdainful as if she were looking at a clown. Senior sister, is Zhang's senior sister always so domineering? Lin Sun cautiously leaned in to whisper to Su Qingxia. The breath of the boy came to her, and Su Qingxia's ears turned slightly red, but she remained calm and said, she's always like this, let her have it. Lin Sun nodded and obediently stood by the senior sister. It feels so secure. Zhang Yunxiao sneered. What turns? You girls are still too young. Don't think you can come out and flirt just because you dress like mature women. Hurry up and leave, don't make a fool of yourselves. 
What do you mean? The two girls retorted angrily. Jiang Yinxiao casually tapped her ear and said, Take a good look at how we look. And look at me and her. She even pointed at Su Qingshu, who remained calm. The two girls' faces stiffened, feeling a bit insecure. So, what does that mean? Jiang Yinxiao chuckled. So, do you think the junior likes the two of us, or you? As she spoke, she gestured towards her ample chest. You girls can do as you please. The two girls blushed, not expecting the other party to be so skilled, feeling completely suppressed. No matter what they did, they couldn't compare to her. And she looked completely natural. Helplessly, the two girls could only leave dejectedly. Humph. You're challenging the wrong person. Don't know if it's A or B. Jiang Yunxiao proudly tossed her wavy hair. Lin Sun was stunned. Is this even possible? Is Jiang Yunxiao really this open? It seems like he's just refreshed his understanding of senior sister Jiang. It's just basic skills, you'll get used to it, Su Qingxiu said calmly beside him. Lin Sun chuckled, Junior, what's wrong with you? How come you disappeared as soon as I turned around? If you were surrounded by bad people, wouldn't you shout for help so we could save you in time? Zhang Yunxiao lectured Lin Sun in a teaching tone. Lin Sun scratched his head, Thank you, senior sister Jiang, you were so cool just now. He even gave her a thumbs up. Zhang Yunxiao's face blushed a bit, Alright, alright, let's not mention it again. Now that she thought about it, she seemed to have failed to restrain herself. She had made a fool of herself in front of the junior. Suddenly, Jiang Yunxiao caught a glimpse of her friend trying to hold back her laughter, and she glared at her, feeling a pang of anger. Why are you still laughing? Who did I do this for? Isn't it to help you save your little lover? Su Qingxiu received the signal and slowly smoothed out the corners of her mouth. Alright, since you did well, I won't laugh at you this time. Su Qingxiu looked at Lin Sun and tilted her head, he does look handsome indeed. Jiang Yunxiao. Lin Sun grinned, thank you for the compliment, senior sister. Su Qingxiu said calmly, let's go, let's continue shopping. The three of them resumed their shopping trip, but this time, at Su Qingxiu's request, Lin Sun walked alongside them. This made Lin Sun feel very pleased. It seems that senior sister doesn't mind being close to me in public. On the second floor of the mall, there were mainly entertainment venues, children's slides, and a variety of toys. At this moment, Lin Sun was looking curiously at the scene in front of him. In front of him was a row of claw machines, with Jiang Yunxiao and Su Qingxiu each holding five coins. The former looked determined, as if she were about to go into battle. I don't believe it. A little doll can't defeat my talented sister Jiang. Jiang Yunxiao inserted a coin, pressed the button, grabbed the joystick, and shook it in one go, getting used to the movement. Su Qingxiu looked at the dolls inside the machine, her beautiful eyebrows slightly furrowed, calculating the best angle based on her knowledge. Soon, Jiang Yunxiao made her move. She grasped the joystick, positioned the claw above a pink bunny, and then made a slight adjustment. Ha ha, direct hit. I got it in one go, no doubt about it. Jiang Yunxiao's face lit up with joy, and without hesitation, she pressed the button. The claw descended and quickly caught the pink bunny Jiang Yunxiao and Su Qingxiu were both getting a little nervous. Even the onlooker Lin Sun clenched his fists. The claws grabbed the rabbit and rose into the air, but after rising less than 10 centimeters, they slipped. What the heck? Jiang Yunxiao widened her eyes, looking skeptical. Could it be that the claws are too slippery? Su Qingxiu said. I don't believe this. Jiang Yunxiao was annoyed and inserted a second coin. The second time. Missed. The third time. Missed. The fourth time. Almost. The fifth time. It just happened to fall next to the exit when it came back. Jiang Yunxiao was like a deflated ball. I'm not playing anymore. It's too hard. Su Qingxiu silently took her place. However, she hesitated for a long time and still didn't take action. What's wrong, senior sister? Lin Sun leaned in and asked softly. Su Qingxiu said calmly, it's my first time playing this thing, so I'm thinking about which angle to use. Lin Sun was speechless. It was the first time he had seen the fairy senior sister interested in such a thing. In his opinion, fairies and claw machines were completely unrelated, but now it seemed that he had been too hasty. Those who like claw machines are not necessarily not fairies. Fairies are not necessarily uninterested in claw machines. Well, full marks for understanding. About half a minute later, Su Qingxiu inserted the first coin. Imitating Jiang Yunxiao's actions just now, she first tried to grab the joystick a few times, and then began to move. The fairy senior sister's operation was very stable, almost always spot on. Soon, she manipulated the claw to a small yellow bear. Lin Sun glanced at the bear, lost in thought. Su Qingxiu squinted her beautiful eyes and then pressed the button. Without a doubt, under her calculations, she successfully grabbed the small yellow bear. But just as she was moving the bear towards the exit, just like Jiang Yunxiao's time, it fell next to the door. 
Su Qingshi fell silent. Lin Sun quickly comforted her. It's okay, senior sister. It's already good for the first time. It's already as good as Jiang senior sister's fifth time. Jiang Yunxiao on the side. Polite, aren't you? Su Qingshi inserted another coin, still aiming for that bear, but unfortunately, she failed to grab it after three attempts. Lin Sun inexplicably felt the pressure around him drop. Sure sure, let's not play anymore, this thing is just a scam. Zhang Yunxiao also realized this and held her friend's arm, saying, let's go look at clothes. Su Qingshi glanced lightly at Zhang Yunxiao, then her gaze fell on the claw machine, with a hint of doubt in her eyes. Was she really that bad? It was her first time losing, stumbling on a small claw machine. Thinking of this, she, who was already somewhat frustrated, suddenly became a little colder. There's one more coin, after using it, I won't play anymore. Zhang Yunxiao could only obediently step back at her words. Even her aloof friend made her shiver. She could understand, after all, she was also very annoyed just now. Lin Sun saw Su Qingshi insert the coin and felt a sense of determination, his eyes flickering. The other party obviously wasn't as calm as before. If she tried to grab it again, she definitely wouldn't succeed, so he suddenly squeezed next to Su Qingshi and grabbed the joystick first. Senior sister, let me grab the last one, okay? Su Qingshi looked surprised at the boy next to her. Are you capable? Lin Sun's expression was serious, and he said earnestly, Senior sister, you can't say a boy is incapable. Su Qingshi was taken aback. Put. Zhang Yunxiao burst into laughter at his words. Su Qingshi glanced at her. Zhang Yunxiao immediately covered her mouth. Saved by the bell. Su Qingshi thought for a moment, then nodded, Okay, you go ahead. Lin Sun took a deep breath, looked at the claw machine, and his eyes became more serious, his demeanor suddenly changed. Su Qingshi, who noticed this scene, was somewhat surprised to look at Lin Sun. This little brother's aura could actually change, and he looked a bit manly, but she didn't realize that she was now very close to Lin Sun, and the two were almost elbow to elbow. She looked at Lin Sun, and her gaze unconsciously lost its coldness, instead showing a bit of girlish tenderness and innocence, like the way a girl looks at her boyfriend. Zhang Yunxiao was also stunned by this scene. She quietly took out her phone and captured the moment. Looking at the man and woman in the phone, Zhang Yunxiao's eyes lit up. This is too sweet. Yeah, my photography skills are really good. If this photo were to be published, Lin Sun's junior brother would probably be chopped to death by a random knife, right? Hiss. Just thinking about it is so exciting. Lin Sun focused intently on the claw machine, his hands moving continuously, inching closer to the small yellow bear. At this point, the bear's position was already quite off, and after several attempts by Su Qingshi, its posture was not very regular, making it difficult to grab securely. However, Lin Sun did not give up, because this was what fairy sister wanted, and he was going to grab it for her. The bear's head was large and its body small, so Lin Sun aimed for the bear's head, no, the bear's head. Click, confirmed. The claw descended, accurately grabbing the bear's head, and at the same time, Lin Sun quickly pressed a few buttons, and the bear was lifted up. Su Qingshi and Zhang Yunxiao's eyes instantly lit up. Under the gaze of the three, the bear finally dropped into the eagerly anticipated hole. Success! Wow! I can't believe it! Zhang Yunxiao exclaimed, it's a success. Su Qingshi raised an eyebrow and smirked, impressive. He he. Lin Sun chuckled foolishly twice, then took out the dropped bear and handed it to fairy sister. Sister, this is for you. Su Qingshi took it and said softly, thank you. Although she bought the coins, he grabbed the doll so this could be considered his gift to her, right? It's a very nice gift, I really like it. Since Lin Sun grabbed a doll in one go, Zhang Yunxiao was impressed and bought five more coins, all of which she handed over to Lin Sun to grab. Junior brother, you have to grab a doll for sister, Zhang said. Okay, sister Jiang, watch me. With Lin Sun's operation, the five coins grabbed a total of two dolls, which was considered a good achievement. Three dolls in total, one for each person, and all three were very satisfied. Next, the group went to a clothing store, with Lin Sun holding the dolls and following the two girls, listening to their conversation. Zhang Yunxiao liked some of the clothes, but didn't want to buy them all, showing signs of indecision. Every time she tried on clothes, her joy was evident in the mirror. Lin Sun undoubtedly enjoyed this process, because most of the clothes Zhang Yunxiao chose were sleeveless and short. Conservative. In his impression, sister always wore long skirts or pants, and wasn't as open as sister Zhang Yunxiao. Zhang Yunxiao took a JK into the fitting room, and at this moment, Su Qingshi suddenly looked at Lin Sun, do you like seeing girls in revealing clothes? Lin Sun was shocked and quickly shook his head, no, no, sister, why would you think that? Su Qingshi calmly said, when Zhang Jian comes out of the fitting room, you didn't look away. Lin Sun broke out in a cold sweat, laughing awkwardly, this, wasn't sister Jiang asking for my opinion? 
What's wrong with fairy sister? Why does she sound like she's questioning me? Could it be that she's jealous? Lin Sun asked curiously, Sister, do you not like it when I look at other girls? Su Qingxiu's face stiffened, then she turned away awkwardly, who you look at is none of my business. Lin Sun's eyes lit up, Sister, can I assume that you're being willful? Susan's cool gaze fell on him. Lin Sun smiled and said, Senior sister is so cute. Cute? Susan's mouth twitched. This junior brother is getting more and more presumptuous, daring to describe her as cute. Is she cute? She is a cold and aloof person, completely unrelated to cuteness, right? At this moment, Jiang Yunxiao came out in her new clothes. She was wearing a short JK skirt, which only covered two-thirds of her thighs, revealing a pair of long white legs. Her top was tight, exposing her curves, very charming. Hee <laughs> hee, if sister wears this at school, I wonder how many men she would mesmerize. Jiang Yunxiao said self-lovingly. Susan glanced at Lin Sun, who tactfully shifted his gaze when Jiang Yunxiao came out. She found it amusing that this junior brother was so concerned about her words. All right, that's enough, she said indulgently. Lin Sun chuckled and looked at Susan, his eyes shining. The latter awkwardly looked away. At this moment, Jiang Yunxiao said, sure sure, why don't you try it too? I've never seen you in a uniform before. With your figure, you should look great in it. This suggestion was immediately rejected by Susan, no, oh, come on, just try it. It's really comfortable to wear, and I think the junior brother would like to see it, right? Zhang Yunxiao signaled with her eyes to Lin Sun. Lin Sun immediately imagined the scene of the fairy senior sister wearing the uniform, plus a pair of black stockings. Oh no, his blood pressure was rising. He quickly nodded and said, yeah, yeah. Zhang Yunxiao burst into laughter. Junior brother, can you be a little more restrained? Susan looked at Lin Sun with a smile that was not a smile. Do you like to see it? Lin Sun suddenly realized that he seemed to have embarrassed himself and his mouth twitched. Um, that? Wait for me. Susan spoke lightly and went into the changing room with a set of clothes. Zhang Yunxiao and Lin Sun both stared blankly at this scene, their mouths forming an O shape. What's going on? Am I dreaming? Zhang Yunxiao felt like her brain was not enough. The aloof and elegant senior sister, Su Qing, the school flower, actually agreed to wear a JK skirt so easily? She had never succeeded in persuading her best friend to wear a skirt before, but now, she had agreed for the first time. Shocking. Lin Sun was also a little slow to react. The fairy senior sister, she seemed to have taken the JK inside? Junior brother, why does Shur Shur seem like a different person? Zhang Yunxiao asked Lin Sun in confusion. Lin Sun was speechless. You're her roommate, and you don't know, how would I know? Zhang Yunxiao scratched her head. A few minutes later, the door of the changing room opened, and a graceful figure attracted all eyes. Lin Sun stared blankly at the girl in front of him and was momentarily speechless. Damn! This time, even Jiang Yunxiao couldn't hold back and blurted out a curse. Standing at the door of the changing room was Su Qing, wearing the JK skirt. At this moment, she was standing at the door, looking a bit unnatural, as if she could return to the changing room and lock the door at any time. However, even so, she was stunning. Her long, black, and dense hair fell down, her skin was as fair as snow, her eyes were like clear water, and they sparkled like stars. The uniform on her was even more explosive than Jiang Yunxiao. Many people, sensation at Nan University? Jiang Yunxiao excitedly hugged her arm. Don't even think about it. Su Qingxiu coldly refused. Jokingly, even if she wore a skirt, no one could resist her. Wear a short skirt. Is she not eye-catching enough? Su Qingxiu shifted her gaze to Lin Sun, is it nice? The reason she impulsively chose to change into this dress was because, well, she didn't know why. Lin Sun quickly nodded, it's nice, it's nice. Senior sister is definitely the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. His words came from the bottom of his heart, he had just felt a moment of suffocation. Senior sister is too sexy. Su Qingxiu gave him a look of approval, then said, it's weird, I'll change back. Don't. This looks great, let's buy it, a sister outfit. Jiang Yunxiao quickly grabbed her friend. Su Qingxiu said calmly, I'm not as shameless as you. Jiang Yunxiao, I also think senior sister is right. This kind of dress, well, doesn't quite match senior sister's temperament. It's better to wear it at home and wear a dress when going out. Lin Sun also gave his serious opinion. Jokingly, he didn't want the fairy-like senior sister to appear so sexy in front of a group of hungry wolves. Jiang Yunxiao teased Lin Sun, are you jealous? Lin Sun blushed, no no, senior sister, don't talk nonsense. Jiang Yunxiao rolled her eyes, this guy, doesn't he know himself? Su Qingxiu said calmly, alright, I'll change my clothes. Without giving the two a chance to react, she turned and entered the fitting room. Jiang Yunxiao slapped her head, damn it, I forgot to take a picture. 
Lin Sun also showed a look of regret when he realized it was senior sister's first time wearing a skirt, and he didn't even take a picture. Careless. Soon, Su Qingxue changed back into a long skirt, instantly transforming from a sexy mature woman into an elegant goddess. This contrast left Lin Sun a little disoriented. In the end, Jiang Yunxiao bought a set of JK skirts, and Lin Sun quickly insisted on paying. Junior brother, senior sister has money, I don't need your help. Jiang Yunxiao said with a smile. Lin Sun shook his head, I'm happy to do it, as long as senior sister is having fun. Anyway, he had money and nowhere to spend it, and how could he let a girl spend money while shopping? TSK TSK, the son of the richest man is generous. Jiang Yunxiao gave him a thumbs up. Then she looked around with big eyes, and suddenly squinted and smiled, would you mind if senior sister buys another set? Lin Sun was stunned, he looked at Jiang Yunxiao, and the latter gave him a meaningful look. For some reason, Lin Sun understood instantly. He nodded, of course, senior sister. Susan Xing's eyes flashed with a hint of displeasure as she glanced at her best friend, that's enough. Jiang Yunxiao chuckled, hey hey, sure sure, do you want it? Susan Xing declined, no, I don't need it, I won't wear it. There was a hint of cunning in Jiang Yunxiao's eyes, humph, you'll be begging for it from this lady in the future. After settling the bill, Lin Sun was still carrying the things. Under Jiang Yunxiao's pull, Susan Chang was speechlessly pulled into a dress shop. Looking at the various dresses, Lin Sun felt a bit overwhelmed. But the thought of these dresses being worn by the senior sister made him feel an impulse to buy them all. Well, his family should have the ability to do so. Sure sure, this one suits you. It's too short. Then how about this one? I don't like the color. Look at this one, it looks elegant. Doesn't it look old-fashioned? Do you think I'm an old lady? Um, that, haha. Senior sister, how about this one? At this moment, Lin Sun took a dress off the rack. The dress was light white, giving a simple feeling, and the design was more conservative, reaching to the lower leg when worn. Susan Xing raised her eyebrows, took it and examined it carefully. Jiang Yunxiao. Well, she didn't even look at the ones I recommended, but she immediately took the one recommended by the junior. Shouldn't there be a clear distinction? Holding it up in front of her, Susan Ching commented, not bad. Lin Sun's eyes lit up, so, are we buying it? Susan Ching hesitated for a moment. Although the dress was nice, to be honest, she wasn't very excited about this style. Shopkeeper, please pack this dress. Lin Sun quickly called the shopkeeper over, afraid that the fairy-like senior sister would change her mind. The shopkeeper, also afraid of them changing their minds, swiftly packed the dress in a bag and handed it to Lin Sun. Do you need anything else? Lin Sun hurriedly took it, thank you, we'll have another look. The shopkeeper walked away. Susan Ching looked at him, why are you in such a hurry? Lin Sun chuckled, otherwise, senior sister, you would definitely refuse. Wasting money. My family isn't short of money, senior sister. Choked for a moment, Susan Ching shook her head, the foolish son of a landlord. Jiang Yunxiao, who was on the side, looked at the two with a smile, I suddenly realized that you two look like a married couple. Ha, ha. Lin Sun and Susan Cheng looked at Jiang Yunxiao in confusion, then glanced at each other, and turned their heads away at the same time. Ha ha, you guys are so interesting, why not just be together? Jiang Yunxiao burst into laughter. Susan Cheng's face suddenly turned slightly red, and she glanced lightly at Jiang Yunxiao, stop joking, I'll take a taxi back later. Jiang Yunxiao, I'm sorry, sister, take a taxi? It would cost her several yuan, wouldn't it be better to carpool? Lin Sun also felt a little embarrassed and scratched his head. Let's go, let's go back. Susan Ching said lightly, they had been shopping for a few hours, and it was time to go back. Lin Sun immediately went to settle the bill. Soon, they arrived at a roadside where Susan Ching's car was parked. Um, senior sister, I'll get in the car. Okay. Susan Ching drove, Lin Sun sat in the passenger seat, and Jiang Yunxiao sat in the back with a pile of luggage. Can I ask why it's not me sitting in the passenger seat? She asked expressionlessly. Susan Ching glanced at her through the rearview mirror. Figure it out for yourself with a look. Jiang Yunxiao, okay, prioritize romance over friendship. Lin Sun didn't say anything, just smiled shyly, then lowered his head as his roommate messaged him. The most handsome 307 group, Lin, bring back some food. Guishin is not gui. I want some too, three too, with boiled chicken and tomato and egg stir fry. Wu Di, anything is fine. Guishin is not gui. Thanks, godfather. The most handsome 307 group, plus one Wu Day, plus one who are you chatting with so intently? The voice of the fairy-like senior sister suddenly came. Lin Sun, oh, it's my roommate. Susan Cheng nodded, and gave the junior a strange look. Just now she noticed that there was a hint of satisfaction and helplessness on the face of the younger brother. 
Lin Sun, hey, as a responsible father, it is an obligation to bring food to the dormitory sons. Sons, daddy's back. When Lin Sun returned to the dormitory, it was just mealtime. With a shout, several sons immediately rushed over. Ah, foster father, I missed you so much. Come, give me a kiss. Guo Xingli pounced over, his thick lips about to stick to Lin Sun's face. Smack. Lin Sun slapped him expressionlessly. Disobedient child, how dare you overstep. When serving food to his roommates, Lu Gang suddenly exclaimed, Lin, did you buy this action figure? It turned out that besides the food, Lin Sun also brought an action figure. Lin Sun proudly said, of course I caught it. Why would a big guy like you catch this thing? Lu Gang asked puzzled. He usually doesn't play with these children's things, he only plays with guns. Oh, I caught it with the senior sisters. Hey, my luck wasn't too good, I got 3 out of 5 coins. Lin Sun said with a smile. Lu Gang was speechless, why didn't I see any regret in your expression? Instead, you look so proud. Admire, admire, you can actually have fun with the senior sisters. Lin, you're amazing. Guo Xingli said while picking at the rice, giving a thumbs up to Lin Sun. Not at all. Lin Sun placed the action figure on the computer desk, facing it directly, and looked at its dumbfounded appearance, chuckling twice. Lu Gang happened to pass by and saw this scene, shaking his head in disappointment. Although my son is talented, he is obsessed with trivial matters. After placing the action figure, Lin Sun took out his phone and took a picture, then sent it to the fairy senior sister on WeChat. Soon, the fairy senior sister replied. Fairy senior sister, picture, Lin Sun opened it and smiled. The photo sent by the fairy senior sister was of her teddy bear, which she hung above the computer desk with a thin rope, looking perfectly natural. Lin Sun, suddenly, I feel that senior sister, you're becoming cuter and cuter. Fairy senior sister? Fairy senior sister, feeling bold? Lin Sun, animated expression, he, at the same time, in the dormitory, Su Qingshu suddenly looked up at the teddy bear, smiling slightly as if thinking of something. Sure sure, come and help me, I can't reach the zipper. Zhang Yunxiao's voice came over. Su Qingshu got up and walked behind her, helping her pull up the zipper on her back. With this outfit, will someone pull your zipper from behind when you go out? The outfit Zhang Yunxiao was wearing was very sexy with a zipper at the back that, if pulled from behind, would reveal too much. Su Qingshu didn't understand what the designer of this outfit was thinking. Zhang Yunxiao laughed and said, how could that happen? Although there are such people in society, it generally doesn't happen. Then she changed the subject, by the way, Shushu, the school uniform I bought for you, you can wear it whenever you want. Su Qingshu was taken aback, then said calmly, I won't wear it. He he, this is what the junior brother hopes for, you can't disappoint him, can you? Zhang Yunxiao brought up Lin Sun. What does it have to do with him? Su Qingshu didn't understand. She said calmly, do you and I not understand each other? Intentionally buying two sets of clothes, trying to trick me? Zhang Yunxiao smiled awkwardly. Don't let it happen again. Zhang Yunxiao nodded. Okay, I won't do it again, this time it's just a mistake. She quickly stuffed a bag into Su Qingshu's hand. I have no place to put it, you can keep it. Su Qingshu. After dinner, the people in room 307 discussed going for a walk on the playground. Wow! The university playground is really amazing, there are so many girls. Wu Xingli praised, his eyes wandering around as if two pairs of eyes were not enough. Wu, be reserved. The other three were somewhat speechless. The four of them strolled side by side on the track, their eyes wandering aimlessly, not knowing what they were doing to eye in the grass, two classes were having a gathering, and the atmosphere was very lively. When are we going to have a gathering for our class? Lu Gang asked curiously. You have to ask the entertainment committee about that, Lin Sun said, lowering his head as he chatted with the senior fairy from the dance department. Do we need to apply for this? Let's talk to the entertainment committee and join forces with the dance department's class. They have a lot of beauties over there, Guo Xingli said with a smirk. Are you going to gather some intelligence? I'm scared. I almost believed you. After walking around for a while, Shirin felt it was not very interesting, so he made another appointment to go for skewers. This time Lin Sun didn't dare to drink too much, he still remembered the trouble caused by drinking last time. It wasn't until midnight that Shirin staggered back to the dormitory. The dormitory ant had already gone to bed, the iron gate at the entrance was locked, so Shirin jumped over the fence like a dumpling into a pot. There were a few muffled sounds, like landmines exploding, and he thought it might attract the dormitory ant, but the air was surprisingly quiet. Shirin hurried upstairs. A quiet night. The next day, unfortunately, the early morning at 8 o'clock arrived at dormitory 307, and the alarm clock rang at 7.30. The first class of the new semester is at 8 o'clock, who understands that? Wei Xingli, 
with an explosion of hair, reluctantly got out of bed. Lu Gang was curled up in the blanket and didn't want to get up, murmuring, Can you guys call for me? Lin Sun, on the other hand, was very energetic. The senior sister had sent him a good night message last night, so he slept very soundly. Hurry up, it will take about 10 minutes from the dormitory to the classroom. 7.45, hey, soldier, weren't you just curled up in bed? You're all ready now? Huo Xingli, who had just come out of the bathroom with wet hair, looked at Lu Gang, who was all dressed up, with some surprise. Lu Gang glanced at him, I just got up to brush my teeth and put on my shoes, how could I still have to deal with that bird's nest like you? He was a retired soldier, with the same crew cut as always, so he didn't need to manage his hairstyle at all. Let's go, hurry up. Give me 10 seconds. Huo Xingli quickly turned the hairdryer to the highest frequency and blew it all over the place. At 7.47, Shiren walked out of the dormitory in a grand manner. The first class was English. The teacher for the class was a woman in her 40s. Since only those who had passed the college entrance examination could sit here, there were basically no particularly bad students. Even Guo Xingli, who usually laughed and joked, could fluently make up a few sentences when the teacher asked him. The English class was the first and second periods, and it ended at 9.30. At this time, should we eat here or go back? Lin Sun asked. Guo Xingli was about to speak, but suddenly his eyes lit up, and he said urgently, you guys decide for yourselves, I have something to do. Without waiting for their reaction, he had already run out. Lin Sun and the others were surprised to find that he had actually run towards a girl, and the two of them were chatting and seemed very happy. Could it be that love has come to our brother Guo with a strong wind? Lu Gang asked curiously. It looks like it. Hey, this kid has grown up, and his father can't control him anymore. I agree. In the end, they decided to skip the meal and return to the dormitory. Guo Xingli didn't come back, he had gone with his love. After dinner, because there were no classes in the afternoon, Lin Sun, who was domineering, didn't set an alarm clock, and he slept like a log for the whole afternoon. Lin, don't sleep. Let's exercise together. Lin Sun was awakened by Lu Gang, feeling refreshed after the nap. He turned his head and saw Lu Gang, who was already dressed in shorts and a t-shirt and sports shoes. What time is it? Five o'clock, get up quickly. Lin Sun sat up and asked calmly, has that rascal Guo Xingli not come back yet? Lu Gang nodded, it doesn't seem like it at the moment. The two looked at each other and shook their heads at the same time. After a simple tidy up, Lin Sun followed Lu Gang for a run. Wu Da was not in the dormitory in the afternoon, and they didn't know where he had gone. Guo Xingli had gone on a date with his dream girl, and there was still no news, the playground was bustling in the afternoon, with many people sweating on the track. Lin Sun and Lu Gang first did a brief warm-up by running two laps, chatting intermittently. Brother, where's your girlfriend? Why haven't I seen you looking for her? Lin Sun seemed to have never seen Lu Gang's girlfriend, nor had he seen him contacting her in the dorm. Adjusting his breath, Lu Gang replied, she's doing an internship, so she doesn't have much free time. It turned out that Lu Gang's girlfriend was already in her third year, studying at a vocational school, so she had started her internship in her third year. They were in a long-distance relationship. As is well known, long-distance relationships are generally more difficult. If the two people are not sincerely committed to being together, distance can become a fatal factor of alienation. When they reached the seventh lap, Lin Sun ran out of breath. His physical condition was no match for Lu Gang, who had been a soldier, so he had to leave the field and do some stretching on the side of the playground. Breathing heavily, Lin Sun smiled bitterly. He had specifically worked out during the summer vacation, but after not exercising for a while, he had deteriorated so quickly. It seemed that he would have to make time to run more in the future. While Lin Sun was lost in thought, a bottle of sports drink suddenly appeared in front of him. He was stunned and looked up to see a girl standing beside him, smiling at him. The girl was wearing shorts and a tank top, revealing a pair of fair and slender legs, and she had a very good appearance and figure, a true beauty. Classmate Lin Sun, have some water? Lin Sun was full of question marks, who are you? The girl giggled, I'm Chu Weiwei from the computer science department. We sang together at the military training evening party last time. Lin Sun remembered that he did indeed sing with a girl that night, and she had specifically asked him to join her. However, he was surprised that he didn't seem to be familiar with her. Oh, hello. Chu Weiwei squinted and smiled, then take the water, my arm is about to fall off. Lin Sun refused, no, I'm not thirsty, you drink it yourself. Chu Weiwei was taken aback, somewhat surprised. She was very confident in her looks, otherwise, others wouldn't call her the department's beauty. According to her thoughts, it should be easy for her to strike up a conversation with a boy. This was the first time someone had refused her. But, wasn't. This more interesting? She, Chu Weiwei, liked challenges. 
Chu Weiwei smiled and then placed the sports drink at Lin Sun's feet, saying, Things I give out generally aren't taken back. Then, she raised a long, fair leg and rested it on the ladder in front of her. Her shorts only covered two-thirds of her thighs, and when she lifted her leg, two-thirds were exposed in the air, very alluring. Lin Sun didn't expect her to suddenly lift her leg, and he was stunned for a moment before quickly turning his head. Ha ha, you're so cute. Xu Weiwei smiled at him. Lin Sun was speechless. Was he cute? Did he have anything to do with these two words? As Chu Weiwei stretched here, Lin Sun noticed more and more boys gathering around, most of them coming to relax their bodies, but their eyes glanced over here from time to time. No need to ask, they were here for Chu Weiwei. As the department's beauty, she naturally had many admirers. Some boys from the sports institute deliberately appeared next to Lin Sun, smiled friendly at him, and then began to stretch in earnest, deliberately showing off their muscles. Lin Sun felt a little awkward, so he had to retract his leg and walk away. Hey, Lin Sun, you didn't take your water. Chu Weiwei quickly waved at him. Lin Sun quickened his pace. Chu Weiwei looked at this scene with a smile. Classmate, I'm a little thirsty, can you give me a drink since he won't? The boy next to Lin Sun smiled and asked her. Chu Weiwei raised an eyebrow and smiled, sure. Lin Sun's state improved a lot, so he followed Lu Gang when he passed by. His expression was somewhat strange, where did that girl come from? Why does she look so familiar with herself? Forget it, it's better to stay away from her in the future. This demoness has too high a cultivation level, and his powers are not enough. I can't do it anymore. Brother Bing, let's take a break. Lin Sun accompanied Lu Gang to run around the West Circle, but finally couldn't hold on and sat on the grass in no time. Lu Gang also stopped, he ran more than 10 laps, and now he was just slightly panting, but sweating a lot. He smiled at Lin Sun, your physical fitness is not bad, better than many college students. This is the truth, after all, many college students are immersed in the world of the internet and neglect exercise, which is not a good phenomenon. Here the author suggests that everyone should exercise more, it's good for your health. Lin Sun exclaimed, Brother Bing, is this the kind of training you do in the army? Lu Gang grinned, more than that, the run just now was just a warm up. Warm, warm up? Lin Sun whitened his eyes. Lu Gang nodded, we run with dozens of pounds of equipment on our backs, equivalent to carrying a woman. Lin Sun looked admiring. He couldn't do it. Do you want to rest for a while, or continue running with me? Lu Gang looked at his wristband and asked. Lin Sun shook his head like a rattle drum. I can't run at all now, I'm as tired as a dog. I don't even want to walk now, I have no energy left. You go ahead and run. Okay, you rest first, and we'll go eat together after I finish running. Lu Gang said as he jogged away. Lin Sun was about to catch his breath when suddenly a figure ran past him. Lin Sun was stunned. Thinking he was seeing things, he blinked and looked at the figure, then exclaimed in surprise, Senior sister? He didn't see it wrong, senior sister was actually running. Almost without any hesitation, Lin Sun's body reacted without his brain, and he ran towards senior sister. Lu Gang, who was just starting to jog, felt a gust of wind pass by, and his eyes widened. What the heck? Lin, didn't you say you couldn't run anymore? Su Qingxi was wearing a long-sleeved fitness suit, wearing earphones, tying her hair in a ponytail, and her explosive figure could attract a lot of attention even if no one recognized her. However, some people who saw the scene had no reaction, because they were already used to it. The campus bell often appeared on the track for a run, and at first, there were many admirers who came to pursue her, but they were all rejected by her coldness. After a few times, everyone got used to it. The campus bell was unattainable, and the aloof campus bell was even more unapproachable. Her pace was not fast, and her breathing was steady, so Lin Sun soon caught up with her. Senior sister, are you also here for a run? Su Qingxi glanced at him indifferently, as if to say, isn't it obvious? When Su Qingxi runs, she pays attention to her breathing, so she didn't speak to Lin Sun, and Lin Sun also knew this, silently running alongside Su Qingxi. After running two laps, many people noticed the scene and cast surprised glances. Isn't that the campus bell Su Qingxi? Who's the guy next to her? He can actually run with the campus bell? You don't know him? He's Lin Sun, a freshman, and there have been many rumors about him and the campus bell recently. What? Just a freshman? He's really bold, isn't he? Does he know Su Qingxi? I don't know, but the campus bell didn't reject him, and she didn't respond on the forum. There must be something special between them. So jealous. Just pick a random guy from Guangxi and marry him. Lu Gang ran an 800 meter lap and was now strolling on the track. When Lin Sun passed by, he gave him a thumbs up. Bro, you're really something. On the other side, Xu Weiwei, who had just sent away a pursuer, also noticed Lin Sun on the track and was a little curious. Does Lin Sun like the campus bell? 
Indeed, the campus bell is so beautiful, even I would be moved. But, ha, is this your reason for rejecting me? Isn't it just the campus bell? I'm not necessarily worse than her. Xu Weiwei is a proud girl. She entered South University with excellent grades. As soon as she arrived at South University, she received a large number of suitors and successfully became the campus bell. She heard that. There was another very beautiful girl at the school who had held the title of campus bell at South University for two years and was very popular. As a beautiful girl herself, she was not happy about this and wanted to see how the other girl could be more beautiful than her. She had the opportunity to see the other girl before, and she was almost perfect in appearance, with a cold attitude, a strong aura, and an ethereal beauty. Xu Weiwei was impressed. This kind of girl deserved to be the campus bell. However, she did not give up. She was confident that she could surpass the campus bell at South University. On the playground, Lin Sun was having trouble keeping up, as he had already expended too much energy before. Su Qingxia also noticed this and slowly switched from running to walking, quickly adjusting her breathing. Don't lower your head, take deep breaths, and don't stop walking, her gentle voice carried a hint of softness. Although Lin Sun was uncomfortable, he followed her instructions, and after a dozen seconds, he regained his breath. Senior, do you often go running? Lin Sun was a bit frustrated, as it seemed that the senior's physical fitness was not inferior to his. Su Qingxia nodded, I've been coming down to run since my freshman year. Lin Sun was amazed, realizing that the senior's good figure was also a reason. Su Qingxia said, you can come down often in the future and get more exercise. Lin Sun's eyes lit up, I was just thinking about that. Your clothes are still at my rental house, Su Qingxia suddenly said in a soft voice. Ha! Huh? Last time, you got them wet and didn't take them with you, so I washed them. Lin Sun was surprised, and he laughed, really? Thank you so much, senior. He had thought that the senior had thrown away the clothes, considering that he had worn them and they were wet. He didn't expect her not only to not mind but also to wash them. It was really touching. You can come and pick them up at your convenience, or should I bring them to you? Su Qingxia tucked her sweat-dampened hair behind her ear. Lin Sun immediately said, I'll come over, how can I trouble you to bring them to me, senior? Su Qingxia nodded. Mentioning the clothes, she couldn't help but think of the last time. Not long after Lin Sun left the rental house, her brother came. She remembered that her brother, who was on a business trip in the area, had specifically informed her that he was coming to visit her. Fortunately, Lin Sun had already left at that time. Otherwise, it would have been difficult to explain. With her brother's personality, he would definitely pry into the matter. Despite this, he still discovered Lin Sun's dirty clothes and pestered Su Qingxia with questions for a long time. Any brother who saw the opposite sex's clothes in his single sister's room would be eager to know the truth, right? Su Qingxia didn't say anything directly, but she managed to fool him. However, thinking of the look in her brother's eyes when he left, Su Qingxia couldn't help but feel a bit strained. It was as if her image had suddenly collapsed. Thinking of this, Su Qingxia subconsciously glanced at Lin Sun. The sweat had already soaked through the white short-sleeved shirt on his upper body, clinging tightly to his body, and his slightly muscular figure exuded a youthful aura. Recently, their relationship seemed to be getting closer. However, she didn't feel repulsed. Senior, is something wrong? Lin Sun noticed that the senior was looking at him, and he couldn't help but ask. Su Qingxia shook her head lightly, it's nothing, just thinking about something. Lin Sun nodded. Um, are you senior Su Qingxia? Suddenly, a boy caught up with them from behind and stopped the two of them. Lin Sun subconsciously sized up the other person, who had long hair and a somewhat handsome face, wearing a vest that revealed his muscular physique. He was probably around 1.78 meters tall. Compared to himself, well, the other person wasn't as handsome, and he was a bit shorter, but his physique was better, with obvious muscles that indicated regular exercise. Su Qingxia was stopped by someone, her eyebrows slightly furrowed, then she regained her composure and indifferently asked, What's the matter? Although the young man seemed somewhat masculine, he appeared a bit shy facing the campus bell of Nan University. He stuttered, I, I'm from the sports department, a freshman. I want to pursue you. Can you be my girlfriend? Lin Sun, bro, are your parents aware of this? Su Qingxia coldly rejected him, no. As she prepared to walk past him, he stopped her, senior, everyone says you're outstanding and hard to pursue, but I won't give up. Although I'm a sports student, my grades are good. Although I'm just a freshman, I believe that soon, I will become the best in the department. I will definitely become the person worthy of you. Su Qingxia calmly replied, then, work hard. It's good for young people to have goals and drive. The determined young man then turned to Lin Sun, classmate, what's your relationship with senior Su? Lin Sun. Lin Sun was unexpectedly named, 
but he remained calm and said, I'm a friend of Senior. Senior's friend. The young man was surprised, then asked, Do you also like the campus bell? Lin Sun gained a preliminary understanding of this guy's character. He's just a naive young man. At this moment, Su Qingcher suddenly looked at Lin Sun. Lin Sun's expression became somewhat awkward. Should he admit his feelings for her in front of her? Would she think he's calculating? Just as Lin Sun was about to bravely respond, a voice interrupted, What's going on here? Lin, is someone bullying you? Lu Gang had arrived and looked at the young man in front of him, raising an eyebrow, Bro, what are you up to? Seeing Lu Gang's imposing figure, the young man became hesitant and explained, You've got it wrong, I'm just here to find Senior Su, not to bully, anyone. Su Qingxer lost interest and looked away. Lin Sun gave Lu Gang a look, and Lu Gang approached the young man, putting his arm around his shoulder and said, Alright, buddy, have you trained before? The young man said, I'm from the sports department. Perfect, I just retired from the army and want to spar with someone from the sports department. You wouldn't mind, would you? Is that, okay? What's wrong? Scared? How can that be? You want to pursue the campus bell, right? You must perform well. Then, what should we compete in? Hmm. 100 meters, 200 meters, or even 5,000 meters, and you can pick the horizontal bar. After a few seconds, the young man said, let's compete in the 100 meters. Lu Gang smiled and said, all right. He gestured to Lin Sun, Lin, you can be our referee. Lin Sun smiled and said, I'll join in too. Lu Gang and the young man were surprised. Lin Sun said, what? Do you think I'm not good enough? Lu Gang shook his head, looking at Lin Sun with a complex expression. But, bro, I just pulled you out of the pit, and now you're jumping back in. What if you embarrass yourself in front of the goddess? Lin Sun gave him a reassuring smile. He wasn't the type of guy who couldn't face his own shortcomings. Even if he wasn't outstanding, he wouldn't feel inferior. But if he didn't have the courage to try, that would be the most pathetic. Even if he lost, he would do so openly and honestly. Great. Let's do it together. The young man's eyes were full of excitement. Let me be the referee. At this moment, Su Qingxer suddenly spoke up. Senior? Lin Sun looked at her in surprise. Is there a problem? Su Qingxer looked at him with a calm gaze. No problem. Soon, the three of them arrived at the starting line for the 100 meters race, and after a few minutes of warm-up, Su Qingxer's voice raised a few notches, and her face, rarely serious, said, Are you ready? Ready. Three boys' faces were filled with tension, excitement, and eagerness. Start. Swish. Lu Gang and the other boy almost started at the same time, while Lin Sun was half a second slower. In the first 50 meters, Lu Gang and the other boy were neck and neck, neither surpassing the other. Although Lin Sun's condition was still good, he was left behind by them by 5 meters. When they finally crossed the finish line, Lu Gang was half a body length ahead. Lin Sun arrived a second or two later. There was no one to time them at the finish line, but someone captured the scene on camera. Impressive. With this speed, they probably finished in less than 12 seconds. That's Zhao Jia from the Sports Institute, and the other one seems to be Lin Sun, who's popular on Tieba. And that strong guy, I don't know him. Wow. Even the campus beauty is acting as the referee for them, how cool. Let's capture this, we'll gossip about it tonight. Whoever finds information about that strong guy for me, I'll give them 50 V. At the finish line, Lin Sun was panting heavily, hands on his thighs. Lu Gang and Zhao Jia were also catching their breath but they quickly recovered. Lu Gang looked at Zhao Jia, impressed? The latter looked somewhat regretful, it was close, but I think that was my limit. He gave a thumbs up to Lu Gang, but you're really good, let's have a rematch next time. Lu Gang raised an eyebrow, sure. Then he walked up to Lin Sun and patted his shoulder, how was it? Lin Sun nodded, not bad. You, even though your skills are not that great, I still admire you, Lu Gang said, patting Lin Sun's shoulder. Zhao Jia also patted Lin Sun's shoulder. Lin Sun looked up at him and smiled. Kid, do you really like the campus beauty? Zhao Jia asked persistently. Although Lin Sun was tired and didn't feel like talking, he still nodded heavily, yes. Lu Gang raised an eyebrow, a hint of amusement in his eyes. Zhao Jia had a look of realization, but he said seriously, even though you're close to the goddess, it doesn't mean she likes you. We are still competitors, and I won't give up. Lin Sun said in a deep voice, let's wait and see. The two looked at each other and then inexplicably laughed. Exchange WeChat? Sure. Do you play basketball? A little bit. Then let's meet next time. Okay. The three of them exchanged contact information. At this time, Su Qingxer walked over, holding a bottle of water. Senior sister. Lin Sun scratched his head, feeling a bit embarrassed facing his crush after being left so far behind. 
Su Qingxiu didn't say anything, she handed the water to Lin Sun, have some. Lin Sun took it and smiled, thank you, senior sister. Zhao Jie looked enviously at the scene. Lu Gang was also speechless. They were the ones who ran, and the fastest were the two of them, but why did it seem like Lin Sun, who finished last, was more successful? At this moment, Su Qingxiu took out a tissue and wiped the sweat from Lin Sun's forehead. Click. The single dogs around them were heartbroken. Lu Gang and Zhao Jie, damn it. What's with this sudden pink bubble? Zhao Jie felt disheartened, feeling less confident now. Could he really pursue the campus beauty? I have something to do, I'll leave first. It's not suitable to stay here for long. Zhao Jie left dejectedly, like a frostbitten eggplant. Lu Gang sympathetically looked at his retreating figure. Fortunately, he had a girlfriend. He wasn't that sour. Lin Sun drank the water and smiled foolishly at Su Qingxiu. What are you laughing at? Lin Sun grinned, senior sister, I lost. You don't think I'm very pathetic, do you? Su Qingxiu said calmly, it's not your strong suit. Everyone has their weaknesses, don't take it too seriously. Lin Sun nodded quickly, yes. He couldn't outrun Zhao Jie, but the other guy didn't have his wealth. It's mutual. Yeah, that's right. What did you mean by let's wait and see just now? Ha! Huh? Suddenly, Su Qingxiu spoke, catching Lin Xu and Xiu off guard. Oh no, did. She hear him speaking? Su Qingxiu's plain eyes stared at him, making it hard to read her thoughts. Lin Xu and Xiu scratched his head, Senior, did you hear everything? Su Qingxiu calmly replied, Hear what? Did you hear me admit that I like you? Lin Xu and Xiu was about to speak when Lu Gang's urgent voice interrupted, Lin, quick, something's happening. Startled, Lin Xu and Xiu looked over. Lu Gang pointed to a couple not far away, looking eager for gossip. Guo Shengli? Lin Xu and Xiu was surprised to encounter him. That guy is heading to the cafeteria. Let's go, Lu Gang said with a smirk, then hurried off without waiting for Lin Xu and Xiu's response. Just as Lin Xu and Xiu was about to agree, the senior grabbed his arm. Senior? Su Qingxiu said with a half smile, trying to change the subject? Lin Xu and Xiu. Su Qingxiu tilted her head, hmm? It had to be said, the senior was now charmingly cute, and Lin Xu and Xiu's heart fluttered again. His expression calmed, and he suddenly smiled, Senior, since you've heard, do I need to confirm it again? What I said is true. Su Qingxiu was taken aback by Lin Xu and Xiu's response. She had just overheard his conversation with Zhao Jia, and when Zhao Jia asked, Do you like the campus bell? Su Qingxiu had stopped in her tracks, curious to see how Lin Xu and Xiu would answer, feeling a hint of nervousness. She was at a loss, not expecting to feel nervous because of a single sentence. And when she heard Lin Xu and Xiu's yes, her initial nervousness vanished, and her heart quieted down. Even though she had long sensed Lin Xu and Xiu's hidden affection and liking for her, hearing it from his own mouth was different. This guy liked her. When she came to her senses, Lin Xu and Xiu had already walked seven or eight meters away and turned back to her, senior, want to have dinner together? Su Qingxiu's lips curved slightly, sure. Wei Shengli and the senior from Dashi walked together and compared to the morning, the distance between them seemed to have shortened, almost shoulder to shoulder. Lin Xu and Xiu guessed they must have passed by the playground and were heading to have a meal. After entering the cafeteria, Lu Gang eagerly went to line up for food. Lin Xu and Xiu looked at Su Qingxiu, Senior, what do you want to eat? Su Qingxiu looked around and said, Wanton. Lin Xu and Xiu's eyes lit up, then find a seat, I'll go get it for you. With that, he dashed off. Su Qingxiu didn't say anything and, after glancing in the direction of Guo Shengli and the others, found a seat nearby. Even in sportswear and a simple ponytail, Su Qingxiu looked stunning, quickly drawing a lot of attention in the cafeteria. The campus bell was in the cafeteria? Wow, it's the campus bell series. Many male students took out their phones to take pictures. Even if they didn't dare to ask for her WeChat, they wanted to collect various photos of the goddess in her daily life. Some even posted the photos on Tieba, immediately attracting a group of onlookers. The goddess has descended to the cafeteria? Wow! I'm coming! So beautiful! The goddess is the goddess, even in sportswear, she looks stunning, and that figure. For the sake of my dormitory sons, as a father, I'll reluctantly go get some food. I heard the food in the cafeteria is good. Who wants to share dinner with me? If you don't abandon me, I'm willing to follow you. I second that. I have a friend. Fortunately, it wasn't peak hours in the cafeteria, or Su Qingxiu probably wouldn't have been able to eat. Who could eat with hundreds of eyes on them? Although she didn't mind, she wasn't at the level of being completely indifferent to others yet. Soon, Lin Sun brought a bowl of hot wontons and placed it in front of Su Qingxiu. Senior, do you want green onions or cilantro? Not knowing Su Qingxiu's preference, he didn't dare to add any condiments. Su Qingxiu replied, green onions. Got it. 
Just wait a moment. Lin Sin turned back and soon returned with a second bowl of wontons, adding a lot of green onions to it. At least three spoonfuls. Lin Sin still had his aunt's stern gaze in his mind. Senior, this is for you. He moved the wontons with green onions in front of the senior, and also tore open the disposable chopstick packaging, oh, and a spoon. Thank you. Su Qingxiu took it and then glanced at Lin Sun's bowl, don't you like green onions and cilantro? Lin Sun smiled, I like both. My family used to grow a lot of them when I was young, and my mom's cooking is also good, so I can accept both. Su Qingxiu nodded, that's good. She liked to add green onions when eating noodles, but she didn't like cilantro very much because it had a strong smell. You added too much. Su Qingxiu scooped a spoonful of green onions from her own bowl and put it into Lin Sun's bowl. Lin Sun stared at her actions in a daze, his mind not catching up for a moment. Clang. Thud. Just then, a male student passing by saw this scene and was so distracted that he accidentally bumped into a nearby pillar. The onlookers were shocked by this. Fortunately, someone captured the moment, leaving evidence behind. Suddenly, the online forum exploded with discussions. Wow, is this the campus beauty? Are you sure? Yes, it's her. I've collected hundreds of her photos over the past two years. I'd recognize her even if she turned to ashes. That's right, I've studied every detail of her. I can confirm with just one look, it's the campus beauty. Herself. Who is the guy sitting across from the campus beauty? How can he have this kind of luck? I can't believe it. He's a famous figure. There were rumors about him and the campus beauty not long ago, they seemed very close, and there's a high suspicion of them being in a romantic relationship. Why do I feel like that guy is just the campus beauty's younger brother or relative? Think about it, the goddess never had any rumors before. And this guy is just a freshman, how could the goddess possibly like a freshman? Plus one, the person above understands it very well. I also think they look more like siblings. Check. Send out the spies. We can't let this slide. The online forum suddenly split into three factions, one firmly believing that the two were in a romantic relationship, another thinking they were siblings, and the third being indifferent. Meanwhile, a couple having their meal had no idea that a group of onlookers were burning countless brain cells over them. At this moment, Lin Sun couldn't help but suppress a smile as he watched the senior use her spoon to scoop green onions for him just now. Although she didn't move, he was still very happy. And sitting across from the senior, he could see her eating in close proximity, which whetted his appetite. The senior looked so elegant even when eating a wonton. As for Lu Gang, who was sitting a few seats away from him, he had no sense of composure as he slurped his Liuzhou River snail's rice noodle. Hey, Lin, I've been observing for a while, but doesn't Guo seem a bit flirtatious? Lu Gang suddenly leaned in close to Lin Sun and whispered. Lin Sun was taken aback, then turned his gaze to Guo Shenli. At this moment, he and the girl were eating noodles, and Guo Shengli's face was always smiling, as if he had endless things to say, while the girl from the west was quite quiet, occasionally smiling and nodding. Looking at it this way, it seemed like Guo Shengli was the one taking the initiative. Lin Sun furrowed his brows, then sighed, forget it, that's just his personality. He'll only turn back when he hits a wall. Lu Gang also nodded. Su Qingxiu glanced at Guo Shengli's direction and quickly finished the remaining wontons. Because of Su Qingxiu's presence in the cafeteria, which was usually quiet, it suddenly became lively, with more and more students pouring in, their eyes frequently fell on Su Qingxiu, with a look of amazement and curiosity. Lin Sun also sensed that something was not right at this moment. The charm of the senior sister was too great. Could attracting a group of people's attention just by having a meal? I'm going to slip away first. You guys enjoy yourselves. Lu Gang said in a low voice, then walked away with the remaining soup. Oh my, if he stayed with Lin Sun, his information would probably be dug out by someone, and there might be a small wave of trouble coming up. Lin Sun felt a bit unnatural being stared at by so many people. He looked at Su Qingxiu and saw that she had almost finished eating, so he said, Senior sister, let me pour the remaining soup for you. Su Qingxiu nodded. Lin Sun took a bowl in each hand and said to the senior sister, you can go first, otherwise you probably won't be able to leave later. There were so many people, almost surrounding the cafeteria. Su Qingxiu said lightly, I'll wait for you. Lin Sun smiled slightly, okay, then you wait for me for a while. If the senior sister didn't mind, why should he? He felt that he had to show a bit of strength in front of the senior sister. Let her feel safe. After pouring the soup, Lin Sun put the bowls in the designated place and was about to walk back. Lin Sun. A surprised voice came. Lin Sun was stunned and looked at the person, it's you again? Su Qing was originally quite surprised and delighted, but when Lin Sun spoke, her face froze, do you hate me so much? Lin Sun shook his head, no, it's just a bit unexpected. 
Su Cheng took a deep breath, Lin Sun, I need to clarify the misunderstanding between us. I did wrong to you before, and I have also received retribution, I. What retribution? Lin Sun suddenly interrupted. Ha! Huh? Su Qing was stunned. Lin Sun looked at her with a cold look in his eyes, there is no misunderstanding between us. It was all consensual. We have no relationship now, so you don't need to explain anything. Su Qing said, are we still friends? Lin Sun sneered, do you think it's possible? Su Cheng choked. Lin Sun shook his head, I have my own life now, not the same as before, and so do you. We are all from the same school. I can only say I wish you a bright future. And also, in the future, he suddenly stopped. He had wanted to say to stay away from him in the future, but he realized that they had met by chance several times. Forget it, he didn't want to say anything. Su Qing was about to say something, but someone didn't give her the chance. Met a fellow villager? The voice of the senior sister came from behind. For Lin Sun, this was undoubtedly a redeeming voice like a heavily sound. Senior sister. Su Qingxer stood beside him, looking at Su Qing. I remember you, you were Lin Sun's high school classmate. Su Qing looked at her. When she came to South University, she had already heard of Su Qingxer's existence. At that time, she was a bit surprised. She didn't expect that the girl she had met in Liangchang was actually the school flower of South University. She was very curious. Why would the legendary Ice Queen be so close to Lin Sun? Was it for his money? If Lin Sun knew she was thinking like this, he would probably slap her in the face. Who was the senior sister? Could her status be the same as yours? If the senior sister liked his money, he would be happy, right? Otherwise, why would he need to be so careful about liking her? Su, senior sister. Hello, my name is Su Ching. Su Chang nodded and greeted her. Su Qingxia said lightly, you mentioned it last time. She remembered. For this girl who had accompanied Lin Sun for several years in high school, she remembered her name the first time. Senior sister Su, what is your relationship with Lin Sun? Su Qing couldn't help but ask. Su Qingxia raised her eyebrows. Lin Sun frowned, Su Qing, our relationship has nothing to do with you. Su Qing glanced at him, I want to know what kind of person the girl who took away the person I like is. Lin Sun was speechless. Sister, are you kidding? You just like money. Took away? Su Qingxia's mouth lifted with a hint of mockery, junior sister, the way you use this word, I have to say, you have a thick skin. Susan Chang had no expression on her face, what do you mean, sister Su? I've also heard about the things between you and Lin Sun. He's such a good guy, but you don't know how to cherish him. What were you thinking? Su Qingxia stepped forward, and a strong, cold aura instantly emanated from her. At this moment, the dominant Su, the school flower, was online. Su Qing's face turned pale. I. She did regret it. After breaking up with Qin Hao, she suddenly realized and remembered the pure love Lin Sun had for her. Unfortunately, she had hurt that boy's heart deeply. Now, Lin Sun looked at her with a strange and indifferent gaze. Her heart ached like a needle prick for a moment. I should thank you. Su Qingxia suddenly chuckled. Thank you for what? Su Qing didn't react. Su Qingxia glanced at her faintly, without even the desire to speak, and subconsciously took Lin Sun's hand and walked out of the cafeteria. Su Qing. She stared blankly at the two holding hands, forgetting her words for a moment. And this scene was also seen by the onlookers. Many people exclaimed, the school flower's aura was too strong. How dare that girl? She was very pretty, but compared to the school flower, she had many shortcomings. For a moment, many eyes fell on Su Qing, as if watching a clown. The latter's face turned even paler, and she hurriedly fled, not even bothering to eat dinner. Outside the cafeteria, Lin Sun looked at his hand held by his senior sister, feeling soft in his heart. Was his senior sister standing up for him? So cool. And, his senior sister's hand was so small and soft, the two came to a place under a big tree, and Su Qingxia finally let go of Lin Sun's hand. Her face looked a little unnatural. She hadn't even noticed that she had held Lin Sun's hand just now. In fact, she did it subconsciously, and only now did she feel strange. Hey, senior sister, you were so cool just now. Lin Sun said cheerfully. Su Qingxia glanced at him faintly. Okay, did she really come to Nanda for you? Lin Sun immediately said seriously, I have no idea about this matter. Senior sister, let me explain. In my heart, there is only senior sister. Su Qingxia was stunned for a moment, and then a blush appeared on her stunning face. Lin Sun was instantly stunned. So beautiful. Su Qingxia glared at him coldly and said, You're getting bolder lately. Lin Sun suddenly brought about a contrast, leaving her somewhat unresponsive. Is the junior brother going to become a little man? Lin Sun chuckled, then his eyes paused, and suddenly he leaned towards Su Qingxia's face, Senior sister, don't move. 
His voice was low and magnetic, with a hint of temptation. Su Qingshi subconsciously didn't move, staring blankly at Lin Sun getting closer. Just as the distance between the two was only about 10 centimeters, Lin Sun suddenly spoke softly, Senior sister, you don't have a single pimple on your face, how amazing. Su Qingshi paused for a moment, and calmly said, What's so amazing about that? Why are you getting so close? Lin Sun grinned, There's a piece of green onion on your collar, let me take it off for you. Saying that, he reached out his hand. Green onion. When Su Qingshi saw the piece of green onion on Lin Sun's finger, she was speechless for a moment. God knew that her heart had started to lose control just now. At this moment, Lin Sun didn't rush to move away. He was somewhat dazed, staring at Su Qingshi's stunning face and those elastic red lips. His heart was pounding. Senior sister. Hmm. Can I kiss you? Dream on. The conversation between the two was very calm, as if whispering, but the atmosphere was inexplicably ambiguous. Lin Sun's eyes were burning with two flames, seemingly eager to melt his senior sister. Sensing his emotions, Su Qingshi became somewhat sober. Why are you so close? Do you want to do something bad? Lin took a deep breath, forcing himself to calm down. He took a step back and gave a warm smile. Senior sister, your heart is beating fast, he said. Su Qingshi remained calm and replied, you heard wrong, it's your heart that's beating fast. Lin scratched his head. He had really wanted to kiss her just now, but he realized that they were not in a romantic relationship yet. Offending senior sister like that would probably ruin their relationship. However, it was also a small test for him, and the result made him more determined. Senior sister did not reject him. Senior sister, do you remember what I said before? Su Qingshi glanced at him and asked, which one? I meant what I said, Lin's eyes were firm and serious. He said he was serious. His feelings for her were real. Su Qingshi pursed her lips, about to speak, when Lin suddenly said, Senior sister, do you know that I like you? A bold move. He wanted to take a step towards her. Perhaps this step would make him fall into an abyss. Su Qingshi nodded lightly, I know. There are many who like me, she continued. At Nanda, not all, but at least half of the boys admire her. It's not self-conceit, but confidence. She is outstanding, not just in looks, but also in talent and ability, among her peers. A woman of extraordinary beauty. This description was not an exaggeration. Many of the boys pursuing her were rich, but her standards made them feel unworthy, even if they were wealthy. Lin's throat felt dry. Then, senior sister, why don't you dislike my affection? I don't know. Really don't know? I don't know. Su Qingshi looked at him, her cold eyes softened slightly. She seemed to smile. Do you know how I feel about you? Lin's curiosity peaked, as a friend? Lin Sun. Yes? You make me feel a little moved. Oh? Huh? Senior sister, what did you say? Lin was stunned, he doubted he had misheard. Because Su Qingshi's voice was very soft when she spoke. However, Su Qingshi did not speak again, but turned around, come to the rental house this weekend. Lin stared at her back, still in a daze. Did he really not miss here? Did senior sister just say she felt a little moved by him? Bang! Lin's heart seemed to explode like fireworks. Really? When? Could he really make senior sister feel moved? Soon, Lin calmed down. He carefully recalled his conversation with senior sister just now. His approach was a bit obvious, but senior sister did not outright reject him, which meant that their relationship had taken a step forward. He still owed a confession. Lin's heart suddenly settled down. He had to confess as soon as possible. And he had to give senior sister a romantic and unforgettable confession. Hey, Tais, what are you doing? Lin's shoulder was tapped, and he turned around to see Guo Shengli. Upon hearing this, Guo Xingli's face looked a bit bitter, let's not talk about it. We are not from the same world. Lin was surprised, but I saw you getting along well with her. Guo Xingli sighed and waved his hand, at most, we are just friends, and she is about to start her internship. We are destined to have no future. A freshman dating a senior, well, there was quite a big gap. Lin nodded in understanding, I didn't expect you to have this realization. Guo Xingli glared, what do you mean? Do I look like a scumbag? Lin said seriously, Brother Guo, you misunderstood. You are a good person. Guo Shengli, what are you doing here? I just saw you having dinner with your goddess, Guo Shengli suddenly asked. Lin nodded, yes, senior sister just left. Guo Shengli looked at him suspiciously and said, strange, why do I feel like you're so cheerful? Lin Sun smiled and replied, I'm in high spirits when good things happen. Guo Shengli was surprised and asked, what do you mean? Did the campus bell agree to be your girlfriend? No, she didn't. Did you make money at home? No. Guo Xingli rolled his eyes and said, What are you trying to say? Lin Sun suddenly hooked his neck and asked, 
Guo, let me ask you something. How many girlfriends have you had before? Guo Xingli looked at him warily and asked, Why are you asking this? Just curious. Guo Xingli coughed and said, Well, it's a long story, and my mouth is a bit dry. Fine. I'll get you something to drink. After half an hour, Lin Sun stared at Guo Xingli, who was calmly sipping his milk tea, with a speechless expression. Hey, don't you want to know how I managed to have several girlfriends in a row? Guo Xingli said nonchalantly. Lin Sun twitched his mouth. He regretted talking to Guo Xingli, whose emotional intelligence was lower than his. His previous girlfriends were all attracted by his flattery, and none of them lasted more than two months. The reason was always lack of money. Let me tell you, these girls just love to spend money. As long as you have money, you can keep them in check. Guo Shengli said seriously. Love without material possessions is like a castle in the air. Love is no longer under the control of the matchmaker, but under the god of wealth. Lin, you should think twice. Guo Shengli suddenly grabbed Lin Sun's collar in an exaggerated manner. Lin Sun pushed him away with a black line on his face and asked, Do you think all girls are like that? I don't believe in love anymore, Guo Shengli said. Then he exclaimed, Wait, are you planning to pursue a certain girl? Lin Sun nodded seriously. Guo Shengli was puzzled and said, But isn't your goddess the campus belle of Su University? How? His face suddenly froze, and then he exclaimed, No way. You're not trying to pursue the campus belle, are you? Lin Sun was taken aback and said, What's wrong with that? Why is it so shocking? Guo Shengli said speechlessly, Why not shocking? She's the campus belle. There are countless suitors, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. Pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Lin Sun said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle. 
pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. 
If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you meet someone you like, you should go for it. Bro, she's the campus belle, pursued by countless people, and the failure rate of confession is 100%. Linson said, I don't think they're the Tieba is full of posts about the cafeteria, and photos, and this girl? Jiang Yunxiao clapped her hands. Then he'll just treat it as a joke, eat and drink, and sleep until dawn. Susan Ching raised her eyebrows. I understand. So, sure sure, who is this friend of yours? Jiang Yunxiao leaned in, full of curiosity. Susan Ching said lightly, you. Me? How come I didn't know? Jiang Yunxiao was puzzled. Ignoring her cheap friend, Susan Ching got up and walked to the bathroom. After closing the door, she inexplicably took out her phone and opened the chat with Lin Sun. 
After a pause, she sent a message. Good night? Three seconds later, the message the other party is typing appeared in the chat box. Seeing this, a faintly surprising curve appeared at the corner of Susan Ching's mouth. Senior sister, I can't sleep. Lin Sun almost instantly replied. At this moment, he was curled up in bed, facing his phone. Since the lights went out, he had been thinking about his senior sister, watching videos for a while, closing his eyes for a while, and every time he closed his eyes, he felt wide awake and had to open his phone again. He didn't expect his senior sister to message him first. Lin Sun immediately went downstairs to chat with his senior sister. Fairy senior sister, why can't you sleep? Lin Sun, because I miss you, deleted, I don't know, I feel a bit energetic. Yeah, his roommate was snoring, but he didn't mention Guo Shang's name. Fairy senior sister, go to bed early, staying up late is not good. Lin Sun, okay, okay, senior sister, are you having trouble sleeping too? Fairy senior sister, doing homework, getting ready to sleep. At this moment, a certain senior sister in the bathroom had a calm expression on her face. She lied. She couldn't sleep either. The phone vibrated, and a message popped up. Junior brother, senior sister, you should rest early too, don't tire yourself out. Susan Ching looked at the message, a smile appeared on her face. You too. Good night. Good night. After the chat, both of them felt as if a weight had been lifted off their hearts, a sense of relief, followed by a wave of drowsiness. A night of silence. The next morning, Lin Sun was the last one to get up. Lin, you're going to be late for the 8 a.m. class. Lu Gang shouted as he stood in front of the sink, spraying foam as he spoke. Lin Sun, with his eyes closed, kicked the blanket to the corner, then used both hands and feet to get up. Ah! After a monkey-like cry, Lin Sun finally woke up and said somewhat listlessly, Why does the world have 8 a.m. classes? He he, did you stay up late last night? Guo Sheng teased as he blow-dried his hair. Lin Sun ruffled his messy hair and said, Around 3 o'clock, I think. Ah! It's so hard, I must go to bed early for the 8 a.m. class in the future. Hurry up, it's already 7.10. Wu Daji had finished packing and was sitting in front of the computer, applying makeup. Lin Sun quickly rolled up the blanket, leaned it against the wall, got up, and washed up. Since it was already 7.50 when they left, they walked quickly. As they passed the cafeteria, Lin Sun ran in and bought breakfast in a flash. As he was about to leave, he ran into someone familiar. Senior sister? Susan Chang was about to buy breakfast in the cafeteria when she saw Lin Sun and raised her eyebrows slightly. Why are you in such a hurry? Lin Sun said, I'm about to be late. Have you had breakfast, senior sister? Susan Ching shook her head, I'm just about to. Senior sister, take your time to eat. I have to go to class first. Lin Sun glanced at his roommates. They were already a hundred meters away, so he had to give up chatting with the senior sister and run after them. After a few steps, he turned back and looked at Su Qingshu. What's up? Su Qingshu looked at Lin Sun approaching her with a calm gaze. Lin Sun earnestly said, Senior sister, you look very beautiful today, but you have heavy dark circles. You must pay attention to rest. After saying that, he hurried away. Su Qingshu was stunned for a moment, then suddenly showed a faint smile. The passing students were all stunned to see this scene. The smile of the goddess was even more beautiful than the Mona Lisa. Although they walked fast, they arrived in the classroom at 8.04. The whole class of students who arrived early looked at them with dull expressions, but when they saw the Westerner, their expression suddenly livened up, showing a look of anticipation. This class was about basic finance, taught by an older professor named Song Yang Chun. He looked at the latecomer Lin Sun and exclaimed, Have you and your master just returned from a journey to the West? The classmates burst into laughter. Lin Sun and the others remained composed, as long as they didn't feel embarrassed, they wouldn't be embarrassed. Normally, even if students are late for class in college, the teacher wouldn't say anything but they were all new here and not very good at dealing with these situations. Moreover, the teacher was highly respected, so they could only obediently report. All right, find a seat and don't sleep too much, young people, Professor Song waved to them. The students hurriedly found seats, mostly in the front three rows. The competition among college students was intense, so they always sat in the back during class, leaving the front two rows empty for latecomers. Sitting in the front wasn't ideal, as the teacher would always be watching, and it wasn't good for the neck to constantly look up at the PowerPoint slides during class. Lin Sun focused on the teacher's lecture with his eyes, but his mind had already drifted elsewhere. The senior sister's dark circles were indeed quite heavy. Although it didn't affect her stunning appearance, if this continued, she would probably become increasingly haggard. He had to do something. Yes, he would buy skincare products for the senior sister. After class, he would go shopping. He would pick the best one for the senior sister. Most of the students in the early morning class were not very energetic, 
especially since the professor was a conservative old man who spoke in a profound and mysterious manner, causing many students to start dozing off. Even Lin Sun was feeling a bit drowsy, as he had stayed up late the night before. Bang! Suddenly, a loud noise rang out, startling the entire classroom. Everyone was jolted awake, including the professor, and all eyes turned to the back row. A male student stood up from his seat, looking bewildered with his hands on the desk. This student, did you just bang on the desk so loudly? Do you have any objections to the teacher's lecture? Professor Song's cold gaze fell on the male student. No, no, teacher, it's not that. You lecture very well. I just had a dream. I'm sorry. The student stammered. Embarrassing, he had actually dozed off in class. How socially awkward. Professor Song raised his index finger and adjusted his glasses. Oh, the teacher lectures so well that it put you to sleep? Everyone laughed. Professor Song had a good temper and waved his hand to let the student sit down. Then he said, all right, I know you're all tired, and I'm tired too. So, to wake you up, I'll ask two students to come up and answer some questions. You, the student in the front, although you were late, I saw you were listening attentively just now. Stand up, Professor Song suddenly pointed at Lin Sun. The latter looked bewildered. What? Teacher, when did I listen attentively? I was just thinking seriously about what to buy for the senior sister. Reluctantly, he stood up a teacher song asked, What did the teacher just say about the financial market? Lin Sin replied, Teacher, I, I don't know. Didn't you pay attention in class just now? This is the most basic concept. Teacher, I was daydreaming just now. Then call a classmate to help you answer. Go Shengli. Go Shengli, who was silently praying, looked shocked at Lin Sun. Damn. Brother Lin, how dare you defy the teacher? Teacher, I don't know either. You don't know either? Then call another one. Lu Gang. Lu Gang had a calm expression and stood up confidently. You don't know either? Lu Gang said confidently, Teacher, I know. The financial market is mainly divided into the money market, foreign exchange market. Listening to his roommate's fluent answer, Lin Sun and Go Xingli looked at each other, feeling embarrassed. Look, that's the difference. Brother Lu is indeed Brother Lu. Well, it's decided, he will be the study advisor for 307 in the future. Well done, sit down. The other two students can also sit down. Teacher Song praised Lu Gang, but didn't say anything to Lin Sun and Go Xingli. 9.30, class ended. The students of the finance department 201 class immediately rushed to another classroom for the next class. Time flew by and it was time for lunch, the bell rang. The class monitor suddenly spoke up, everyone, although we don't have classes in the afternoon and evening, we will have a class meeting at 7 p.m. Please make sure to attend, there will be senior students from the student union coming to recruit new members. Student Union Recruitment This news sparked interest in many students. In every school, the student union is the most attention-grabbing organization. If they can join the student union, it will greatly help their future academic careers. After the class monitor finished speaking, the three roommates from room 307 hurried to the cafeteria. Student Union? How is that more important than having a meal? On the way, Wu Di curiously asked, It seems that many clubs are recruiting new members recently. Have you decided which one to join? Lin Sun shook his head. I haven't decided. Go Xingli looked thoughtful. I'll go to the one with more girls. Get lost. Shallow. Lin, I suggest you join the student union. Wu Di suddenly showed a mysterious smile. Lin Sun was puzzled. Why? Because as far as I know, the vice president of the student union at Su University is the campus bell, isn't she your goddess? This surprised Lin Sun. After thinking for a moment, he said, I'll ask the senior sister before deciding. The three roommates rolled their eyes in unison. Look at this Versailles, having the Campus Bells WeChat is so great. They had wanted Lin Sun to introduce the Campus Bells WeChat to them before, but Lin Sun was very stingy and didn't budge. How many male students in the whole school could have the Campus Bells WeChat? Because they were delayed for a few minutes after class, when they arrived at the cafeteria, it was already crowded. Excuse me, excuse me. It took them a lot of effort to squeeze to a window and line up. Ha! Huh? Are you the freshman named Lin Sun? At this moment, someone tapped Lin Sun's shoulder. Lin Sun turned to look at the person, it was a male student, hello, who are you? The male student looked excited, it's really you. I finally met you in person. Bro, what's your relationship with the campus bell? Cousin. Younger brother. Lover. The three roommates from room 307 chimed in. The male student's mouth formed an O shape. Lin Sun glanced at them and then said to the male student, I'm just friends with senior sister Sue. Well, for now. Friends? Does that mean you and the campus bell are really not relatives, just normal friends? Friends. This was even more shocking. If that's the case, 
Why is the campus bell so intimate with this kid? The male student became more and more excited. He took out his phone, turned on the camera, and aimed it at Lin Sun, classmate, can you please repeat what you just said? Lin Sun, bro, what kind of operation is this, still recording? Ignoring the other party, he happened to be in line for his meal. Two meat dishes and one vegetarian dish, standard. Back in the dorm, everyone ate separately. Lin Sun ate his meal while browsing for eye cream. He wanted to buy eye cream for his senior sister. Looking at the pile of products, the effects and reviews were not much different. Lin Sun was in a dilemma. Which one to buy? Buy them all? He had the means, as the most expensive eye cream was only one or two thousand, buying a dozen or so would not hurt him. However, buying so many would seem casual, he wanted to choose the best one. His senior sister deserved the best. In the end, he couldn't decide. He had planned to ask his senior sister which one she liked, but quickly gave up. His senior sister was so smart, she would know he was buying it for her as soon as he asked. Suddenly, Lin Sun's eyes lit up. Right. Find Sister Jian. Without delay, Lin Sun found Sister John's WeChat and sent her a message. At this time, John Yunxiao, who was sitting on the bed with a head of messy hair, suddenly saw her phone light up. She glanced at it and didn't pay much attention. Then she started calling her best friend. Sure sure? Have you eaten yet? No response, still in the library? John Yunxiao decisively took the phone. At this time, only she could get the school beauty to bring her food. After sending a message to Su Qingxiu, Jiang Yunxiao didn't care whether she responded or not. She knew her best friend, once she saw the message, she usually wouldn't reply, but she acted quickly. Ha! Huh? The junior brother is looking for me? Jiang Yunxiao saw the message from Lin Sun and was somewhat surprised. Junior brother, senior sister, are you there? It's urgent. Jiang Yunxiao thought for a moment and typed a reply. Lin Sun took a few bites of his meal, and the message came back. Sister Jiang, what's wrong, junior brother? Sister Jiang, tired, junior brother, I want to buy eye cream, do you have any recommendations? Sister Jiang, what do you want to buy that for? Junior brother, I have a friend with heavy dark circles who wants to buy it for her. I have a friend? Jiang Yunxiao frowned, her brain quickly turned a few times, and she fell into contemplation. Why does she feel like she had heard this before? Snap. Suddenly, she clapped her hands, a cunning look in her eyes. Right, didn't Shur Shur stay up late last night? Presumably, the friend the junior brother was talking about was her, right? Hey, how come these two are so in sync? Even their words are so similar? Jiang Yunxiao showed a sly smile and started typing. Sister Jiang, is this friend of yours, Shur Shur? Damn. In the men's dorm, Lin Sun suddenly exclaimed. What's wrong, Lin? Lu Gang looked over. Lin Sun said, nothing, just chatting. With a girl? Yeah. Damn. Lin, you're actually sneaking around behind us. Does your senior sister know? Go Shengli's shocked voice came. Get lost. She's just a friend. Lin Sun's face was full of black lines. Just a friend? What's wrong? Did she do something to surprise you? Do I need a strategist? Strategist? You? What do you mean? Look down on me. Go? Forget it. Go. Your skills are too shallow. Lin Sun shook his head. Go, in general, could handle most girls, but if he met someone like Sister Jiang, he might end up being led by the nose. Lin Sun did not hide it from Jiang Yunxiao and admitted it. Jiang Yunxiao had a look as if she had known all along, then smirked. Sister Jiang, did you say something to Shur Shur yesterday? Junior brother, Sister Jiang, how did you know? Junior brother, did sister tell you? The information revealed by the other party was a bit explosive, and Lin Sun was shocked. Sister Jiang, yeah, Shur Shur asked me last night, and it seems she couldn't sleep because of it. Sister Jiang, sly smile, Sister Jiang, tell me, how far has your relationship developed behind my back? Lin Sun sat in front of the computer desk, feeling a bit conflicted. He was considering whether or not to tell Sister Jiang Shui about his feelings for her. However, it seemed that Sister Jiang Shui didn't seem very reliable. If he were to confess, it might be difficult for him to do it alone, so it would be better to find a few more helpers. Since Sister Jiang Shui had a good relationship with Sister Shui, she must understand her better, which would benefit him. With this in mind, Lin Sun began composing a message. Jiang Yunxiao sat on the bed waiting for a response. After a few minutes passed without a reply, she felt puzzled. Was her junior brother feeling shy? Just then, a message popped up. She opened it, and her eyes lit up instantly. Junior brother, Sister Shui and I are just good friends for now. Jiang Shui, for now? Does that mean you still plan to develop something beyond friendship with Shui? Junior brother, blushing, Jiang Shui, ha, you don't need to hide it. Even a blind person can see that you like Shui, right? Junior brother, is it that obvious? Jiang Shui, 
Come on, my best friend is so beautiful. It's not just you boys, even I have a crush on her. Junior brother. Lin Sun imagines Sister Shui and Sister Jiang together, with the cool Sister Shui taking the lead and the fiery Sister Jiang following. The image was so captivating. He quickly shook off the thoughts and scolded himself. At that moment, Jiang Yunxiao replied, Jiang Shui, but if you like Shui, pursuing her will be quite challenging. Lin Sun immediately replied, seeking Jiang Shui's help, please assist me, Sister Jiang. Jiang Shui, ha, huh? sure. I can see that Shui's feelings for you seem different from those for other boys. If it works out, it will be quite exciting. Jiang Shui, I'll help you. Junior brother, thank you, Sister Jiang. I'm at your service. Jiang Shui, no problem. Jiang Shui, by the way, here's a surprise for you. Jiang Shui, he he, junior brother? Jiang Shui, image, at that moment, in the male dormitory, Lin Sun reflexively closed his phone upon seeing the photo sent by Jiang Yunxiao. His cautious behavior caught the attention of Lu Gang and the others. What's up, buddy? Why are you acting so cautiously? Is there something I shouldn't know? Go Xingli, with a toothpick in his mouth, immediately approached. Lu Gang looked at him suspiciously and then shook his head. Brother Lin, this isn't right. You're hiding something from your dear old dad. Get lost. Rebel. You actually want to be my dad. So why are you hiding something so tightly? Let me see it. Go Xingli stared at Lin Sun's phone with a sly look in his eyes. Lin Sun shook his head. It's nothing. Just a sudden ad popping up. Damn. Brother Lin, you're not browsing some dodgy websites, are you? It can't be, right? Go Xingli exclaimed in surprise. Lin Sun, with a dark expression, said, Am I that kind of person? Go Xingli looked at him suspiciously. Your complexion is clearly a bit off. Lin Sun didn't want to deal with him. He had stayed up late the previous night, so of course his complexion was off. I'll treat you to a week's worth of breakfast. Get lost. All right. As you wish. Go Xingli walked away, satisfied with getting a week's worth of breakfast for no reason. Lin Sun quickly took off his shoes, got into bed, and buried his head in the covers. He opened WeChat, clicked on the photo, and focused his eyes with excitement. Zhang Yunxiao had sent him a photo of him and Sister Shui, taken by Zhang Yunxiao at the mall. In the photo, Lin Sun was operating a claw machine, and Su Qingxi stood elegantly beside him, looking at him with a demeanor that was not as cold as usual, but rather more serene. At first glance, the two of them looked perfect together. With an excited heart, Lin Sun long pressed to save the image. Zhang Shui's message from a few minutes ago appeared, What's wrong? Did sister take a good picture? Is this photo worth a meal? Smirk, Lin Sun smiled and replied with a smile. Junior brother, awesome, sister Jiang. Amazing 666 junior brother, expression, kadao, 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 sister Jiang, of course, I'll tell you, next time I have the chance, I'll show you a photo of Shur Shur wearing a short skirt and silk stockings. Lin Sun didn't reply this time, because at this moment, he was already fantasizing in his mind. He had seen Sister Jiang in a short skirt before, and now with black stockings. Oops. His nose felt hot. Lin Sun quickly stopped his imagination. This, this is too easy to lead to criminal thoughts, right? But Lin Sun still swallowed his saliva several times. Yeah, if he had Sister John's black stockings photo, he would definitely keep it in a secure cabinet. Looking at it before going to bed, no, that would make it hard to sleep, right? At this time, Jiang Yunxiao sent a message, so when do you plan to confess? Lin Sun replied, the timing is not right yet, I want to have more contact with Sister Jiang. Sister Jiang, sure, sure sure has a cold personality, it's hard to impress her, it takes patience, I believe you can do it. Keep it up. Junior brother, does Sister Jiang know some of Sister's hobbies? Knowing oneself and the enemy can ensure victory in a hundred battles. Lin Sun had already planned to get to know Sister Jiang more. Jiang Yunxiao thought for a moment and said, let me tell you about some of her usual hobbies, but that's not enough. You have to appear in her field of vision frequently. Lin Sun pondered for a moment, suddenly remembered what Wu Di said at noon, and asked, How about I join the student council? Sister Jiang, it's not impossible, but because of Shur Shur's relationship with the student council, many people are eager to join, but most of them fail. Sister Jiang, to enter the student council, first of all, you must have outstanding abilities, and secondly, girls are given priority. Junior brother, why? Sister Jiang, because every time the student council recruits new members, the president personally screens them. The president is a senior male student, the same year as Shursher, very outstanding, and he also has a secret crush on Shursher, so it's even harder for those who have thoughts about Shursher to join the student council. I see. Lin Sun fell into contemplation, the student council president likes sister, and sister is too outstanding. The pressure suddenly doubled, what should he do? 
In the girl's dormitory, Jiang Yunxia was playing with her phone, suddenly she looked towards the door, subconsciously covered her phone, and looked at Su Qingxia who entered. Jiang Yunxia suddenly looked like she had seen her parents again, my dear, you're finally back, I'm starving. Su Qingxia glanced at her indifferently and suddenly said, why do you look so guilty? Jiang Yunxiao's face stiffened, do I? Damn. Does her best friend know her so well? Can't even escape her eyes for such small changes? It seems that she will have to establish an underground intelligence organization with the junior brother in the future. Yes. Su Qingxia's beautiful eyes narrowed, becoming even more suspicious. After ending the conversation with Sister Jiang, Lin Sun opened the album and looked at that photo again and again. Sister is really beautiful. And sister's figure is also amazing, right? With a height of 1.7 meters, her legs are at least a meter long, her waist is slender, and with a waistband, in the case of wearing a skirt, this part is undoubtedly the most eye-catching. Because it's so slender. Well, but he's not bad either. Look at this side profile, it matches my sister. Linson let out a sly laugh under the covers. Roommates? After admiring every detail of the photo, Linson set the photo as his phone wallpaper, both lock screen and home screen. This way, every time he opens his phone, he can see sister. This is their first photo together. So Linson pressed the button to turn off the screen, then turned it on again, off, on, repeatedly. He he. Brother Lin, are you secretly watching something? You're laughing so lecherously? Go Shangli wondered. Lu Gang glanced at the shaking blanket on a certain bed and shook his head. This is the rhythm of being possessed. He didn't need to guess, he knew that brother Lin was chatting with Su. Only in this way could the normal brother Lin become a silly boy. Of course, he was wrong. This time. Around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the westerners of room 307 all fell into a deep sleep. I in the dormitory, the only thing that was very consistent was the afternoon nap. Everyone slept at this time. Snoring echoed and continued endlessly. At 5 in the afternoon, Lin Sun set his alarm and got up. Lu Gang was also sitting in front of the computer playing games early. As for the other two sons, they were still asleep. Brother Bing, want to go for a run? Sure. The student union, he will take the initiative to get closer to her. After the people from the student union left, there were other senior brothers and sisters from other clubs coming to recruit. Chess club, honor guard, martial arts association. This time they just came to introduce their clubs, and there would be specific times and venues for recruitment later. After the meeting, the few of them walked towards the dormitory. Lin Sun only signed up for the student union, Lu Gang did not sign up for any clubs, but he was interested in the honor guard and planned to ask about it at some point. And Guishingly, this guy actually chose to join the cheerleading team of the college. Gua, does the cheerleading team recruit guys? Lin Sun asked with a soulful inquiry. Gua Xingli smirked, bro, of course I know they don't recruit guys. I just joined the group to check out the girls. And I have to say, there are a lot of beautiful girls in the group, slim waist and long legs, TSK TSK. 6. Gua, I have a friend who didn't have time to join the group, can I invite him in? V. 50. Sorry to bother you. Lin Sun and the others were speechless about Guo Shengli. After returning to the dormitory, Lin Sun quickly took a shower and then lay on the bed. He found that ever since he met the senior sister, he liked to chat with her every night while lying on the bed. He wasn't like this before. Junior brother, senior sister, what are you doing? Su Qing replied with understanding. Fairy senior sister, just finished showering. Junior brother, he he, me too. Fairy senior sister, are you happy? Lin Sun's mouth lifted slightly. Of course, I'm happy. Chatting with senior sister, even if it's through the screen, makes me happy. Lin Sun replied, senior sister, are you the vice president of the student union? Fairy senior sister, how did you know? Deleted. Yes, what's the matter? Junior brother, I signed up for the student union's recruitment tonight. At the same time, in the dormitory, Su Qing was a bit surprised and raised her eyebrows. Right, she remembered that it happened to be the day of the club recruitment recently. Although she was the vice president of the student union now, she rarely handled things, and it was usually the president who took care of them. The junior brother wanted to join the student union? Fairy senior sister, why do you want to join the student union? Junior brother, well, I want to develop my abilities. Of course, I also want to get closer to you a little bit. Fairy senior sister, do you still need to develop any abilities? Are you the son of a tycoon? Junior brother, so, does senior sister not want me to join the student union? Fairy senior sister, the student union is very complicated, not suitable for you. After joining the student union, she clearly realized what it meant to be worldly wise, and someone like Lin Sun would definitely not be able to handle the atmosphere inside. And more importantly, she didn't want him to be unhappy. She didn't know why, 
But this thought subconsciously flashed through her mind younger student, but the student union has senior sisters, right? Younger student, the senior sisters will take care of me, won't they? Su Qingxi looked at the other person's reply, and a slight smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. Younger student, isn't the first sentence the key? She could guess Lin Sun's thoughts to some extent. He joined the student union not without reason, but with a specific purpose. She didn't want to pry into the details. Fairy senior sister, then, good luck. It's not easy to get into the student union. Younger student, don't worry, senior sister, I will work hard. Suddenly, Su Qingxi switched to another page, opened QQ, entered the student union group chat, clicked on the group leader's profile picture, and started a temporary chat. Su Qingxi, when will the new recruitment interviews start? President? President, Qingxi, why are you suddenly asking about this? Su Qingxi's eyes darkened, and she replied, just asking. President, it's next Monday at 5 p.m. Su Qingxi, I will also go then, as an interviewer. Please reserve a spot for me. President, okay. I will arrange it. You can just, going to the rental house where senior sister lives, not her actual home. He didn't dare to go to her home. Ah, Lu Gang and Go Xingli rolled their eyes. At this moment, Wu Di suddenly said, what's with your expressions? Brother Lin is going to the place where the campus bell lives. The two of them froze. It seemed like that's true. Lin Sun bid farewell to his eager roommates and headed towards the south gate. Hey, I feel like brother Lin is not far from being single anymore. Lu Gang said with a complicated expression. Yeah, and the target is the famous campus bell, everyone's goddess. Lin Ge is amazing. Wu Di exclaimed in admiration. Go Xingli pondered for a moment, then said seriously, no, if brother Lin is single in the future, the dormitory probably won't be able to contain him. I suggest that we kick him out of room 307 tomorrow. What are you saying? Tomorrow? It should be tonight. Lu Gang echoed. Go Xingli looked at Lu Gang and said, Brother Lu, it seems like you also have a target. Suddenly, the single dogs Wu Di and Go Xingli looked at Lu Gang. Lu Gang. Lin Sun was in a very good mood as he arrived at the south gate. This would be his second time going to his senior sister's rental house. He called a car on his phone and stood waiting. At this moment, a white Audi stopped in front of him. Lin Sun was stunned when the car window rolled down to reveal a stunning face. He exclaimed, Senior sister? How could senior sister be here? Su Qingxi glanced at him and said calmly, get in the car. Senior sister, this doesn't seem to be the way to the rental house, Lin Sun voiced his confusion in the car. Su Qingxi replied calmly, we're going somewhere else first. Lin Sun nodded, okay, senior sister. Ten minutes later, the two arrived at the bustling market. The market? Lin Sun suddenly realized that senior sister had come to buy groceries. There's no food at home, so I'm buying some to see what we'll have for lunch today, Su Qingxi's voice was calm, like a clear spring. Lin Sun had a momentary illusion that they were like family, chatting about everyday life. What are you daydreaming about? Su Qingxi looked at Lin Sun with a hint of doubt in her eyes. Lin Sun snapped out of it and shook his head, nothing, senior sister, let's go and see what good food there is. He had the urge to hold senior sister's hand, but he didn't dare. As they strolled through the market, Su Qingxi, being very beautiful, attracted the attention of the market's aunties and uncles, who looked at her with curiosity and amazement. This girl is so pretty. And her figure is perfect for having a son. Su Qingxi wasn't wearing a mask, just her natural beauty, which couldn't be concealed. Of course, Lin Sun's looks were not bad either, and in this market, he could be said to be like a male star. Handsome man and beautiful woman. The two instantly became the center of attention. Facing the gazes and whispers of the crowd, Su Qingxi was used to this kind of attention, but Lin Sun felt a bit embarrassed and nervous. Why are you nervous? Su Qingxi's amused voice came over. Lin Sun's face stiffened, and he whispered to senior sister, senior sister, I feel strange. It's like people are looking at us as if we were rare animals. Su Qingxi glanced at him and said, you're overthinking it. It's just that the two of us, young people, appearing here is a bit dazzling, but it's normal to treat it as such. Lin Sun was at a loss, senior sister was so confident. At that moment, Lin Sun felt his left hand being covered by a warm and soft touch. He was stunned and subconsciously looked down, only to find that senior sister was holding his hand. Could it be? Could it be? Was he dreaming? Su Qingxi looked at him as if the one holding Lin Sun's hand wasn't her, but her earlobes inexplicably turned red. Are you still nervous now? Lin Sun didn't know how to answer. He was originally nervous, but now he was even more nervous. Being held by his crush, he was both pleasantly surprised and extremely nervous, as green as a startled deer. However, senior sister's hand was so small and soft, holding it was very comfortable. Lin Sun unconsciously tightened his grip a bit, but he remained calm. 
She paused, feeling her heartbeat quicken a bit, lowered her eyes, and said, it seems that you're not nervous anymore. With that, she subtly freed her hand from his. For a moment, the two of them tacitly felt a sense of emptiness. Senior sister, I still want to hold hands, Lin Sun blurted out unconsciously, sounding a bit intoxicated. Su Qingxiu looked at him calmly, with a hint of a smile in her eyes, you wish. Lin Sun looked dejected. Since their last meeting, the relationship between the two had inexplicably reached a special stage, like a piece of paper that, once pierced, would break. However, the aloof goddess was not good at expressing emotions, and in matters of the heart, she was more passive. As for our comrade Lin Sun, he was still planning how to confess to the goddess, and for the time being, he was abiding by the rules without overstepping. But the two had an unspoken understanding. Let's go, if we dawdle any longer, we'll miss dinner, Su Qingxiu spoke in time. Lin Sun smiled, okay. He was now in a very pleasant mood, no longer feeling the nervousness he had just experienced, because now, in his eyes, there was only senior sister, shining alone. Boss, how much is this fish selling for? This cushion carp? You've come to the right place, miss. We sell the most affordable fish around here, 11 yuan per pound. It was just caught this morning. The boss, a middle-aged woman in waterproof clothing, was quite friendly. Su Qingxiu looked at the fish in the tank, her beautiful eyes showing a hint of contemplation, as if she was choosing which one was better. These fish are delicious, and for Krishan carp, each one weighs at least 3 pounds, the boss explained to Su Qingxiu. Su Qingxiu nodded and was about to speak when suddenly, boss, how much is this tilapia per pound? Lin Sun curiously pointed to a tilapia. The boss chuckled, tilapia is a bit cheaper, 7 yuan per pound. It's great for braising, frying, or steaming. Lin Sun's eyes lit up with interest. Tilapia was a dish he particularly liked. Then I'll take one, Su Qingxiu suddenly spoke up. Lin Sun was surprised and looked at Su Qingxiu, scratching his head. Don't, senior sister. You like to eat crushing carp. Let's buy crushing carp. He was just asking, knowing that senior sister was interested in crushing carp. Senior sister said lightly, I'm not picky. As long as it's delicious when you cook it, um, as long as you cook it well. Lin Sun's eyes brightened, then he looked at the boss. Boss, let's have a tilapia, not too big, and please clean it for me. Sure. The boss quickly grabbed a tilapia weighing about a pound and started to scale and gut it, chatting with Lin Sun at the same time. Young man, is this your girlfriend? She's really beautiful. Lin Sun subconsciously glanced at Su Qingxiu, who remained unchanged in expression. He chuckled, not yet, this is my senior sister. Oh, so you two are still single? I thought you were a couple. You look so compatible. The boss exclaimed, leaving both of them feeling a bit embarrassed. Lin Sun dealt with the boss, feeling a bit strange in his heart, but he couldn't quite put his finger on it. Soon, the tilapia was prepared. At Lin Sun's request, it was only gutted and cleaned, then they settled the bill and continued shopping. Boss, can you lower the price of this pork? Miss, there's been an outbreak of swine fever recently, so the price of pork is like this. Others are selling it for 20, and you're selling it for 20 as well. It's a bit expensive. The quality of our meat is much better than others. Then I'll go to the next stall to take a look. Wait. 20 it is, how much do you want? Lin Sun was surprised to see senior sister bargaining with the boss. He didn't expect senior sister to have this side to her. It had to be said that at this moment, with her hair tied up in a ponytail, standing in this market, she exuded a bit more charm, looking even more virtuous. Su Qingxiu calmly handed the pork to Lin Sun. Senior sister, you're amazing. Lin Sun praised unabashedly. Su Qingxiu looked at him faintly. Aren't you going to bargain? Does it seem like you're from a wealthy family? Lin Sun immediately asserted, I can. I used to bargain often. Senior sister, take a break, and watch me perform next. With that, he confidently walked towards a vendor. Su Qingxiu watched his back, her eyes showing a hint of amusement. When they returned to the rental house, it was already past one o'clock. Lin Sun hurriedly carried the ingredients into the kitchen and started preparing. Su Qingxiu watched her junior brother busy in the kitchen, feeling somewhat pleased. Had this kid already subconsciously treated this place as his own home? Was he this familiar with everything? She also didn't idle, putting away the unused vegetables in the refrigerator before starting to cook. Just like last time, they cooked for two. Lin Sun further processed the ingredients, cleaning the tilapia thoroughly, not leaving a single scale. Brazed. Su Qingxiu stood at the doorway, watching Lin Sun concentrate on cooking, and even she didn't realize that a sense of satisfaction had suddenly appeared on her face. Since the last time Lin Sun cooked here, she found that the feeling was very pleasant, adding a bit of liveliness and the taste of home, and then she also tried to cook for herself a few times, although the taste was okay, 
but she could never eat the same feeling as when she ate with Lin Sun. Has this guy already had such a big influence on her? Lin Sun noticed senior sister at the door, and kindly reminded her, senior sister, you don't need to come in, otherwise it's not good to fall like last time. Mentioning last time, Su Qingxiu's face showed a hint of unnaturalness. Lin Sun's stirring action also paused slightly, as if savoring something. It's going to burn if you don't flip it soon, Su Qingxiu reminded. Lin Sun responded with an O and quickly flipped the pan. A moment later, Lin Sun made three dishes and a soup. Color, fragrance, and taste were all there. Su Qingxiu praised, it's rare for boys to know how to cook nowadays. If you have a girlfriend in the future, she'll be lucky. Lin Sun's eyes lit up, hee hee, it's okay, as long as it's edible. Su Qingxiu asked lightly, if you have a girlfriend, who will cook in the future? Speaking with a hint of coercion. Lin Sun, who has greatly improved his emotional intelligence during this period, naturally replied seriously, of course, it will be the boyfriend who cooks. How can I let the girlfriend cook? Su Qingxiu's eyes showed a hint of satisfaction, that's good. Then you, as the family cook, can be provisionally booked. Lin Sun looked at senior sister's beautiful face and silently thought, is senior sister hinting at me? Well, I'll have to learn some cooking skills from mom in the future. To win a girl's heart, you must first win her stomach. Do you drink? Su Qingxiu suddenly asked. Lin Sun exclaimed, I didn't buy any alcohol. Su Qingxiu said, there's some in the fridge. As she spoke, she got up and took out a can of beer from the fridge. Do you usually drink at home, senior sister? Lin Sun asked in surprise. Su Qingxiu said lightly, when I can't sleep, I drink a little, it helps with sleep. After a pause, she added, I have a low alcohol tolerance, I occasionally drink a little. She pushed the can of beer in front of Lin Sun. He didn't hesitate to accept it. Braised tilapia and beer, this meal was only eaten at 2 o'clock, but it was very satisfying. Cheers, senior sister. Lin Sun suddenly raised his beer and extended it to Su Qingxiu. She clinked glasses with him. Soon, in a warm atmosphere, the meal was finished. Lin Sun took the initiative to take on the task of washing the dishes, while Su Qingxiu sat cross-legged on the sofa and turned on the TV. The rental house was a one-bedroom, one living room, one kitchen, one bathroom, not a very large space. In the living room, there was only a sofa, a TV, and a dining table, and nothing else. When Lin Sun walked out of the kitchen, his gaze fell on Su Qingxiu. Her beautiful legs attracted his attention, like a magnet attracting iron filings. Her legs were graceful, her skin smooth as silk, her ankles slender, and her instep slightly raised, exuding a seductive charm. Lin Sun didn't know if he had a special fetish, he couldn't move his gaze away, he was attracted by her delicate feet. The slender ankles, the rosy toe tips, were as exquisite as works of art. He finally understood why boys were so obsessed with girls' feet. Su Qingxiu suddenly turned her head, her plain gaze met Lin Sun's, come sit for a while. Lin Sun nodded and walked over to sit next to senior sister. He looked at the TV, which was playing a children's channel, with two big bears being chased by a man wearing a helmet and holding a gun. Senior sister likes to watch cartoons? Lin Sun asked in surprise. The fairy actually likes to watch cartoons. Su Qingxiu faintly smiled, it's interesting. Lin Sun also liked to watch cartoons when he was a child, but as he grew older, he gradually became addicted to his phone, and no longer had the same obsession with cartoons as he did when he was a child. Childhood, gone forever. At this moment, Lin Sun sighed slightly at the passage of time. A few minutes later, the cartoon ended. Senior sister stretched lazily, put down her crossed legs, and her delicate feet slipped into slippers. Lin Sun's gaze subconsciously looked over, his breath paused. Senior sister's feet should be size 37, right? It seems a bit larger. What are you looking at? Su Qingxiu's faint voice came from her ear, and she looked at Lin Sun, noticing his gaze. Subconsciously, her crystal clear toes curled back, very cute. Is the junior looking at her feet? What's so interesting about that? Senior, what shoe size do you wear? Lin Sun asked casually. Size 38, Su Qingxiu replied. Lin Sun raised an eyebrow, similar to what I thought. Su Qingxiu looked at him, too big? Put. No, no. How could that be? Senior, you misunderstood. Your feet are very beautiful, very perfect. And with your tall figure, this size is very normal. Lin Sun explained hastily. He was actually discussing the mystery of beautiful feet with his senior, which was unprecedented. Oh, Su Qingxiu said, don't all you guys like petite girls? Size 36 feet? Not me, Lin Sun said, sweating. Was this considered a death question from the senior? In fact, the senior's feet were already very perfect, matching her figure, she could easily become a model, handling both leg and foot modeling effortlessly. Lin Sun didn't have any particular preferences in this regard, as long as he was moved, that was love. 
Now, he leaned more towards mature women. Well, after all, most of the senior's style was mature. Seeing Lin Sun looking nervous, Su Qingchi found it amusing. She stood up and said, "All right, I'm going to take a nap." Lin Sun quickly stood up. Then I'll go back first. Su Qingchi paused, then looked at him. "Do you have time tonight?" Lin Sun nodded. "Yes, senior." Su Qingchi thought for a moment. "Is it okay to take a nap here for now? Will it be inconvenient?" "Ha!" Huh? Lin Sun was confused. Su Qingchi said seriously, "You've been drinking. It's not safe on the road." The sofa here can accommodate one person. This reason was a bit far-fetched, as Lin Sun had only drunk two cans of beer, hardly enough to get drunk. But Lin Sun's emotional intelligence was still intact, so he quickly nodded. Okay, okay. I also feel a bit dizzy, so I'll rest here with you, senior. I'll get you a blanket, Su Qingchi said as she turned and went back to her room. Was this considered cohabitation? Lin Sun lay on the sofa, staring at the ceiling. Suddenly, he was taking a nap in his senior's rental house, and it was. Something. Su Qingchi raised her eyebrows. This guy dreamed about himself. What not to agree to him? Dreaming that someone confessed to him? She looked at his twisted eyebrows and couldn't help but reach out and stroke them. Suddenly, Lin Sun reached out and grabbed her hand, and suddenly exerted force, gripping tightly. Su Qingchi's face showed a hint of pain, but she didn't immediately shake him off. Instead, she reached out with her other hand and shook him. Lin Sun opened his eyes in confusion, and soon his eyes cleared. Senior. Su Qingchi calmly looked at him. What did you dream about? Lin Sun was stunned, subconsciously recalling. He did have a dream, dreaming that a very handsome boy confessed to the senior. That boy was really handsome, and he had seen him before. He had seen him when he left the rental house last time. In the dream, under his radiance, Lin Sun felt inferior, as if he were just a supporting role, only able to watch the senior walk towards him. Oh my God! This is really a nightmare. Lin Sun's face showed a sense of fear. What's wrong? Su Qingchi asked him. Lin Sun shook his head. It's nothing, Senior. I had a nightmare. By the way, Senior, what time is it? Su Qingchi said lightly. I don't know either. Lin Sun struggled to sit up, and then he realized that he was actually holding the Senior's hand, and he was stunned. Senior, how did I? Su Qingchi said lightly. Aren't you going to let go? Lin Sun quickly let go, his face full of confusion, asking, Senior, what's going on? In his dream, he lost the Senior, but in reality, they were holding hands. Su Qingchi stood up calmly, not answering his question, but walked towards the bathroom. Lin Sun sat there for a long time without understanding. Forget it. He had taken advantage of it anyway. He took out his phone and checked the time. It was already past six o'clock. Lin Sun quickly got up, folded the blanket, and put it on the sofa. And then the sound of running water came from the bathroom. The senior was washing up. Lin Sun sat on the sofa and didn't leave, but took out his phone to check the messages. In the dormitory group, Go Shingli, as the group leader, at everyone, asking who was outside to help bring food, and Lu Gang at him, asking if he would come back tonight. Lin Sun replied to them, "What Quan Fei Wang? I'm outside. Why are you asking me if I will come back so early?" What Quan Fei Wang is Lin Sun's nickname in the dormitory group. In his own dormitory group, he had to be a little arrogant. The name of the dormitory group was three dogs in one dormitory, meaning that except for Lu Gang, the other three were all single dogs. And Lu Gang's nickname was "I'm the only one who's not a dog." Go Xingli was called the King of Dogs. Wu Du was called Little Wu Dog. I'm the only one who's not a dog. Lin Xiong, you are really planting flowers in your heart. The King of Dogs, really? Is our dormitory group chat going to have a name change? What Quan Fei Wang? Look forward to it, boys. I'm the only one who's not a dog. The greater the expectation, the greater the disappointment. Sneer, the King of Dogs. Lin Xiong, be bold. Even if you fail. Daddy will take you in. After chatting with his roommates for a while, Lin Sun left the group chat. What surprised him was that Jiang Xuejie sent him a message. Jiang Xuejie, little junior, are you there? Jiang Xuejie, is Shu Shu with you? Lin Sun replied, "Yes, I'm at the senior's rental house now." After two seconds, the other party replied, "Jiang Xuejie, Jiang Xuejie, what? You can actually go to Shu Shu's house? I haven't even been there." This surprised Lin Sun a bit. He thought that Jiang Xuejie and the senior had such a good relationship that it should be a common occurrence for her to come here. Under Jiang Yunxiao's explanation, Lin Sun learned that this was the temporary rental house that Su Qingchi had rented during the summer vacation. At that time, Jiang Yunxiao had other things to do, so she didn't share the rent with her. And after that, she hadn't been able to come over. Jiang Yunxiao asked Lin Sun what he was doing at the rental house. Lin Sun was naturally a guest, and he evaded the topic with a few words. Jiang Yunxiao had originally intended to ask Su Qingchi if she was coming back 
to bring her some food, but seeing the situation, he didn't ask again. Since he was with his junior high school brother, why would he still care about her hunger? The sound of water stopped, and Su Qingshu walked out of the bathroom. Lin Sun looked over and couldn't help but sigh at the unparalleled figure of his senior sister. No matter how many times he looked, it always made him feel amazed. Do you want to freshen up? Su Qingshu looked at him calmly. Lin Sun said, just washing my face will do, senior sister. He was a boy and didn't have the habit of taking a bath after waking up from a nap. Su Qingshu nodded, wait for me to change clothes, and then we can go for a walk. Okay. Lin Sun nodded eagerly. Senior sister invited him for a walk, and he was so happy. After Su Qingshu went into the room, Lin Sun eagerly went into the bathroom, and a rush of hot air hit him, accompanied by a fragrance. It was the scent of the shower gel that senior sister used. Thinking that senior sister had just taken a shower here, Lin Sun blushed a little. Inadvertently, he glanced at a few pieces of clothing. Hmm, small and thin, with straps, and gauze, senior sister's intimate clothing. Lin Sun took a quick look and dared not look again. However, cough, senior sister did indeed have a mature and charming style. After washing his face, Lin Sun returned to the living room, and not long after, senior sister came out of the room. It had to be said that senior sister's current outfit was very stylish. She wore a black t-shirt on top, making her fair skin look very delicate, and a pair of tight jeans on the bottom, perfectly outlining her slender legs, which was eye-catching. It was the first time Lin Sun had seen a girl who could wear jeans and still have such a good-looking leg shape. In order to highlight her beautiful oval face, Su Qingshu tied her long hair into a high ponytail, clean and refreshing, and she also wore a pair of silver-rimmed glasses, with light makeup on her face, making her already stunning appearance even more enchanting. Senior sister, are you nearsighted? Lin Sun couldn't help but ask curiously. Su Qingshu said lightly, these glasses are just for decoration, they have no prescription. Oh, can you play like that? How's this outfit? Su Qingshu looked at Lin Sun, seeking his opinion. It seemed that she always wore long skirts in front of Lin Sun, and she wanted to change her style occasionally. Lin Sun gave a thumbs up, senior sister, you look so cool. Cool. Su Qingshu raised an eyebrow, that's used to describe boys. Lin Sun quickly changed his words, beautiful, too beautiful. It's captivating. Su Qingshu gave him a look of approval and said, let's go. When the two of them walked out of the rental house, it was already dark. Noticing that it was a bit windy, Lin Sun looked at the beauty beside him and asked, Senior sister, do you want to go back and get a coat? Su Qingshu shook her head, no need, it's not that cold. Lin Sun didn't say much after hearing that. Where to? Let's have dinner first. They had been sleeping since lunch, and now they were hungry, so they decided to have dinner first. Since Su Qingshu was more familiar with this area, she took Lin Sun to a restaurant. Having dinner? Su Qingshu looked at Lin Sun. He instinctively replied, of course, we have to eat. How can we not eat? After realizing his response, Lin Sun quickly changed his words, senior sister, do you want to have noodles? Or something else? Su Qingshu tilted her head and thought for a moment, then said, let's have noodles. Okay, I'll listen to senior sister. Lin Sun obediently said. The two found a noodle shop, and the decoration of the shop was good, but they didn't know how the food tasted. Of course, wherever Su Qingshu went, she would always attract attention and draw the gaze of everyone, even the boss couldn't help but take a second look. Lin Sun was used to senior sister's charm, and he was also used to the jealous and envious looks from others. What would you like to order? The signature rice noodles. And for this handsome young man? I'll have the same as her, and also add extra green onions to both. Okay, the green onions are complimentary, and the extra toppings are over there. Thank you. Lin Sun glanced at the condiment area, where there was a table with various seasonings such as chopped green onions, cilantro, and chili sauce. Su Qingshu glanced at him but didn't say anything. Senior sister, sit here, Lin Sun wiped a stool clean for Su Qingshu and gestured for her to sit. She softly said, no need to fuss, I'm not delicate. Lin Sun chuckled. Sitting across from senior sister, they silently played with their phones as the noodles were being prepared. Suddenly, Lin Sun got up and walked out the door. Su Qingshu watched him curiously, but she didn't think he had left on his own, there must have been something. A few minutes later, Lin Sun returned with a smile on his face, carrying two cups of milk tea. Senior sister, this is for you, Lin Sun handed her a cup of milk tea. Su Qingshu glanced at it, it was lemon water, her favorite flavor. Thank you, how did you know I like this? Lin Sun smiled, I noticed it when we were shopping. Although I only saw senior sister drink it once, she finished the whole cup, so I thought she must like it. He believed that whether a girl liked a certain type of milk tea depended on whether she would finish the cup. Su Qingshu was somewhat surprised. You remember that clearly? 
Linson smiled, of course, he would pay attention to things about senior sister. At this time, the boss brought the noodles. Senior sister, wait for me, I'll add some green onions for you, Linson eagerly picked up the noodles and headed towards the condiment area. Su Qingxer silently watched his actions, her heart fluttering, and her gaze softened. The two sat opposite each other, eating noodles in a very peaceful atmosphere. In the past, Su Qingxer would eat quickly when dining out because she felt that time should not be wasted on eating, but now, she felt that it didn't matter if she ate slowly. Lin Sun's attention was mostly on senior sister. When Su Qingxer lowered her head to eat the noodles, he would quickly steal a glance, feeling a flutter in his heart. Senior sister ate so elegantly. Of course, this was because love is blind, if it were another girl, Lin Sun might have thought she was dawdling. After finishing his noodles, Lin Sun quietly watched senior sister eat, his gaze gentle. Su Qingxer calmly ate her noodles, her expression unchanged, but if one observed closely, her movements were somewhat stiff. After finishing the noodles, Su Qingxer stood up, and Lin Sun also stood up. Where to? Su Qingxer looked at him. In fact, she had invited Lin Sun out today just to enjoy their time together, and she hadn't really thought about where to go. Lin Sun was also at a loss. We're not familiar with this place. I don't know where to go either. How about we go to the mall first? Lin Sun suggested. Su Qingxer nodded, let's go. After paying the bill, Lin Sun picked up the two cups of milk tea and followed senior sister. At that moment, senior sister suddenly turned around, looked at Lin Sun, and reached out her hand. Lin Sun? Is senior sister trying to hold hands? Should he or should he not? Give me the milk tea, senior sister said calmly. Lin Sun instinctively handed over the milk tea, his face still somewhat embarrassed. Okay, he had overthought it. Su Qingxer took the milk tea, turned around silently, but her lips curled up sneakily. Lin Sun quickly caught up with Su Qingxer and walked alongside her. Senior sister, National Day is coming soon. Are you planning to go home? Lin Sun asked curiously. Su Qingxer hesitated for a moment and then said, I want to relax. Lin Sun was somewhat surprised. Shouldn't senior sister's mother and brother be at home? Su Qingxer paused, then shook her head. My brother is busy with work. He works 365 days a year, and his vacation time doesn't exceed a month. Even during holidays, he rarely goes home. Why? Lin Sun was curious. Su Qingxer said calmly, because when he comes home, my mother arranges blind dates for him, three a day. Three blind dates in a day. Lin Sun was a bit embarrassed. Senior sister's mother really wanted to marry off her son, didn't she? According to the appearance of the senior sister, her brother should also be good looking, so why is he being forced into blind dates? It seemed that Lin Sun noticed Su Qingxer's confusion and she said lightly, Do you think that my brother is unwanted? Lin Sun scratched his head, No, the senior sister's brother should be very popular with girls, right? Su Qingxer nodded, Yes, you may not know that those ladies who went on blind dates with my brother often come to find him later, some even inquired about where he works, but my brother always avoids and refuses. Lin Sun couldn't help but laugh, so the elder brother doesn't want to find a wife? What about the senior sister's mother? Su Qingxer said, my mother works in an administrative unit and is usually busy. She often applies to work overtime during holidays. Lin Sun understood that it seemed like the senior sister's family rarely gathered together. In the summer, the sky was filled with sparkling stars, like a galaxy of fine sand lying diagonally on the blue sky. The gentle breeze lifted the senior sister's hair. Lin Sun happened to glance over and saw the scene, which softened his heart. So beautiful. Lin Sun had an impulse, he wanted to hold the senior sister's hand and walk down this starlit path. He struggled internally, feeling itchy. Su Qingxer looked ahead, seemingly unaware of the changes in her junior's mind. Soon, the two arrived at the mall. Senior sister, do you want to go and catch some dolls? Lin Sun saw a row of doll machines not far away and suddenly became interested, looking at Su Qingxer. Her expression froze, recalling her previous failure. The doll machine was her biggest nemesis. Being called a talented woman, she never expected that this children's game would be so difficult. Should she play? Su Qingxer wanted to refuse in her heart, but she also wanted to conquer it. In the end, Su Qingxer shook her head, I'm not interested in it. Lin Sun almost burst out laughing, seeing a hint of unwillingness on her face, but he didn't expose her. Well, the stubborn senior sister was quite cute. Although she didn't play the doll machine, Su Qingxer walked straight to the side of the machine, where a wall was covered with balloons, and five meters away, there was a table with three guns. Boss, how do you play this? Su Qingxer asked the boss. The boss chuckled, 20 yuan per game, 15 bullets per game. Lin Sun looked at the red sign next to it, which stated the rules, 20 yuan per game, 15 bullets per game, breaking 10 or more balloons gets a large doll, 
breaking six or more balloons gets a small doll. Linson picked up one of the guns, aimed, and asked the boss, can I break them from this distance? The boss chuckled, you can try with one bullet. Linson said, two bullets. Sure. Linson squinted, aimed at the hole in the sight, and fired. Bang. A balloon burst. Su Qingxiu's eyes lit up. Senior sister, you try. Linson handed her the gun. Su Qingxiu took it, and there was still one bullet in the gun. Following Lin Sun's actions, she aimed and fired. The bullet hit the balloon but didn't burst it. A hint of doubt flashed in Su Qingxiu's eyes. Lin Sun wasn't surprised, as some bullets were like that. He had tried before, and it was a problem with the gun, not enough force. He then said to the boss, give us a hundred yuan worth. The boss was delighted and quickly loaded the guns. Five times for a hundred yuan. The boss first loaded fifteen bullets into each of the two guns. Lin Sun raised one of the guns, adjusted his grip, and started aiming. He wasn't a professional, so he could only aim at the balloons as instructed online. Bang! The first shot hit. Lin Sun's breathing became a bit rapid. After all, the senior sister was beside him, and he felt an urgent need to do well, so he was a bit nervous. After adjusting his breathing, he aimed again. Bang! Missed! Bang! Hit! Pop! A strange sound brought Lin Sun back from his immersion. He was out of bullets. Nine hits, not bad, Su Qingxiu praised. Lin Sun scratched his head, I was a bit nervous. Su Qingxiu picked up another gun and said, it's my turn. She was eager to try, unable to grab a doll, but shooting should be fine, right? Bang, bang, bang. After a round, Su Qingxiu frowned. Only hit three shots, Lin Sun murmured unconsciously. Su Qingxiu glanced at him, her eyes threatening. Lin Sun quickly shut up. You can choose a small doll, the boss reminded. Lin Sun said, let's finish shooting first. The boss nodded and started loading the bullets, then stood quietly on the side. Lin Sun looked at his senior sister, senior sister, do you want to go or should I? Su Qingxiu's face showed strong determination, I'll go. She picked up the gun and aimed again. After another round, it was slightly better than the previous one, but still not good enough. Lin Sun also started to feel nervous. He had been happy before, but now he worried that, at that moment, even the boss could feel the tension. Lin Sun shivered, and it seemed like his senior sister was upset. There was one round left. Su Qingxiu looked at the toy gun in her hand, feeling doubtful. Was it her fault? No, it was the gun's fault. How could she, a talented woman, not even understand how to play with a toy gun? She clearly hit many shots, but the balloons didn't burst. They were really thick-skinned. Yes, it must be like this. Senior sister, should I shoot for you? Lin Sun felt sorry and wanted to help his senior sister win a big doll. Su Qingxiu hadn't been angry before, but when she heard Lin Sun's words, her anger suddenly surged. She looked at Lin Sun with a hint of stubbornness and a touch of grievance, like a little girl who didn't get her candy, I want to win the doll by myself. Lin Sun's heart melted. It turned out that his senior sister's spoiled look was so cute. Ignoring Lin Sun, Su Qingxiu picked up the gun and, after the boss replaced the balloons, aimed again. Su Qingxiu's eyes were extremely focused, as if she was not facing balloons, but had an unyielding attitude. At that moment, a warm body suddenly pressed against her back. Before Su Qingxiu could react, her hands holding the gun were enveloped by a pair of large hands. Su Qingxiu's whole body stiffened. A gentle male voice sounded in her ear, Senior sister, let me teach you. The boy's tall and slender figure perfectly enveloped the girl's slender and delicate body. She blinked, and at that moment, she couldn't hear anything clearly, feeling a strange dizziness. Her heart skipped a beat, then started racing again. Senior sister? Lin Sun's slightly trembling voice came with a hint of inquiry. In fact, Lin Sun had been struggling for a long time before making this bold move, but he still did it. Not only was his senior sister nervous, but now his heart was racing. The boss on the side, wow, is it easy to run a business? Why do I have to witness this every day? The speechless boss silently turned away. Hmm, Su Qingxiu responded softly, and then fell silent. She didn't know how to speak anymore. How could he suddenly come so close? She wasn't prepared at all. Although the two appeared calm on the surface, they were both anxious inside. Lin Sun calmed himself and said, Senior sister, your grip on the gun is wrong. It should be like this. As he spoke, he taught her to adjust her posture. When shooting, your breathing must be steady. If you're too nervous, you'll shake when firing, causing the bullet to deviate from its path. For some reason, as Su Qingxiu listened to Lin Sun's instructions, she suddenly felt less nervous and slowly adjusted herself according to his guidance. If you aim, you can pull the trigger. Bang! Bang! The gun went off, and a balloon instantly burst. Su Qingxiu's eyes lit up, I really hit it. Not bad, take two more shots. 
Lin Sun's eyes showed indulgence. His big hand never left Su Qingxiu's small hand, holding it tightly. Bang! Bang! Both shots hit the mark. At this moment, Su Qingxiu had no thoughts about Lin Sun still holding her. She was excited. I'll do it myself. She felt like she had done it again. Lin Sun let go of her, his body now burning hot, although he tried to remain calm, his face had turned red. But no one noticed his embarrassment. Phew! He breathed a sigh of relief, his tense body suddenly relaxed. God knows how big a decision he had made to take this step, but now looking back, Lin Sun's heart was suddenly filled with excitement. He had been too nervous just now, he hadn't even properly felt the softness of his senior sister. But this was already a big improvement, Lin Sun silently encouraged himself. Su Qingxiu also visibly relaxed, she was a little afraid to face this junior brother. Because she had already hit three shots before, Su Qingxiu still had twelve bullets left. She looked cautious, aimed at the balloon, and changed her technique according to what Lin Sun had just said. She took a shot. Bang! The balloon burst instantly. Su Qingxiu's eyes lit up. It worked. Lin Sun also smiled. Well done, senior sister. Su Qingxiu's mouth lifted into a smile, then continued shooting. The boss watched the scene and couldn't help but show a satisfied smile. Although each burst balloon meant a loss for her, she was still somewhat pleased. Being young is really great. And today, she made a good profit, right? Ha ha, feeling happy. This time, Su Qingxiu's performance was extraordinary. With 15 shots, plus the 3 shots from Lin Sun earlier, Su Qingxiu had broken 11 balloons in total. So far, this was the highest number of balloons broken in one go. You can each choose a medium-sized doll and a small-sized doll. The boss spoke at the right time. Lin Sun and Su Qingxiu began to choose dolls. There were three types of small dolls, a bear, a chick, and a dolphin. There were more options for the medium-sized dolls, and they came in various colors. After some thought, Lin Sun chose a light blue dolphin. Although it was a small-sized doll, it was longer in shape and only slightly smaller than the medium-sized dolls. Su Qingxiu looked at the medium-sized dolls and, seeing that Lin Sun had chosen a light blue dolphin, she picked up a medium-sized pink dolphin and asked the boss, Do you have a pink one? The boss thought for a moment and nodded, Yes, I remember having this color. Wait a moment, I'll find it for you. The boss rummaged around and soon found a pink dolphin from a pile of dolls. Su Qingxiu took it with satisfaction. Senior sister, why did you also choose a dolphin? Lin Sun raised an eyebrow, curious. Su Qingxiu replied calmly, just a change of style. The two looked at each other and then suddenly looked away. Are the handsome guy and the beautiful lady still playing? The boss asked warmly. Judging by the demeanor of this couple, they were not ordinary people. If they continued to play like they did just now, she could close early tonight. Lin Sun looked at Su Qingxiu. She shook her head, let's go somewhere else. She no longer found this activity interesting, as she had already conquered it. So, continuing to play would be meaningless. Lin Sun nodded in agreement. The two walked towards the second floor of the mall, which was mostly filled with clothing stores offering a variety of clothes. However, they had already visited the clothing area last time, so they probably wouldn't be interested in it anymore. But to Lin Sun's surprise, Su Qingxiu still headed towards a clothing store. After the bold move she had just made, Lin Sun had also become more obedient and silently followed behind her. Hello, would you like to see some clothes? We have all kinds of styles in our store. The shop owner was a young man in his thirties. When he saw Su Qingxiu's stunning beauty, he was instantly amazed. What a beautiful girl, he had been in business for so long, but this was the first time he had encountered such a good-looking girl, and the guy wasn't bad either. Were they a couple? Interesting. Su Qingxiu thought for a moment, looked at Lin Sun, then withdrew her gaze and walked towards a row of men's clothing with a pensive expression. Lin Sun was somewhat surprised. Could it be that the senior sister wanted to buy clothes for him? Try it on, Su Qingxiu handed Lin Sun a blue short-sleeved shirt. Lin Sun took it and looked at his senior sister. Should I try it on here? There's a fitting room over here, handsome, the boss followed behind and spoke up. Lin Sun nodded and then walked into the fitting room with the clothes. Blue, he had never worn this color before, and he didn't know if it would suit him. But it didn't matter. Even if it was ugly, he would wear it often since it was the first piece of clothing his senior sister had picked for him. When Lin Sun walked out of the fitting room, Su Qingxiu's face showed a satisfied expression. It looks good. Handsome, this outfit suits you very well. Your girlfriend has a good eye. The boss's eyes lit up and half flattered, half serious. When he said that, Su Qingxiu's pretty face blushed, looking particularly alluring. However, she did not refute the boss, as if she had tacitly agreed. Lin Sun felt as if he had just eaten candy, sweet in his heart. Walking with his senior sister, it wasn't the first time they had been mistaken for a couple. Was it a coincidence? No, 
It meant that he and his senior sister were quite compatible. Yes, that's the reason. Under Su Qingxiu's guidance, Lin Sun tried on several outfits, and surprisingly, they suited him well, and his whole style changed. Su Qingxiu had made the outfit choices on the spot, and when Lin Sun tried on the clothes she had chosen, she would show a satisfied smile. You are more suitable for these styles, Su Qingxiu commented in the end. Lin Sun paid the bill. He spent a few thousand yuan on several outfits, but for him, it wasn't expensive because his current wealth was quite astonishing. Besides, they were the type his senior sister liked. How could he hesitate? Su Qingxiu didn't expect him to buy all of them, feeling somewhat amused and exasperated. She had only intended for him to try on a few sets, see which one suited him best, and then buy it, but he didn't give her the chance. Okay, you're rich, you're willful. The boss smiled like a chrysanthemum as he saw the two off. He made a net profit of a few thousand from this single transaction. He struck it rich. Linson carried a large bag of clothes, still wearing his original outfit. Senior sister, do you want to look at clothes too? When they passed by a women's clothing store, Linson asked. Su Qingxiu shook her head, I have enough clothes to wear. As soon as she finished speaking, Linson took the lead and gently pushed Su Qingxiu's back, guiding her into the store. Just take a look, in case you find something you like. Su Qingxiu was taken aback. What kind of relationship did this junior brother think they had? She felt that the ambiguous actions they had made tonight were becoming frequent. However, she surprisingly didn't reject it. What was going on? But Su Qingxiu had a good attitude and quickly resumed her indifferent demeanor. Unlike other girls, Su Qingxiu didn't like buying clothes. For her, the most important thing was whether they were suitable and comfortable to wear. She held a blue dress, which Lin Sun had given her. According to the boss, it was the best dress in the store, with a hefty price tag of 9,999. This blue dress was suitable for various occasions, whether for daily wear or formal occasions. Its design was elegant, not overly grand, and it was comfortable to wear. The fabric was very soft, and the touch was comfortable, making it feel light and comfortable, as if wearing a cloud-like garment. Simple yet stylish and beautiful. Su Qingxiu looked at the dress, and a rare hint of liking appeared in her eyes. Lin Sun was paying attention to her expression and was also somewhat surprised. It was rare to see his senior sister show such a liking, and he suddenly felt that his eye for fashion was not bad. Sister, does it fit? Lin asked for her opinion. Su Qingxiu hesitated for a moment, then said, let's give it a try. After Su Qingxiu entered the dressing room, Lin suddenly looked at the boss and asked, boss, can I add you on WeChat? The boss was stunned, and several thoughts flashed through his mind. Could the young man not have enough money in his account and plan to buy now and pay in installments later? It's understandable, after all, he doesn't want to lose face in front of his girlfriend. Just then, Lin approached and whispered something to the boss. The boss's gaze suddenly became strange, then turned ambiguous, and his eyes lit up. Okay, watch me perform. About five minutes later, the dressing room door was opened. Although Lin had anticipated the beauty of the senior sister, when he actually saw her come out, he was still stunned, staring blankly at the beauty in front of him. She was wearing a blue dress with a light pink belt around her waist, accentuating her slender waist. Her shiny black hair cascaded down like a waterfall, gently swaying on her shoulders. Her skin was as delicate as jade, her exquisite features were stunning, and her beautiful face left people in awe. However, her cold and noble expression made her seem unapproachable. She seemed like a fairy descending from the heavens, exuding a pure and untainted aura, making people unable to help but admire her, yet not daring to disrespect her even a little. To highlight the fit of the dress, the senior sister deliberately let down her high ponytail and wrapped the hair tie around her wrist, adding a touch of playfulness. Su Qingxiu remained calm, her eyes, like stars, gazing at Lin. How is it? Lin nodded blankly, beautiful, so beautiful. Wipe your drool. Ha, oh, um. Lin subconsciously wiped his mouth then suddenly realized something, his mouth twitched, sister, you tricked me. Where did he drool? Put. Su Qingxiu pursed her lips, faintly showing a smile. It fits, it fits perfectly. At this moment, the boss exclaimed. Su Qingxiu looked at him with a puzzled look. Lin's gaze, however, seemed evasive, coughing, the boss began to perform. Beauty, I have to say, this is the first time I've seen someone who fits this dress so well. It's as if it was tailor-made for you. The boss exclaimed repeatedly, when you wear it, it gives off the instant feeling of a noble lady. Su Qingxiu faintly smiled and nodded, thank you, I'm just an ordinary girl. After putting on this dress, she also felt that it fit very well, and it was comfortable to wear. However, this dress had a drawback. It was a semi-formal dress, suitable for everyday wear, but when she wore it, combined with her extraordinary beauty, it seemed a bit serious. 
This dress, when she wore it, was suitable for formal occasions. However, it was one of the few dresses that Su Qingxie had seen and was quite satisfied with, considering its price. No, no, no. Beauty, you are a fairy. Um, may I ask if you mind if I take a photo for promotion? The boss smiled slightly, showing a friendly smile. Su Qingxie frowned slightly. When it came to taking photos, she was still a bit hesitant. At this moment, Lin suddenly said with a smile, Sister, I think it's okay. You look so beautiful in it. Su Qingxie glanced at him and asked, Really beautiful? Lin nodded eagerly. Beauty, rest assured, this is a legitimate store, with all kinds of licenses. I will only use the photos to make posters for promotion. Look at these, they are taken from other customers, and all have obtained their consent. The boss pointed to the wall of the store, where various posters were displayed. As a return, you can enjoy a 30% discount on purchases in this store. Su Qingxie contemplated for a moment, then nodded, okay. The boss and Lin were both delighted. Great. The boss excitedly took out his phone. Wait, taking a photo is fine, but I want to take it with him. Su Qingxie suddenly pointed at Lin Sun. The boss immediately looked at Lin Sun upon hearing this. Lin Sun's face was full of disbelief. Is this, is this real? A huge surprise suddenly hit him, he was completely unprepared. Lin Sun just wanted the boss to take a photo of the senior sister in a dress for him, but he didn't expect the senior sister to invite him to take it together. Isn't this exactly what he wanted? Is this outfit okay? Lin Sun looked down at his clothes. Oh my, compared to the senior sister, he seemed a bit plain. Just change it. I'll let you try it for free. The boss was accommodating and immediately had Lin Sun change into a handsome outfit. A black checkered shirt, paired with black pants, and a casual adjustment of his hair, made Lin Sun look more like a star. The man is handsome and the woman is beautiful. The boss looked at Lin Sun and Su Qingxie, nodding in satisfaction. Lin Sun stood awkwardly next to the senior sister. At this moment, he was less than a meter away from Su Qingxie and could already smell the fragrance on her. You two get closer. Why are you so far apart when you're a couple? The boss couldn't help but cry out in exasperation. How could a couple be so far apart? Upon hearing this, Lin Sun and Su Qingxie looked at each other, and then Su Qingxie turned her head without saying a word. Lin Sun's eyes flickered, and he took a big step closer to the senior sister. Closer. Lin Sun took another small step closer. At this point, he was only about 30 centimeters away from Su Qingxie. Both of them could hear each other's breathing and the gradually accelerating heartbeat. Su Qingxie suddenly felt a bit regretful for suggesting to take a photo with Lin Sun. The atmosphere now felt a bit off. Okay, handsome guy, please put your arm around your girlfriend's waist and face the camera. The boss focused his phone, having already taken many photos with his fingertips. These two were too eye-catching, and no matter the angle, he could capture several good shots. Lin Sun suddenly furrowed his brows and looked at Su Qingxie, cautiously asking, Senior sister, how about we don't take the photo? He regretted it, feeling that he had offended the senior sister, after all, he didn't want to put her in a difficult position. Su Qingxie glanced at him indifferently and said, I think it's fine. Lin Sun swallowed hard. Just a touch on the waist, it's just a piece of flesh. Su Qingxie said calmly, if it were someone else, whether it was touching the waist or getting this close to her, it would be a different story. It was only this junior brother by her side who had this privilege. Hurry up, handsome guy, the boss urged. Lin Sun gritted his teeth and did it. He reached out with his warm palm and gently touched the slender waist of the senior sister. His forehead was already sweating. It was the jacket that was hot, definitely not his nervousness. When he felt the warmth around his waist, Su Qingxie froze, and her reaction at this moment was completely different from her calm demeanor earlier. She subconsciously looked at Lin Sun, and their eyes met. A hint of blush appeared on her cold and beautiful face, flawlessly beautiful. Lin Sun was mesmerized. The two of them forgot about the pose the boss wanted them to make. However, the boss's eyes lit up, and he took a bunch of photos of the couple. There should be hundreds of photos in the album now, right? Amazing. The boss couldn't help but exclaim, which also startled the almost lost couple back to reality. Ahem, so, can you continue? The boss regained his composure and awkwardly smiled at the two. Lin Sun was speechless. He and the senior sister exchanged a glance and suddenly laughed as if they had some kind of tacit understanding. I'll change my dress first, Su Qingxie said softly. Lin Sun was a bit anxious. What's wrong, senior sister? Don't you like it? He thought the senior sister didn't intend to buy it. Su Qingxie glanced at him, you want me to go back in this? Lin Sun suddenly realized, oh, okay, then senior sister, go change. Su Qingxie turned and entered the fitting room, Lin Sun couldn't wait to approach the boss. How is it, boss? The boss showed a proud look, 
you still doubt my ability? Of course, it's a success. Lin Sun was overjoyed. The boss flipped through the results he had just taken and showed them to Lin Sun. Lin Sun looked at these photos with a loving gaze. These photos had a higher value than all the photos he had taken before combined. Remember to send them to me. Okay. No problem. Suddenly, the boss said, and what I just said was not a joke. I really plan to use the photos of you two to make promotional posters. You don't mind, do you? If these photos were made into posters and put up in the store, his family's business would surely be booming. Lin Sun nodded, that's fine. The senior sister also agreed, so naturally he had no problem. Lin Sun first paid for the dress, with a discount of 30%, nearly 7,000. Lin Sun then paid the full 7,000. Lin Sun. Su Qingxiu's voice came from behind. Lin Sun turned to look, and Su Qingxiu had changed her clothes and come out. Senior sister. Su Qingxiu looked at him, did you pay? Lin Sun smiled and nodded, yes, senior sister. If senior sister likes it, I'll buy it. He didn't hide his intention to give the senior sister the dress. Su Qingxiu's eyes flashed with a hint of complexity, but she didn't ask Lin Sun to return it. She had the ability to buy the dress herself, but compared to Lin Sun, she would hesitate a bit more. Since he bought it, she would transfer the money to him when she got back. She didn't like spending a guy's money, even if this person would be her boyfriend in the future. That was Su Qingxiu's strong will. After settling the bill, Lin Sun and Su Qingxiu left the mall. Senior sister, should I call a car? Lin Sun took out his phone. Let's walk back. Su Qingxiu spoke up. Lin Sun glanced at his phone, it was not yet 9 o'clock, still early. It only took about 10 minutes to walk from here to the rental house. The two walked leisurely, and Su Qingxiu took the initiative to share the burden with Lin Sun, holding the items in his left hand while Su Qingxiu held them in her right hand. The evening breeze was a bit chilly, and both of them felt it. Lin Sun looked at the senior sister beside him. At this moment, her long hair was not tied up, but spread out, and her beautiful profile was captivating. Senior sister, are you cold? Su Qingxiu's fair nose moved and she took a breath, a little. As soon as she finished speaking, she felt her hand being held. Su Qingxiu was surprised. Lin Sun casually said, are you still cold now? The warmth passed from the big hand was very clear to Su Qingxiu. She looked at Lin Sun, silent for a moment, but still couldn't bear to refuse him. Lin Sun carefully felt the senior sister's small hand, which was slender and delicate among girls, but compared to Lin Sun, it was small and soft, and cold. Lin Sun felt a fondness in his heart. Is this not enough? Su Qingxiu said softly. Lin Sun looked at Su Qingxiu, and she also looked at him. The girl's face was still cold and indifferent, but her eyes were not as cold as before, with a layer of watery light and a few more youthful vitality. This kind of senior sister made people feel protective, and Lin Sun's heart was softening. Senior sister, you are so beautiful. Lin Sun spoke softly, with a hint of magnetic tremor. Su Qingxiu's long eyelashes trembled, and her breathing became heavy. Lin Sun's gaze moved down to the senior sister's lips. Her lips seemed a little dry, what should he do to moisten them? There was a voice in his head telling him to just kiss her, uncontrollably, and she probably wouldn't blame him, right? For a moment, the atmosphere became extremely ambiguous, and Lin Sun's gaze gradually became dangerous. Su Qingxiu sensed his heat, but her body seemed to be frozen, conscious but unable to control herself. She knew that she might have started to like this younger schoolmate. When did it start? She also didn't know. Maybe it was their first time singing together. Maybe it was their first time walking in the rain. Maybe it was their first time cooking together. The sky was getting dark, and there were more pedestrians on the road. A couple walked hand in hand on the sidewalk, and passersby couldn't help but look at them, their eyes full of admiration. Both of them were very good looking, a very eye catching couple. The other men envied the guy being led by the beautiful woman. Did this guy save the solar system in his past life? How else could he be favored by such a beauty? Lin Sun held the hand of his senior sister, and they basically didn't speak on the way, the atmosphere still in a kind of ambiguity. Su Qingxiu did not refuse Lin Sun's handholding, and seeing that she didn't refuse, he didn't let go either. He took it as the senior sister's consent. At this moment, the two of them felt like a real couple. Senior sister, is the thing heavy? Let me carry it for you? After walking for a few minutes, Lin Sun asked his senior sister. He had noticed several times that his senior sister's hand holding the thing was a bit strange. It was a small adjustment due to the weight, and he also saw that her fingers were marked. Su Qingxiu shook her head, it's okay, I can handle it, we'll be there soon. In fact, her hand was already a little numb. The thing wasn't very heavy, but holding it with one hand could easily lead to poor blood circulation. Lin Sun didn't care about her stubbornness, and subconsciously let go of her hand and took the thing from his senior sister. 
Compared to holding hands, he didn't want his senior sister to be tired at all. Holding hands, there would be plenty of opportunities in the future. Su Qingxie felt strange with both hands empty. The hand that had been holding the thing felt relieved, and the hand that was being held felt a cool breeze, bringing a sense of relief. That was the effect of the sweat evaporating. She had actually been holding hands with her junior brother for so long. This stretch of road, clearly only a few minutes, but she felt like she had been walking for half an hour. However, being held by a boy, was this the feeling? Very reassuring, very secure. Su Qingxie couldn't help but glance at Lin Sun, who was holding the thing. The boy was quite tall, but her figure was also tall and slender. In comparison, Lin Sun didn't seem very tall in her eyes, but the feeling he gave her was full of security. What's going on? Is what they say on the internet true? Do lovers see each other through rose-colored glasses? They walked in silence, and the two of them returned to the rental house. After entering, both of them felt tired. Su Qingxie sat down on the sofa, leaned back, her graceful curves on display, and slowly closed her eyes. Lin Sun put the things on the table, thought for a moment, and said, Senior sister, I'll go back to school first. It was already late, and he couldn't disturb his senior sister's rest, right? Su Qingxie opened her eyes and looked at Lin Sun, come and sit for a while and rest. It was also quite tiring for him to help carry the things, how could she let him leave in a hurry? Lin Sun obediently sat down next to his senior sister, he was indeed a little tired. Su Qingxie turned on the TV, took off her shoes, and curled her feet onto the sofa, focusing on the TV. The only sound in the living room was the sound of the TV playing. Lin Sun was still reminiscing about the experiences of the two of them tonight. Holding hands, embracing, ambiguity. He and his senior sister seemed to have done something beyond friendship. But the senior sister didn't get angry, she tacitly approved of his behavior. Lin Sun felt like he was dreaming. He had never thought about doing these things with his senior sister before, and he didn't expect fate to turn so quickly. Suddenly, Lin Sun felt his phone vibrate in his pocket, and then a series of vibrations. He thought someone was calling him, took it out and saw that a friend with the note boss had sent him a picture. 99 plus Lin Sun glanced at his senior sister beside him, and found that she was squinting at the TV, looking very focused, but her eyes seemed a little absent-minded. Senior sister is so charming. After sighing, he took out his phone and opened the message the picture that didn't reach the top on the first swipe, Lin Sun couldn't bear to look at it. Forget it, I'll go back and slowly look at it in bed. Lin Sun looked at the information again, then immediately private messaged Lu Gang, asking him to leave the door for himself. Lin Sun was about to say goodbye, when suddenly, his shoulder was touched by something, followed by a weight pressing down on him. Lin Sun's heart stopped for a second, then resumed beating. He slightly turned his head and found that the senior sister was actually leaning on his shoulder and sleeping. Is she too tired? Lin Sun looked at the girl with steady breathing, his eyes turning gentle. With her eyes closed, Lin Sun could clearly see her long eyelashes, very beautiful. Although Su Qingxie was asleep, her posture remained curled up. Sleeping in this position, she would probably wake up in a short period of paralysis. After waiting for a while, judging the depth of her sleep from her breathing, Lin Sun gently placed his phone on the sofa, then carefully reached out and held the senior sister's waist, securing her, and then gently turned his body, slowly passing his other hand through her knee bend, and with a slight force, Princess carried her. The senior sister's weight was not heavy, and Lin Sun felt very light as he carried her. Lin Sun admired the senior sister's exquisite beauty for a few moments. At this moment, he didn't feel any romance, but rather a sense of calm and warmth, worrying that she might catch a cold. Lin Sun carried her into her room. This was Lin Sun's first time entering Su Qingxie's room. Her room was very simple, with a bed, a bedside table, a computer desk, a computer chair, and a small wardrobe. The rest were some daily necessities, in a minimalist style. Lin Sun carefully placed Su Qingxie on the bed, being careful not to disturb her, and then gently covered her with a blanket. Since she had already taken off her shoes, Lin Sun tucked in the corners of the blanket for her, then squatted down, quietly observing the senior sister's sleeping face. The sleeping senior sister was very obedient, without her usual sternness and coldness. It seemed that when people were asleep, their faces would be very gentle and quiet. Lin Sun once again noticed her red lips, and remembered how he had braked in time on the way back. Now, it should be okay to give her a kiss, right? The senior sister was asleep, so it should be reasonable to steal a kiss, right? Thinking of this, Lin Sun's heart began to beat faster. He slowly leaned in towards Su Qingxie's cheek. She didn't seem to notice at all, sleeping soundly. After a while, as if making a certain decision, Lin Sun lightly kissed the senior sister's smooth forehead. As soon as he touched her, Lin Sun stepped back and whispered, Senior sister, good night. 
He got up, didn't linger, turned off the light for her, and left the room, closing the door behind him. Linson tidied up the living room, then picked up his own clothes, closed the door of the rental house, and took a deep breath, then exhaled heavily. Lin Soon, you've fallen. What he didn't know was that the senior sister in the room suddenly opened her eyes, and in the darkness, her eyes were very bright. She gently touched the place where Lin Soon had kissed, her expression showing neither shyness nor calmness, only a soft murmur came out, Su Qingxer, you've fallen. After leaving the rental house, Lin Soon returned to his dormitory. It was around 10.30 at night, and most of the students had just finished class, so Lin Sun's dormitory naturally hadn't turned off its lights yet. As soon as he entered, three pairs of expectant eyes all looked over. Lin Sun had a feeling of being welcomed home like an old father returning, with all his sons looking forward to his arrival. This feeling made him very comfortable. You guys haven't slept yet? Damn. Brother Lin, what's the meaning of this? Why did you come back so late? I almost went to the dorm aunt to report your late return. Get lost. You ungrateful brats, how dare you bully your stepfather. Lin Sun put on a fake serious face, then put his things on his chair. Lin, are these clothes you bought? Lu Gang walked over, curiously looking at the bags. Lin Sun nodded, yes. You have quite a lot of clothes, why waste money like that? Wu Di also asked in confusion. I plan to throw away all my old clothes and wear these, Lin Sun said seriously. As soon as these words were spoken, the three roommates were stunned. So arrogant? Lu Gang approached suspiciously and sniffed around Lin Sun, wow, why do you smell so good? Did you take a shower? Lin Sun raised his arm to smell and indeed there was a fragrance. No, is this the scent of the school sister? Plop, plop. Just as the words were spoken, two muffled sounds were heard as Guo Shengli and Wu De fell over. What are you doing? Lin Sun asked in confusion. TSK TSK, you've been with the campus beauty since noon, haven't you? Lu Gang looked at him in amazement. Lin Sun didn't deny it and nodded. Lu Gang. Oh, oh, oh. Guo Xingli let out a strange cry, rushed over, grabbed Lin Sun's clothes, and sniffed them fiercely, then showed an indescribable expression, the smell. He suddenly widened his eyes. Did you hug the campus beauty? Lin Sun frowned. What does hug mean? Embrace? Not really. Does holding her waist count? Did you kiss? No. Did you hold hands? We did. Oh, wuh. Suddenly, there was a burst of Guo Xingli's unwilling roar in room 307. What are you doing? Why are you making ghostly noises instead of sleeping? Auntie's angry voice came from downstairs. At this moment in room 307, Lin Sun was forced into a corner by his three roommates. Are you dating the campus beauty? No. Then how could you hold hands with her? Just, held hands like that. Did she slap you? How could she? The school sister is so gentle. Gentle. Damn. At this moment, the three of them felt a billion points of shock in their hearts, showing a sour expression. No one had expected that the campus beauty and Lin Sun had developed to this extent. Even holding hands, isn't that close to kissing? Envy and jealousy. However, although they were a bit sour, they were still relieved. The campus beauty was a woman they couldn't get, so it was better to benefit their own roommate than others. Hey, Lin, what kind of luck did you have? Lu Gang sighed. Lin Sun smirked, maybe my charm is too great. Ugh, get lost, thanks. After chatting with his roommates, Lin Sun began to organize his clothes. Most of his clothes were newly bought, some of which he hadn't worn. He set aside the clothes he didn't wear often and those that were uncomfortable. After shopping with the school sister, Lin Sun bought three sets of clothes, which were enough for daily wear. After organizing his clothes, he took the clothes he wanted to discard and left. Shower, bed. Lin Sun curled up in the quilt and began to review the day's events. Soon, there was a burst of giggling from the quilt. Lu Gang and Guo Xingli glanced at each other and shook their heads at the same time. The next day, Monday, 8 a.m. Lin Sun got up half an hour early and changed into new clothes. At 7.45, the people from room 307 walked out in a grand manner. The three classes passed slowly, and Lin Sun was also very sleepy. The teacher's words went in one ear and out the other, and he couldn't concentrate at all. He found that after entering university, his enthusiasm for studying had decreased significantly. The atmosphere in university was completely different from high school. In university, you can listen if you want, and even skip class if you don't want to, and no one will care. Even the teachers turn a blind eye, at most. Deducting attendance points, and it's up to them to decide whether you pass the course at the end of the term, Lin Sun didn't find these courses difficult at all. His intelligence was quite good, otherwise he wouldn't have been admitted to South University. Therefore, he didn't have very strict requirements for himself. No, he was getting sleepy. Wei Shengli next to him had already fallen asleep peacefully. 
Lin Sun pinched himself and immediately opened his eyes wide. He took out his phone, opened the album, and started browsing the photos of the senior sister. Recharged. When Lin Sun saw the photo, he suddenly became spirited, and his mouth unconsciously lifted up, unable to suppress it. He set the photo taken with the senior sister next to the doll machine as the lock screen wallpaper, and the one taken last night as the desktop wallpaper. After all, the photo of the senior sister in a blue dress could only be seen by himself. Soon, the bell for the end of the third class rang, and Lin Sun and the others quickly picked up their school bags and walked out of the classroom. Phew! The state during class and after class are completely different. Wu Shengli sighed. During class, he always wanted to sleep, but after class, he didn't feel sleepy at all. Brothers, where are we going? To eat? Let's go! It was only 10.30, and normal college students hadn't even had lunch yet. Some were still having breakfast, but they were having lunch so early because they didn't want to make another trip. On the way, various student clubs had already set up recruitment points, with senior brothers and sisters sitting at each point, and some promoting their clubs on the school road. Junior, do you want to learn about the chess club? We have Chinese chess, go, and military flag chess. Excuse me, I'm from the calligraphy club. Would you like to learn about Chinese culture? Handsome guy. Beauty. The 307 West people were also surrounded. Senior brothers and sisters from several clubs were holding up posters to promote. Hey handsome guy, I see that you have extraordinary bones and a righteous spirit. You look like a soldier. Are you interested in joining our honor guard? A tall, dark-skinned male student praised Lu Gang. The latter also smiled and was soon taken away. Lu clearly wants to join the honor guard. Lin Sun laughed. Hey, what's good about the clubs? It's better to play games in the dorm. Wei Shengli looked disdainful. Hello, would you like to learn about the street dance club, handsome guy? At this time, a sweet-looking girl grabbed Guo Xingli's sleeve. After looking at her, his eyes suddenly lit up, as if he had changed his face, street dance club? Let's go, please tell me more. After speaking, he pulled the girl to the side. Student, we are from the volleyball team. Are you interested in joining us to play? A male student grabbed Lin Sun and asked with a smile. Lin Sun quickly waved his hand, no, thank you. Join our group to learn more. There are many beauties in our team. The male student tempted. Huh, what beauties? Can they compare to the goddess senior sister? Lin Sun felt disdainful, shook his head on the surface. Sorry, I'm not interested in that. The male student saw Lin Sun's refusal and didn't say anything, turning to walk towards others. Lin Sun stood in place, and all of his roommates had been taken away, leaving only him. Because there was no recruitment point for the student union here, they were more advanced, posting forms in their classes or groups for people to forward. Lin Sun had already signed up in the group. He was waiting for the interview in the afternoon. Little brother. A sweet-looking girl with twin ponytails ran up to Lin Sun, squinting and smiling. Little brother, can I add you on WeChat? Lin Sun looked at her in surprise, then shook his head. Sorry, I don't want to join any clubs. He thought the girl was also a senior sister from a club recruiting new members. The girl with twin ponytails giggled. I'm not from a club. I just want to add you on WeChat. Lin Sun suddenly became wary. Oh no, she's actually after my looks. The girl was about 1.6 meters tall, with a slender figure, and looked very petite in front of Lin Sun. She had a mischievous smile on her face, very spirited, and could be considered a little beauty however, Lin Sun's heart had long been occupied by the senior sister, and there was no room for other girls. He shook his head, sorry, classmate, I don't add WeChat. The girl was a little surprised. She didn't expect that this seemingly shy and handsome boy would be a bit aloof. She had misjudged him. She thought she could easily win him over, but she didn't expect him to be a little male god. But he's so handsome. There were many people around, but Lin Sun stood out. Not only was he tall, but he also had a handsome and attractive appearance, easily catching the attention of girls. At this moment, Lin Sun showed a hint of indifference and distance, causing the girl with twin ponytails to leave disappointed. After her, several other girls approached Lin Sun for his WeChat, but he rejected them all. Lin Sun frowned and glanced at his roommate who was learning about the club, then shook his head, forget it, I'm not waiting anymore, I'm going to eat. He walked towards the cafeteria alone. Beauty, you're so pretty, do you want to join our club? Su Cheng and her roommate happened to pass by and were stopped by someone. They were curious, so they went to choose a club. Meanwhile, Lu Gang, after filling out his own information, also saw Su Ching talking to the senior sister of the club. He was somewhat surprised. Wasn't she the girl who was looking for Lin Sun last time? He glanced at Shi Zhou and found that Lin Sun was not there. He sent a message to him and found out that he had gone to eat. Wow, he didn't even call him to eat. At this time, 
Go Xingli walked over with an excited look on his face. What are you so happy about? Lu Gang asked curiously. Go Xingli grinned. I added several girls on WeChat. Awesome. Lu Gang gave him a thumbs up. By the way, where's Lin Soon? He went to eat. What? Flying solo? Let's go, let's eat. Wu Dei also walked over, and the three of them were about to head to the cafeteria. Wait a minute, a voice stopped them. Su Cheng walked over gracefully and looked at Go Xingli, then turned to Lu Gang. You guys are Lin Sun's roommates, right? Go Xingli glared, aren't you the girl from last time? What do you want with my, with my brother? Lu Gang and Wu De were speechless. Damn, you almost called him your son. How much do you want to be a father? Su Qing pursed her lips, is he not with you? Go Xingli was about to speak, but Lu Gang pulled him behind and said calmly, no, what do you want with him, I can pass on the message for you. Su Qing looked a little disappointed, but she concealed it well, and after organizing her words, she said, then please tell him that tomorrow night is my birthday. I'm having a simple birthday party and I would like to invite him to join, of course, you guys can come with him. Birthday. The three of them exchanged glances, their expressions somewhat strange. But because they were in a hurry to eat, Lu Gang didn't want to have too much contact with this girl. He nodded, I will pass on your message to him, but whether he goes or not is up to him. Thank you, Su Qing said gratefully. Lu Gang and the others walked towards the cafeteria. Su Qing watched their backs, adjusted her facial expression, and showed a calm smile. Tomorrow is her birthday. In the past, during high school, Lin Sun would always accompany her on her birthday. This year, she also wanted him to come. After entering university, she had more contact with people, and she had slowly changed. Some of her previous thoughts and views had also changed. University was not as beautiful as she had imagined. Compared to that, she couldn't help but think of the purity of high school. She thought of the boy who had eyes only for her. So, she changed her mind and wanted to try to keep him for a little longer. Su Qing? What does she want with you guys? Lin Sun was sitting in the cafeteria, with Lu Gang beside him and Go Shengli and Wu Di across from him. Lu Gang told him what Su Qing had said. Lin Sun fell silent. Su Qing's birthday, yes, tomorrow was indeed her birthday. He had almost forgotten. But what did it matter if he remembered? Iron, are you going or not? Wu Shengli asked. Lin Sun smiled faintly, no one will stay in the past, she hasn't understood this truth yet. Hey, it looks like there's a love-hate drama between you two about to unfold. Lu Gang sighed. Lin Sun said seriously, in my heart, there is only my senior sister. Wow, that's going to be exciting, a proper battlefield. Wu Shengli exclaimed. Lin Sun smiled, he wouldn't let that happen, he would completely cut off the past, because in the future, there was a girl who occupied his entire heart, waiting for him to protect her. You guys don't need to worry about this, whatever she does has nothing to do with me. Lin Sun continued eating. Hmm, it's comforting to see you think like this, as a father, Guo Xingli said with a proud look. Get lost. The three of them had finished lunch and started eating in the cafeteria. After the meal, the four of them walked back to the dormitory together. Which clubs have you all joined? I plan to join the honor guard, no need for an interview, just go for training, Lu Gang said with a smile. Wu De said, I joined the badminton team, need to go through two rounds of assessment to become an official member. Lin Sun looked at Guo Xingli, who proudly said, I joined the street dance club, comic exhibition club, gymnastics team, and cheerleading team, groups. Wow. The three of them were speechless, they had wanted to shock him, but after hearing his choices, they retracted their surprise. Hello, my name is Anda Shang. I'm 19 this year. Why do you want to join the student union? Didn't you ask me to come for an interview? Please don't evade the question. Why do you want to join the student union? The male student looked at the three interviewers in confusion. Damn? How did they know why he wanted to join the student union? The student union came to recruit new members, boasting and attracting students to sign up, then conducting offline interviews. When you asked me to join the group, it wasn't like this. Now you're putting on a serious gatekeeper look for whom to see? What nonsense, I'm done. What a waste of my time. Hello, my name is Li Ningxin, majoring in chemical engineering design, freshman. Hello, why do you want to join the student union? Um, I think, the student union's offline interviews had three points, in three different classrooms, labeled as interview points 1, 2, and 3, each point was crowded with people. Lin Sun was in line at interview point 2, looking at the crowded hallway, he was somewhat shocked. So many people want to join the student union? truly worthy of being the most influential student organization in the school. He had arrived half an hour ago, but he was still late, starting from the staircase, he had only moved forward 10 meters. And he was considered fast here, he noticed a problem, that is, on this side of interview point 2, each person's time inside was very short, basically 1 to 2 minutes, 
and many people came out with a dejected look. Is the interview so difficult? Not only him, but others were also full of doubts. Some people even started queuing at interview points one and three. Lin Sun did not follow suit. After all, he had finally made it here. How could he foolishly go to other places? But there were also people coming out with a smile, both girls and boys. But the smile was a bit strange. It was like as if they were in love. Damn! How was it? How was it? A girl behind Lin Sun grabbed a girl who had just come out. The latter said excitedly, "So handsome! He's really handsome!" Ah, really? For real? For real? Handsome? Who's handsome? The interviewer? And do you know? There's a senior sister inside who's super beautiful, wearing a blue dress. She looks like a fairy. Wow! Is the student union a gathering place for handsome guys and beautiful girls? Do your best. They are strict in the interviews. Good luck. Okay. A blue dress? The more Lin Sun listened, the more strange it sounded. He seemed to have seen it somewhere. Hey, handsome! You're also handsome. Add me on WeChat. A hand tugged at Lin Sun's sleeve, interrupting his thoughts. He looked at the girl, who was looking at him with stars in her eyes. Lin Sun waved his hand. Sorry. The girl was obviously into looks, always trying to flirt with handsome guys. Seeing that Lin Sun didn't agree, she didn't seem disappointed and ran off. At this moment, Lin Sun felt a strange sensation, as if he was being watched, and couldn't help but look around. The girl behind him subconsciously adjusted her phone in her hand. Her previous posture seemed like she was taking a photo. Lin Sun. Soon, Lin Sun reached the front of the line. During the interview, each person went in alone, and the door was closed. So the situation inside couldn't be seen from outside. However, when the person in front of Lin Sun went in, he couldn't help but sneak a peek inside and was stunned by what he saw. Because with that one glance, he had clearly seen the appearance of the two interviewers. He recognized one of them. It was actually his senior. How come she was here? Oh right, she was the vice president of the student council, so it was normal for her to be an interviewer. However, Lin Sun suddenly felt nervous. He had actually been assigned to his senior's interview. But Lin Sun frowned. He noticed that there was a guy next to his senior with a remarkable presence and a handsome face, seemingly even more handsome than him. Who was he? Without giving him much time to think, the people inside came out. It was his turn. Lin Sun took a deep breath and walked in. At first glance, Lin Sun looked at Su Qingshu, who also glanced at him with a calm expression but a raised eyebrow. Lin Sun observed the three interviewers. The one in the middle was a handsome guy, mature and dignified, exuding an air of authority. On his left was his senior, and on his right was another girl with heavy makeup. Lin Sun marveled at the guy's looks. In his memory, it seemed that only the handsome guy he had met in his senior's rental house could compare to him. Sitting on the prepared chair, Lin Sun sat up straight. Hello, I'm Yu Qingshua, the president of the student council. Please introduce yourself. The guy was the president of the student council. This identity wasn't hard to guess. Hello, seniors. I'm Lin Sun from Liang City, 18 years old, majoring in finance in my first year. Lin Sun maintained a polite smile and introduced himself. There was a glint in Yu Qingshua's eyes. So you're Lin Sun. He looked somewhat familiar, and he hadn't expected that he was the freshman who recently had a scandal with Qingshu. What did Qingshu see in him? Everyone in the student council knew that Yu Qingshua had a secret crush on Su Qingshu. So many people in the student council considered them a couple, thinking that only someone as outstanding as the president was worthy of the school flower. But the recent rumors on the forum had shocked them all, completely changing their perception. Because in their impression, Su Qingshu had a very aloof personality. Even as the vice president of the student council, she rarely interacted with people, let alone got close to guys. Even the president, Yu Qingshua, had only talked to her, and they hadn't even had any private interactions like having a meal together. But the school flower had made an exception for a freshman. Wasn't this too explosive? Yu Qingshua couldn't help but glance at Su Qingshu, who was looking calmly at Lin Sun. After some thought, he asked Lin Sun, "Can I ask why you want to join the student council?" Lin Sun subconsciously looked at Su Qingshu. He had joined the student council just to spend more time with his senior, nothing more. But of course, he wouldn't say that. I want to join the student council to exercise and improve my abilities, and hopefully become as outstanding as the seniors. It was an official response, and he even flattered the president. Little did he know, as soon as he finished speaking, Su Qingshu's lips curled up. Yu Qingshua and another girl were standing next to her and couldn't see, but Lin Sun did. He couldn't help but stare for a moment. Senior, you look really good when you smile. No, senior, are you trying to get my attention? Junior, are you feeling unwell? Why do you seem a bit out of it? 
Yu Qingxue's puzzled voice brought Lin Sun, who was daydreaming, back to reality. The latter felt a bit embarrassed, he had actually been staring at the senior just now. No, I was just thinking about something. Yu Qingxue and the other girl looked a bit strange. Thinking about something? This is an interview, Ro. Are you so indifferent? Do you really want to join the student council? So, the next question. Junior, do you have a girlfriend? Everyone was taken aback by the question, because the following sentence was spoken by Su Qingxue. Yu Qingxue was surprised by the question he wanted to ask, and he looked at Su Qingxue in amazement. This was the first thing she had said since the interview began. And, it was so unexpected. Even Lin Sun was a bit surprised, but he quickly composed himself and shook his head, no. After saying that, he was suddenly puzzled. Why does joining the student council have anything to do with having a girlfriend? Why would they ask this question? Do you have someone you like? Su, Qingxue asked calmly, her eyes as calm as water. Lin Sun answered seriously, yes. Su Qingxue glanced at him and said, if you were a member of the student council, but the person you like asked you to quit the student council, what would you choose? Yu Qingxue and the other girl looked at each other with curiosity. Su Qingxue's question sounded a bit strange, but it seemed reasonable, so they could only cooperate with her and take notes. Faced with this question, Lin Sun fell into contemplation. He subconsciously replaced the person he liked with the senior. If the senior asked him to quit the student council, he had joined the student council for the senior. If the senior asked him to quit, then, it seemed like he would obediently comply. Thinking of this, Lin Sun smiled and replied, then I would follow her advice and quit the student council. Clearly, this was a fatal mistake in terms of the student council's position, but Su Qingxue looked satisfied. Yu Qingxue, bro, with your answer, I'm in trouble. I'm done asking, thank you. Su Qingxue nodded. Yu Qingxue quickly said, well, that's it then. Thank you for your cooperation, junior. Lin Sun nodded, then got up and didn't dare to look at the senior any longer as he walked out of the classroom. As he walked out of the classroom, Lin Sun breathed a sigh of relief. But as he thought about it, he felt calm inside, without any waves of nervousness. His current mindset was probably that it didn't matter whether he joined or not. At this point in the interview, the group took a two-minute break. Yu Chengshua looked at Su Qingxue with a smile and asked, Qingxue, do you know the junior named Lin Sun? Su Qingxue nodded faintly. Yu Chengshua thought for a moment and asked casually, what's your relationship with him? Su Qingxue replied coldly, friends. Just friends? Su Qingxue glanced at him. The latter felt a bit embarrassed, I didn't mean anything else. Su Qingxue ignored him and lowered her head to play with her phone. In a place where no one could see, Yu Qingxue's hand tightened slightly. When Lin Sun returned to the dorm, most of his roommates had already come back. How did it go? Did it go well? Wu De asked Lin Sun. Lin Sun shook his head, I think it's not looking good. Oh, well, stay calm. Competition in university is fierce. It's best if you get in. But if you don't, it's no big deal, Lu Gang said casually, holding a dumbbell. That's right, I heard that the student council is very deep. Brother, you'd better not go, Go Xingli lay on the bed, holding his phone, and said leisurely Lin Sun looked at him in surprise. It seemed like he had just woken up. You joined so many groups, didn't you go for the interview? Guo Xingli sighed softly, hey, I want to be a slacker. Oh, aren't the girls attractive enough for you? Guo Xingli had added many girls, according to his character, he should have eagerly gone for the interview. Don't mention it, I added more than 10 girls on WeChat, and almost all of them blocked me, Guo Xingli said in a deep voice. Lin Sun and the others fell silent. Wednesday, today's recruitment has come to an end, and the preliminary list has been released. Lin Sun found that he was not on the preliminary list. He didn't pass the interview. Although he was mentally prepared, he was still somewhat surprised. It shouldn't be like this, with his looks and charm. He immediately told this news to his senior sister. Junior brother, senior sister, I didn't pass the interview, expression, humble, fairy senior sister, don't be disheartened, you are very outstanding. Junior brother, senior sister, don't you want me to join the student union? After sending this message, Lin Sun felt a bit nervous. In fact, it was very simple for him to join any club. He could easily find a backdoor through the dean or the school president. Joking, his family had donated several buildings to the school so it wouldn't be excessive to open a backdoor for him, right? But he didn't do that because he knew that his senior sister didn't really want him to join the student union. Not long after, the senior sister replied, Fairy senior sister, whom Lin Sun breathed a sigh of relief. He suddenly remembered the question his senior sister asked him during the interview. If your girlfriend doesn't want you to join the student union, would you quit? Was she implying something? Lin Sun's heart stirred, thinking of a certain possibility. He was a bit excited, 
but he didn't show it, after all, things were still uncertain. Moving on from this topic, Lin Sun started chatting with Su Qingshu. Junior brother, senior sister, the holiday starts next week, are you going home or staying in the rental house? The National Day holiday starts next week, starting on Tuesday, and lasts for seven days. Thinking that he might not see his senior sister for seven days, Lin Sun felt that it would be a long holiday. Fairy senior sister, I'm staying in the rental house, not going home. What about you? Junior brother, I might go home for a visit, accompany my family on a trip. Fairy senior sister, that's good, spend more time with your family. Junior brother, are you also going on a trip? Have you decided where to go? Fairy senior sister, I want to go to Qinghai Tibet. Qinghai Tibet. Lin Sun silently noted down this term. After chatting with the senior sister for a while, she informed him that she was going to the library, and the conversation ended. Lin Sun also prepared to go for a meal, when Jiang Yunxiao suddenly sent a message. Sister Jiang, little junior brother, how's your relationship with Shershur recently? Little junior brother, it's pretty good. Sister Jiang, hee hee, the holiday is coming soon, why don't you ask Shershur to go on a trip? After all, you're not short of money, and Shershur really wants to go on a trip. Little junior brother, I know that, but I might have to go home for a visit. Sister Jiang, ah, that's a bit of a shame, I think you could take this opportunity to confess. Confess? Lin Sun's heart stirred, and he began to ponder. It seemed like it was possible. During the holiday, he could prepare many things. Lin Sun immediately started chatting with Jiang Yunxiao. Classmates, the National Day holiday starts tomorrow. Please prioritize safety, avoid dangerous activities, and don't do anything illegal. Some things should not be attempted. On the eve of the holiday, the counselor held a class meeting to motivate the students before the holiday. The students were all very excited, the counselor spoke, and they also discussed where to go during the holiday. The holiday starts at 6 o'clock and ends on the 7th at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Guys, what are your plans for the holiday? Wu Shengli put his arms around Lin Sun and Lu Gang's shoulders, smiling. Lin Sun's answer remained the same, first, go home and accompany my parents on a trip, then make plans. Lu Gang said lightly, of course, I'm going to find a girlfriend. Ha, huh? brother Su, what's with that expression? If you win, you can leave Lu Gang's shoulder disdainfully and say, having a girlfriend is impressive, ha? Huh? Teasy, you are the closest to me. Wu Shengli said to Lin Sun as a good brother. He will have a girlfriend soon, Lu Gang said calmly. Who in the dormitory doesn't know that Lin Sun likes the school flower? And their relationship with the school flower is very ambiguous. They both subconsciously think that they will be a couple sooner or later. Guo Xingli's face stiffened. Oh, I see. Then he curiously asked Lin Sun, Bro, are you going to ask the school flower out during the break? Lin Sun said, Next time, I'll accompany my parents first. After all, it's the first time I've traveled with my parents since I was a child. Your background is really mysterious. Your family actually kept it from you for 18 years. That's impressive, Wei Shengli sighed. They all knew about Lin Sun's family background, the richest man in Longhua. In such a big world, they actually met the son of the richest man. At first, they didn't believe it, but after checking the news in Liangcheng, they accepted the fact. Lin Sun also told them about being raised in poverty when he was young. Yeah, your parents are admirable for training you and testing your character to make you persevere for so long, Lu Gang nodded in agreement. To be honest, they all wanted to go back and ask their parents if they were secretly hiding a fortune from them. Lin Sun smiled and then looked at Wu De, who was playing with his phone, and asked, Wu De, what are your plans for the holiday? Wu De smiled, I'll just stay at school. My family isn't as wealthy as yours, so I plan to take advantage of this short break to work part-time and earn some living expenses. Great. Lin Sun gave him a thumbs up. He felt a little emotional. If his family was still the same small family as before, he would probably spend his holidays working too. After returning to the dormitory, everyone except Wu De started packing their clothes and luggage. Goodbye, guys. Guo Shengli, dressed like a spirited young man, said goodbye to his roommates as he pulled his suitcase. He went to Tin how to play basketball. Lu Gang had almost no luggage, just a backpack. According to him, he planned to find his girlfriend and then book a hotel to stay for a few days. Lin Sun, with sharp eyes, happened to see him packing a few boxes into his backpack. Understanding instantly, he reminded him, brother, take care of yourself on this trip. Lu Gang confidently said, don't worry, your brother is in good shape. Even if he didn't train for a month, he could still outrun Lin Sun. Take care. Please take care of the dorm. Wu did don't worry, be safe on the road. When Lin Sun walked downstairs to the dormitory building, he received a message from his senior sister Su Qingshu. Fairy senior sister. Are you going home today? Lin Sun replied with a smile, yes, senior sister. 
My family will come to pick me up later. Fairy senior sister, be safe and have fun. Junior brother, okay, senior sister, you too. If you have anything, you can tell me. After sending the message, Linson felt a little conflicted. Would it be too ambiguous to say that? Forget it, let's retract it. Just as he was about to retract the message, he received a reply. Fairy senior sister, okay. Linson suddenly smiled. The senior sister agreed. He he he. A passing male student glanced at him as if he were looking at a fool. Linson quickly adjusted his expression. At that moment, he received a call from home. Hello, mom. Guyan's voice was relaxed. Son, are you on vacation? Linson's mouth curved into a warm smile. Yes, I just finished packing and am heading downstairs. That's great. I'm in the principal's office at your school, and Uncle Guan is waiting outside. You can go to him first. Gu Yan smiled. Lin Sun was somewhat surprised. Mom came to the school and went to the principal's office, but he didn't plan to go there. Instead, he walked towards the school gate. However, when he reached the main road in front of the school gate, Lin Sun's mouth twitched because he found that a group of people had gathered at the school gate, all of them surrounding a black Rolls Royce, discussing and taking photos with their phones. What is mom doing? How could she come to the school in such a flashy car? Doesn't she know how to be low-key? The crowd had surrounded the car tightly. How was he going to get in? Lin Sun sighed and walked towards the school gate with his suitcase. Junior. Just then, a cold voice called out to him. Lin Sun widened his eyes, thinking he had misheard. He turned around and was surprised to see, Senior sister? What are you doing here? Su Qingxer stood about 7 or 8 meters behind him, wearing a white short-sleeved shirt and jeans, with a flawless figure. However, she was wearing a duckbill cap with the brim pressed low, covering her beautiful face. She was holding a light yellow small suitcase, about 20 inches. Su Qingxer walked slowly to him and said, I'm also planning to go back to the rental house. Lin Sun was surprised, but more than that, he was delighted. After all, just before going home for the holidays, he could see senior sister again. It felt fulfilling. Su Qingxer looked in the direction of the school gate and asked lightly, Is that your family's car? Lin Sun nodded quickly, Yes, senior sister. Su Qingxia raised her eyebrows, smiling slyly, then you're going to be famous, Lin Xiao. With so many people, if Lin Sun got into the car in front of everyone, he would become famous at the school. Lin Sun was somewhat helpless, my mom came to pick me up, I didn't expect her to come in such an expensive car. Su Qingxia smiled and pursed her lips, so are you going to stand here and wait? Lin Sun glanced at the crowd, they probably wouldn't disperse for a while. He sighed and decided to wait for his mom. Senior sister, when are you going on your trip? Lin Sun asked curiously. Su Qingxia replied, I've already bought the tickets, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Where are you going? The first stop is Le Sa. Lin Sun said seriously, then senior sister, you must be careful, especially in high altitude areas, it's easy to get altitude sickness. Su Qingxia nodded lightly and said softly, I know. Lin Sun looked at senior sister in a daze. Su Qingxia raised her eyebrows, what are you staring at? Lin Sun said somewhat regretfully, I won't see senior sister for the next few days. It's a bit unusual. Su Qingxia was stunned, then a blush appeared on her beautiful face. Big mouth, he he. Because Su Qingxia was wearing a hat, covering the upper part of her face, passing students did not recognize her as their school flower. But her devilish figure frequently attracted the attention of others. Senior sister, you go first, I'll wait a while longer. Lin Sun looked at Su Qingxia and smiled. He didn't mind spending more time with senior sister. But he thought about senior sister going on a long trip tomorrow and still having many things to pack, so he could only endure his reluctance. Su Qingxia nodded, then I'll go. Lin Sun watched senior sister walk away, and saw her get into her Audi. Hey, son, what are you looking at? Suddenly, Lin Sun's shoulder was tapped, and Gu Yanyan's figure appeared beside him. Mom, when did you come? Are you walking without making any sound? Lin Sun was startled. Hey, what do you mean no sound? Do you think I'm a ghost? Clearly, you were too engrossed, like a stone statue, looking at which girl? Gu Yan Yan raised her eyebrows. Where? Lin Sun looked elsewhere. Gu Yan Yan squinted, you're my son, I don't know what you're like? She suddenly asked quietly, by the way, I just asked the principal about it, oh my, your crush at school is really outstanding. Lin Sun was stunned, then somewhat helplessly laughed, mom, why did you ask about that? He was speechless, he thought his mom went to see the principal for official business, but she ended up gossiping and the principal, at his age, too. Hey hey, that's a big deal concerning my daughter-in-law. Of course it's more important than the real thing. Son, let me advise you, act quickly, that girl is too outstanding, 
She might be snatched away by someone else one day, Gu Yanyan teased. No, the senior sister is not that kind of person, Lin Sun said subconsciously. Oh, so confident? Gu Yanyan's eyes lit up. Confident? Lin Sun's mouth twitched. No, then what are you waiting for? Give a gift? Or arrange some grand ceremony that will make a scene? As long as it costs money, it's not a problem. Gu Yan Yan said confidently. Lin Sun sighed, I'll think about it again. Honestly, he didn't know how to confess. What kind of confession would be worthy of the senior sister? Ha, huh? why is our car surrounded? Gu Yan Yan looked towards the school gate, somewhat surprised. Lin Sun's face showed three black lines. Mom, don't we have a more low-key car at home? This is too much. He didn't dare to go over. Gu Yan Yan shrugged. Oh, we do. I just happened to drop your dad off at the company and then rushed over with the butler. Your dad's stuff has to be high-end, I can't help it. Lin Sun remained expressionless. Well, that's how it is. It's okay, let's go. Mom will take you over. Gu Yan Yan knew her son's thoughts, but she didn't quite agree. The son of a wealthy man, what's there to worry about? Be bold. Because he had lived a simple life for these years, his state of mind was naturally good, but he was somewhat socially anxious, and didn't have the air of a rich young man. Of course, as parents, they didn't want their son to be a playboy. But at the very least, he should have some confidence. As Gu Yan Yan led Lin Sun through the crowd towards the Rolls Royce, everyone realized that they were the owners of the car. Wow, who is that boy? Is that Rolls Royce's family's? Damn, good looks and money, he's really hit the jackpot. Looks familiar. Hiss, isn't he the freshman who's close to the campus bell? Is it him? Is his family so wealthy? Ha, huh? no wonder he knows the campus bell, turns out he's a rich second generation. In this case, the campus bell isn't that aloof, she's been won over by money? Why are you being so sarcastic? Why does your words sound a bit harsh, are you defaming my goddess? Damn, can you criticize the goddess too? Kid, where's your family? From the initial shock of Lin Sun's identity, the public opinion quickly turned to Su Qingxia, and the situation soon got out of control. Some jealous individuals believed that Su Qingxia approached Lin Sun for his money and were suppressed by the faction that defended the campus bell and the Rolls-Royce, in full view of everyone, drove away in a cloud of dust. This scene was also captured and uploaded to the Tiba. Shocking, revealing the true identity of the Campus Bell's rumored boyfriend. He's actually a rich second generation. Caption, Rolls-Royce Wow. Has the junior finally exposed his identity as the first son? In the female dormitory, Zhang Yunxiao happened to be browsing Tiba and was somewhat surprised to see the post. She was one of the few people in the university who knew Lin Sun's identity. But after today, the junior is probably going to be famous at school. She observed that many people said that Lin Sun was not worthy of Su Qingxia because he looked a little handsome and didn't have any other highlights, but now, he had an additional identity as the first son. His dad was rich, so he was rich, right? Just because of this, he suppressed countless peers, right? This is what they call winning at the starting line. He he, is the junior taking the first step in an active attack? With the posture of the first son, defeating a wave of rivals? Zhang Yunxiao revealed a sly smile. Of course, she was mistaken, Lin Sun was passive. Ding dong. A message caught her attention, she looked at it. It was a message from a nickname, striving for a little sleep. The content was, Hello, I am the blind date introduced to you by your mother, are you free? Zhang Yunxiao's face stiffened. How's it going, son, the feeling of being in the spotlight, how does it feel? Inside the Rolls Royce, Gu Yan Yan smiled at Lin Sun. The latter remained calm and shook his head, it's nothing. At first, it felt a bit awkward, but I found it not so difficult to accept. He was himself, and what others said had nothing to do with him. Maintaining a carefree mindset, Lin Sun did not care about the gaze of others. If you worry about what others think every day, how tiring would that be? And now he was thinking about another matter. Once his identity was exposed, his lifestyle might change after the holiday. Before long, the 307 dormitory group exploded with various comments and praises. Obviously, Lin Sun's move was unexpected by them. After briefly dealing with his roommates, Lin Sun received a message from Sister Jiang, inquiring about the situation. Lin Sun explained briefly. Hey, Sister Jiang is not as curious as you guys, Lin Sun couldn't help but sigh. The thought had just occurred to him when Sister Jiang sent a message. Fairy Sister Jiang, emoji, thumbs up, Lin Sun. Putting away his phone, Lin Sun looked at his mother, Mom, where are we going? Let's have lunch first. It's already noon. Mom, just a meal, do we need to come here? Lin Sun looked somewhat helpless at the towering building in front of him. This restaurant seemed more grand than the forest court. Was this really his family's? That was his thought, and he asked. Gu Yan Yan smiled, 
Strictly speaking, this is not our family's, it's your second uncle's. Lin Soon? He had a second uncle? In the past 10 plus years, the only relative he knew was an aunt, and she lived in a remote area. Every Chinese New Year, they had to take a train for over 10 hours, then several hours on a bus, and finally walk for about half an hour to get there. At that time, he couldn't imagine what kind of difficult conditions would make his aunt live in a small village. Later, his parents confessed that behind the village, a road had been built to connect to the town and the money for the road construction came from their family. It was to deceive Lin Sun. Lin Sun shook his head after hearing this. His parents' thoughts were all on him. Your second uncle runs a chain of restaurants, and he has a lot of properties. He and your dad came out to make a fortune together. Gu Yan Yan led Lin Sun inside as she spoke. Lin Sun nodded in understanding. Hello, may I help you with anything? At this moment, a well-dressed man approached. Gu Yan Yan took out a gold card from her bag, book us a private dining room. Upon seeing the gold card, the man's expression immediately became respectful. The gold card allowed them to enjoy the highest level of service at their restaurant. He didn't know how many of these gold cards existed, but the people who had them were either rich or noble. Respected lady, please follow me. He quickly bowed and led the way. Let's go, son, Gu Yan Yan said, linking arms with Lin Sun. Lin Sun nodded, while also taking in the luxurious decor of the restaurant. Awesome. With the extremely respectful attitude of the waiters, the two, or rather, including the steward, three of them booked the highest level private room. There were waiters serving throughout, and someone specifically introduced the dishes. Restaurant entrance. Yen Yen? What a coincidence. At this moment, a surprised voice came from the side. Gu Yen Yen and Lin Sun turned to look. Lu Chui Ying? Gu Yen Yen was somewhat surprised. You're also here for a meal? The person who came was a woman dressed as a wealthy lady, with a bit of charm beneath the heavy makeup. Lu Chui Ying, a high society lady, was also part of Gu Yan Yan's circle. Her husband was the chairman of a listed company. Long time no see. I heard from my friends that I thought you were still in Liangcheng. Lu Chui Ying smiled. Gu Yan Yan smiled faintly, just got back. Although Lu Chui Ying was in the same circle, their interaction was merely superficial. Is this your son? Lu Chui Ying's gaze fell on Lin Sun. Lin Sun nodded politely, hello, I'm Lin Sun. He didn't know the relationship between his mother and the other party, so he remained polite and not too enthusiastic. Lu Chuiying looked at Lin Sun with admiration, not bad, not bad, quite handsome. Do you have a girlfriend? Lin Sun shook his head, not yet. Hearing this, Lu Chuiying's eyes lit up. At this moment, Gu Yan Yan joked, I hope you're not planning to introduce a partner for your daughter again? The most memorable thing about the other party was her attempt to find a blind date for her daughter, but it failed because of her high standards. Lu Chui Ying immediately put on a smiling face, ha, huh? it's not impossible. I think Lin Gongzi has very good conditions in all aspects. How about introducing him to my daughter? Gu Yan Yan raised an eyebrow and looked at Lin Sun. Lin Sun quickly shook his head, no need, no need. Mom, why are you still here and not going in? At this moment, a soft voice came. The group looked in the direction of the voice and saw a girl walking over, carrying a bag. She had light makeup and was very beautiful, wearing a long dress and standing at about 1.6 meters tall. She gave off a gentle and delicate vibe. Lin Sun was somewhat surprised because the girl was also very beautiful, ranking second only to his senior sister among the girls he had seen. Lu Chui Ying's eyes lit up and she quickly said, Ying Ying, come here. The girl's eyes showed a hint of confusion, then she walked over and glanced at Lin Sun on the way. Let me introduce you. This is your Aunt Gu, and this is your Aunt Gu's son. You can call him Big Brother Lin. This is my daughter, Chen Ying. Chen Ying looked at Gu Yan Yan and Lin Sun and said softly, Hello, Aunt Gu. Hello, Big Brother Lin. It had to be said that Lu Chui Ying's familiar operation also surprised Gu Yan Yan, but she didn't mind because this was the way of interaction in high society. If she couldn't handle this, she wouldn't deserve to be the richest woman. Hello, Ying Ying, right? I've heard your mom mention you. Are you currently on blind dates? Chen Ying Ying smiled slightly. It's all arranged by the family. I haven't thought about dating so soon. Lu Chui Ying glared at her, you're not young anymore. It's time to find a partner. Chen Ying Ying looked helplessly at her mother. Do I look like someone no one wants? Gu Yan Yan thought for a moment and looked at Lin Sun. Seeing that he wasn't interested, she smiled slightly, this is my son, Lin Sun. He just started college. Chen Ying Ying looked at Lin Sun, this boy gives a very comfortable feeling, and he's also quite handsome, seems to have a very good personality. Just started college? She's already a sophomore, a year ahead of him. She just called Lin Big Brother. I'm fed up with my own mother. Hello, Big Brother Lin. Chen Ying finally called out like this, she doesn't seem older than Lin Sun. 
Lin Sun politely nodded, hello. You guys can exchange contact information, young people should communicate well. Lu Chuiying took the opportunity to say. Chen Yingying's eyebrows and eyes were picturesque, always with a hint of gentleness, as if she had been cultivated as a noble daughter since childhood. She whispered, is it so abrupt to meet for the first time? Hearing this, Gu Yan Yan raised her eyebrows, this little girl seemed simple-minded, but actually had some tricks up her sleeve. However, she saw through it, the little girl was still too naive. But, it depends on how her son chooses, with her around, isn't it easy to handle? Lu Chui Ying was about to say something, but Lin Sun had already spoken, sorry, I have a phone call. He took his phone and walked away. The others were puzzled, a phone call? Did the phone ring? Didn't hear the ringtone. Gu Yan Yan understood and smiled at Lu Chui Ying and her daughter, you should go eat, it's getting late, I have to go pick up my husband. Clearly distant. Obviously, she could see that Lin Sun didn't want any entanglement with Chen Yingying. The latter could sit in the position of a noble lady, so she had some strength, and hearing this, she could only temporarily let it go. When the mother and daughter entered the restaurant, Lin Sun happened to come over. You, couldn't you find a better excuse? Gu Yan Yan scolded him with a frown. Lin Sun was speechless, Mom, you clearly understand, but you didn't help me refuse. Gu Yan Yan smiled, you young people can handle it yourselves, Mom won't interfere. Lin Sun was speechless. Didn't his mother know that he only liked the senior sister? When he left just now, he also sent a message to Su Qingxer, asking if she had arrived home. The latter was probably busy and didn't reply. Soon, the butler drove over, and the mother and son got into the car. Kyoto, the capital of Longwa, where 80% of the powerful and wealthy gather, it is also known as the bustling and prosperous city. Tian Zixuan No. 1 This is one of the most prosperous villa estates in Kyoto, and Tian Zixuan No. 1 is owned by the most top-notch businessmen in the country. Of course, this does not include the military and political bigwigs of Longwa, the national-level bigwigs, which are not something that businessmen can measure. Although Lin Sun was mentally prepared, he couldn't help but be amazed when he saw his home. It's just a bit more luxurious than the Liancheng Villa. No, it can't be called a villa anymore, it should be a manor. Madam, young master. The butler extended his hand and led the way. Gu Yan Yan introduced the various facilities of the villa to Lin Sun. There's nothing you can't think of, nothing you can't buy. Madam, young master. A maid in gardener's attire was trimming flowers and plants, and greeted Gu Yan Yan and Lin Sun respectfully. The servants had all seen Lin Sun's photo in advance, so they knew of his existence, and upon seeing their young master, their eyes lit up. The young master is indeed the child of the old master and the madam, inheriting good genes and looking really handsome. In addition to gardeners, there were also maids, nannies, and so on. The manor was so large that it required many hands. After walking around with his mother, Lin Sun returned to the main room, it was too big, and he felt a little lost after walking around. Well, he'll get to know it slowly later. Lin Sun's room was very large, with all kinds of facilities, and the room was kept clean and tidy, making it hard for anyone to touch it. According to the butler, there would be servants coming in to clean every day. Lying on the soft big bed, Lin Sun let out a comfortable sigh. Today is the first day of the holiday. Taking out his phone, QQ or WeChat were unusually quiet, no messages. When on vacation, everyone is busy with other things. The senior sister still didn't reply to his message. He opened the dormitory group chat and sent a question mark. After half a minute, there was no response. Linson calmly clicked on the red envelope, entered the amount, entered the password, and sent it. Three seconds later, your red envelope has been claimed. Causeway Bay's big boss is the luckiest. Causeway Bay's big boss is naturally Guo Shengli. They discussed it and felt that using their real names didn't quite fit their style, so they all changed their nicknames. Causeway Bay's big boss, animated expression, thanks, boss, when your hair brushes past my steel spear, truly the son of a wealthy man. Wu Fa Tian, 666. Gui Lin, have all the sons arrived home safely? Causeway Bay's big boss, father has finished two games of basketball with the uncles in the neighborhood. At this time, Lu Gang sent a picture, with the background showing the interior of a hotel's big bedroom. It seems that he has already arrived at his girlfriend's place, even staying at a hotel. Wu Dei is naturally still in the dormitory. The holiday is indeed busy. It's hard to chat with Westerners for a while, so the chat ended. However, Lin Sun did make a video call to Fatty. It's been over a month since he last saw Fatty. Sun Ge, are you in Kyoto? On the video call, Fatty showed his white teeth. In over a month, Fatty's skin has darkened quite a bit, and he doesn't seem as fat as before. Lin Sun was shocked, wow, Fatty, what's happened to you? Isn't the university's food to your liking? Fatty probably said, how about it? 
Doesn't Fatty look more handsome now? Lin Soon. Handsome? Well, I can only say that you don't look as naive and foolish as before. It turns out that after entering university, Fatty started on the path of losing weight. His girlfriend is still Xiaoxin. In order to be closer to Fatty, she found a job near Fatty's university and rented a house. They usually spend weekends playing in the rented house. In over a month, Fatty has been running every day for an hour, and his weight has noticeably changed. With the help of some traditional Chinese medicine to regulate his body, his physical condition is gradually improving. Sun Ji, Fatty has made great progress. I've gone from one minute to three minutes, Fatty exclaimed. Lin Sun, indeed, you've made great progress. Three minutes, he didn't know if it was long or short, but for Fatty, adding two more minutes, well, both of them could be happier for two more minutes. He he, by the way, Sun Ji, do you have any plans to travel during the holiday? For now, I'll accompany my parents on a trip, and we'll see about the rest. I envy you, Fatty. Even on vacation, I have to help Xiaoxin. The holiday season is busy, and she probably can't handle it alone. Fatty looked envious. Lin Sun chuckled, you can laugh, finding such a good girlfriend and enduring hardships with her, what's wrong with that? He he, that's true. The two of them started chatting and sharing their experiences in university, and it was already 5 o'clock in the afternoon. They agreed to meet up at a later time. Just as Lin Sun was about to go find his mother, he finally received a reply from his senior sister. Fairy senior sister, picture, senior sister sent him a picture, it looks like she's sitting on a high-speed train and taking pictures outside the window of the scenery along the way. Lin Sun was surprised and replied, senior sister, are you leaving now? Isn't your train ticket for tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock? Fairy senior sister, going to the city for some business, it's only a half-hour drive. Junior brother, senior sister, you've worked hard today too. Fairy senior sister, have you arrived home? Junior brother, yes, I've arrived. Fairy senior sister, where are you planning to go? Junior brother, I'll be with my parents. After sending the message, Lin Sun's heart inexplicably raced for a second, as if he had said something false and was excited. The topic eventually ended with the senior sister's arrival at the station. After tidying up, Lin Sun came to the living room. At this time, his father, Lin Badian, had already returned and was sitting on the sofa, with his mother sitting next to him, leaning on each other and whispering, creating a warm scene noticing that their son had arrived, they casually released each other and put on a serious expression as if nothing had happened. Lin. Sun was speechless at his parents' acting skills. Son, how are you feeling? Have you rested well? Gu Yan Yan got up and pulled Lin Sun to sit opposite Lin Badian. Lin Sun nodded, what were you two talking about? Lin Badian took a sip of tea and said cheerfully, your mom and I were planning where to go for a trip. Lin Sun thought for a moment, have you decided? We discussed it and there are plenty of options. Son, do you have any place in mind? Gu Yan Yan asked. Lin Sun tentatively suggested, how about we go to the Tibetan area? Both parents were surprised, and then Lin Badian said, why do you want to go to such a far away place? Lin Sun smiled, I saw it online and had a sudden idea. Also, with the large crowds during the National Day holiday, tourist areas in big cities will probably be very crowded. It's better to go there for a trip. That's no problem, son, you have the final say. Gu Yan Yan said happily. After the family made a decision, they started packing. The next morning, Lin Sun went on his first meaningful trip and his first trip with his family, so naturally, he was very excited. Sitting in an off-road vehicle, Lin Badian was mercilessly relegated to the passenger seat by Gu Yan Yan, while she and Lin Sun chatted in the back seat. Lin Badian turned his head to initiate a conversation with them, but his neck was sore and he didn't dare to voice any opinions. Although he was the wealthy head of the family, he had the lowest status at home. Lin Sun looked at the rapidly retreating scenery outside the car and felt a bit distracted. The journey from home to the Tibetan area was nearly 2,000 kilometers, and even if they drove fast, it would still take most of the day. Lin Badian was a bit reluctant. If he had known, he would have taken a private plane, which would only take a few hours. Gu Yan Yan looked at him expressionlessly, do you have any objections to my decision? Lin Badian, I dare not. The Padala Palace, the symbol of Tibet, was the first stop for Lin Sun and the others. As soon as they got out of the car, Lin Sun experienced difficulty breathing, even though he had taken Rodiala in advance, he still felt dizzy. This is altitude sickness, son, don't move too much, Gu Yan Yan quickly held onto Lin Sun's arm. Lin Sun shook his head, it's okay, I'm fine. The dizziness came and went in waves. It was his first time on the plateau. Lin Badian and Gu Yan Yan didn't have any reaction, as they had often visited high altitude areas before and were used to it. That night, the family temporarily stayed at a hotel to rest. 
Lin Sun took a while to recover, but his face was still pale, which affected his appetite. The hotel they stayed in was also very high-end, with separate rooms for himself and his parents. The hotel's service was also very good, and although the food couldn't compare to what their chef made at home, it was still quite good. After drinking some porridge, Lin Sun returned to his room, as he needed to adjust his condition. Lin Batian and Gu Yan Yan, feeling sorry for their son, went out shopping together. Lin Sun lay on the bed, just swallowed a rodiola, and suddenly thought that his senior sister was also coming to the Tibetan area, so he sent her a message. Junior brother, senior sister, have you arrived in Lhasa? They had chatted for a long time the night before, and he knew that his senior sister's first stop was Lhasa. Not long after, Su Qingshu replied, Fairy senior sister, I'm at the hotel. Junior brother, did you really come alone, senior sister? Fairy senior sister, yes. Junior brother, do you have altitude sickness, senior sister? Fairy senior sister, I've been to high altitude areas several times before, so I don't feel anything now. Junior brother, crying and laughing, altitude sickness is really uncomfortable, isn't it? It feels like the whole world is spinning. At the same time, Su Qingshu, who was in the hotel, had just finished bathing and was leaning on the soft big bed with her exquisite curves, but unfortunately, no one saw her. At this moment, a look of surprise appeared on her face as she looked at Lin Sun's reply. She thought for two seconds and then replied, Fairy senior sister, are you also going to the plateau? Junior brother, he he, I came to the Padala Palace with my family. Bodhisattva. The entire Padala Palace is built with mortise and tenon joints, without using a single nail. It is supported by a forest and a mountain, making it one of the world's top 10 civil engineering structures. The Padala Palace has three parts, the Red Palace, the White Palace, and the Snowy City. Photography, touching artifacts, and murals are prohibited inside the palace and the snowy city. Lin Sun and his family arrived at the Patala Palace, dressed very modestly as a sign of respect for the culture. It is said that there is an underground palace beneath the Patala Palace, containing countless treasures of gold and silver, as well as precious scriptures. The underground palace leads to Shangri-La, which is the paradise in the hearts of the Tibetan people, Gu Yin Yin said, looking at the grand building. Lin Badian raised an eyebrow. He didn't understand these cultural things. He was just a businessman, and he had no interest in gold, silver, or treasures, as he was already making enough money. Lin Sun looked at the magnificent red and white palaces. Although he didn't know much about the history, he could still feel the greatness and antiquity from a sensory perspective. The three of them didn't rush in but went to the huge lake below the palace. Lin Sun asked a passerby to help take a family photo, marking a successful visit. Eating, drinking, taking photos, and sightseeing had become the norm for their trip. After over an hour of visiting, the family prepared to leave. Lin Sun had slowly adapted to the high-altitude climate here, at least he no longer felt dizzy all the time. However, he still dared not have too much emotional or physical fluctuation, fearing that he might accidentally overexert himself. He took pictures of the beautiful scenery and selected a full view of the Patala Palace to send to his senior sister. At this time, Su Qingshu was already on her way over. She looked at the photo and replied, It's a bit different from the photos online. Junior brother, that's normal, after all, the online photos are mainly for promotion. Fairy senior sister, how's your health? Junior brother, much better now. It was the third day of the holiday, which was also the second to last day Lin Sun planned to stay there. The holiday time passed quickly. Lin Sun accompanied his family to visit nearby attractions, and it must be said that this feeling is very relaxing. In the evening, Lin Badian and Gu Yan Yan, the couple, were tired from walking and rested at the hotel. Lin Sun looked at the sky outside the window, which had not completely darkened, and felt a sense of emptiness in his heart. So, after changing his clothes, he went out alone. Walking in the square, Lin Sun looked at the shining palace in the night, silently took out a 50 yuan bill, and the background on the back of the bill was this magnificent palace. Being able to be printed on this bill is enough to show its significance the same way. When she first arrived here, after putting her luggage in the hotel, she didn't rest and came out immediately, as if something was guiding her to come here. When she saw her junior brother, she found that the fatigue of the journey seemed to disappear, and she felt much more relaxed, quietly staring at this junior high school student. Su Qingshu spoke softly, I heard the scenery here is nice, so I wanted to come and take a look. The scenery here is nice, because of you, it seems even more beautiful. Lin Sun smiled, looking somewhat silly, scratching his head. I also want to go see Mount Everest tomorrow. He also wanted to go to the place the senior sister wanted to go, and then meet the senior sister in the bustling crowd. Su Qingshu's eyes flickered. It seemed like they both had the same idea, but she had taken the first step. The night on the plateau was still a bit cold. 
It was the first time coming to such a place, as the original place was still in the scorching summer season, so the difference was quite large. Lin Sun was somewhat familiar with this area after wandering around for a day, and he brought Su Qingshir to a self-service hot pot restaurant. Cold? Have some hot pot. Su Qingshir had just arrived and was a bit hungry. The two of them ordered a lot of food, of course, it was Lin Sun who ordered, wanting the senior sister to try everything he found delicious. Senior sister, do you carry a camera with you? Are you interested in this? Lin Sun looked at the white camera placed aside, curiously asking. Su Qingshir elegantly put a slice of beef into her mouth and said lightly, I'm not very professional, but it's an interest. I want to capture some of the scenery I encountered during my travels. Can I take a look? Lin Sun showed a keen interest. Su Qingshir didn't refuse and handed the camera to him. Lin Sun took it and accidentally touched Su Qingshir's fingers, causing him to pause for a moment. Su Qingshir's expression also changed slightly, but she concealed it well. Lin Sun casually looked through the photos in the camera. There were many, and the angles of the shots were very good, all of them were photos of scenic spots, and there were also a few photos of people, some of which were quite touching. Lin Sun sighed. The photos were very good, but there was not a single photo of the senior sister in them. Are they not good enough? Su Qingshir suddenly asked. She had noticed the regret in Lin Sun's eyes. Senior sister, don't you have any selfies? Lin Sun asked. Su Qingshir said, they're on my phone. Lin Sun's eyes lit up, can I see them? Su Qingshir smiled faintly, no. How could he casually flip through a girl's photo album? What if there was something extraordinary in it? Anyway, she didn't have any. I'm done eating, Su Qingshir said lightly, putting down her chopsticks. Senior sister, have some of this, Lin Sun opened a bottle of Wan Laji and handed it to her. Thank you, Su Qingshir took it and took a few sips. After eating hot pot, both of them felt a warmth inside. After the meal, it was time to digest. Senior sister, the daytime scenery here is still nice. We can take some photos later, Lin Sun smiled at the girl beside him. Su Qingshir nodded. She looked at the towering palace and slowly raised her camera. Pressing the shutter, another picture appeared in the camera. Su Qingshir looked at the photo, it was very good, but she furrowed her brows slightly and then said to Lin Sun, move over there. Ha! Huh? Lin Sun didn't react. Su Qingshir said lightly, I'll take a picture of you, do you want to? Hearing this, Lin Sun was overjoyed, feeling a strong sense of surprise, and nodded eagerly, yes, yes, yes. He was afraid that the senior sister would change her mind, so he stood in the center of the square. Move a little to the left, don't be too stiff, smile a bit, be natural. Following Su Qingshir's instructions, Lin Sun posed and looked at the senior sister taking his picture seriously. A touch of tenderness flashed in Lin Sun's eyes, and a smile appeared on his lips. It was at this moment that Su Qingshir pressed the shutter. In the picture, a handsome young man stood under the sacred palace, showing a gentle gaze towards her. Su Qingshir looked at the photo, her eyes lit up. Yes, he looked handsome, and the photo was also good. How is it, senior sister? Lin Sun leaned over. Su Qingshir handed him all, the camera was hers, and the photos were taken by her. Is that enough? Susan Cheng asked calmly. Lin Sun pondered for a moment, then suddenly ran off with the camera. Watching his figure, Susan Ching's eyes flashed with a hint of doubt. She saw Lin Sun calling out to a girl, who also had a camera. They seemed to be exchanging something. The girl looked puzzled at first, but quickly understood. Then, Lin Sun brought the girl over. Susan Ching furrowed her brows slightly. What was this guy up to, chatting up other girls? Lin Sun ran back excitedly and said to her, Senior sister, let's take a photo together. Ha! Huh? Susan Ching was taken aback. Wow, handsome guy, is she your girlfriend? So beautiful. The girl had also come over by now, and her eyes sparkled when she saw Susan Ching. Oh my god, are you a celebrity? Such a beautiful girl, and it looks like natural beauty, no signs of plastic surgery. Even if she's a celebrity, she probably can't compare to her. Susan Chang's lips curled up slightly at the mention of girlfriend, and she looked at Lin Sun. A photo together? Lin Sun nodded, yeah, I want this beautiful lady to help us take a photo. What do you think, senior sister? After thinking for a moment, Susan Chang nodded, okay. Lin Sun quickly handed the camera to the girl, could you please? Okay, okay. The girl was very willing, she didn't expect to run into such a high-value couple today. Lin Sun and Susan Ching stood in the same position as before, very close, only half a meter apart. Get closer, you two look great together. Yes, handsome guy, you can make some intimate gestures with your girlfriend. It will create a better atmosphere for the photo. The girl adjusted while directing. This time, unlike the last time in the clothing store, both of them were not as nervous, but still felt a bit of a racing heart. Make some intimate gestures with your girlfriend? 
Lin Sun seemed to be thinking, and he subconsciously glanced at senior sister's rosy lips. In the end, Lin Sun didn't dare to make any bold moves. He tried to get closer to Susan Chang and then gave a simple smile and made a victory sign. Susan Ching glanced at the boy beside her and copied Lin Sun's gesture, but this time without a smile, yet still beautiful. Looks good, looks good. Let's take another one, change your pose. The girl was getting excited and enthusiastically directed Lin Sun and Susan Chang. The whole process was a bit confusing for both of them. Lin Sun accidentally touched Su Qingxiu's body several times, making him nervous and unable to control his heartbeat. Su Qingxiu was also in a similar state, finding that her intelligence could no longer control her brain in this situation. Okay. A girl holding Su Qingxiu's white camera ran over, but soon noticed that their hands had unconsciously intertwined. She smiled with a hint of ambiguity, you two are so sweet. When they came to their senses, Su Qingxiu noticed that her hand was being held by Lin Sun's large hand, and a warmth spread through her entire hand. She felt a bit flustered and discreetly freed her hand from his. Feeling the softness slip away from his palm, Lin Sun felt a sense of loss, but he remained calm on the surface. Thank you, beautiful lady, Lin Sun said to the girl. The girl squinted and smiled, you're welcome. I'm also a photography enthusiast, and it's an honor to capture such good photos. She handed the white camera to Lin Sun who immediately started looking at the photos. Su Qingxiu approached with a calm expression. Each photo showed a couple, with youthful faces carrying a hint of nervousness, yet also an indescribable sense of connection. As they were engrossed in the photos, a click suddenly sounded. They instinctively looked over and saw the girl holding her camera, aiming at them and pressing the shutter. Hee hee, I want to take a souvenir. Do you mind? The girl flashed a playful smile. A few minutes later, they arrived at a set of steps. Senior, let's take a break, Lin Sun suddenly spoke. Su Qingxiu nodded. Lin Sun looked around and then cleaned a spot on the floor, gesturing for the senior to sit down, while he sat down next to her. Su Qingxiu looked through the photos in the camera, while Lin Sun alternated between looking at the photos and the senior, feeling very pleased. In this quiet moment, he suddenly felt that everything was so beautiful. Leaving tomorrow? Su Qingxiu asked calmly. Lin Sun nodded, that's the plan. He had originally planned to stay for three days and then spend the remaining days off somewhere else. However, he looked at the senior and asked, What about you, senior? Su Qingxiu put away the camera and gazed into the distance, I'll go back. I've been traveling for two or three days, but it doesn't seem meaningful. Previously, she could travel alone and feel happy, but this year, for some reason, she felt tired. Lin Sun nodded, I also feel it's a bit meaningless. He wasn't a travel enthusiast, just wanting to accompany his parents and visit places he hadn't been to before, to experience civilizations he hadn't seen before. After tomorrow, there are still three days. Senior, how about we go back to Liang Cheng? Lin Sun suddenly suggested. Liang Cheng? Su Qingxiu didn't mind the word we, but was surprised by Lin Sun's idea. Lin Sun leaned on his knees, smiling lightly, I want to accompany Senior to see Uncle. Su Qingxiu's expression changed, and she looked at Lin Sun. The last stop of her travel plan was Lian Chung, based on the idea of visiting her father. She hadn't expected her junior to suddenly speak up. A solo trip now had an additional person. Su Qingxiu hugged her knees, her delicate chin resting on them, and gently replied, Okay. Lin Sun was overjoyed and was about to say something when his phone rang. He took out his phone and saw that it was his mother calling. Lin Sun glanced at the senior beside him, and she looked away. He smiled and answered, Hello, Mom. Yeah, I'm outside. No, I probably won't be back until late. Uh, I ran into a classmate. Lin Sun felt a little embarrassed. He only said a few words, and his mother started asking all sorts of questions. Isn't she too sharp? Helplessly, he could only chat with his mother. Even though they lived together, she still talked a lot. Lin Sun didn't notice that Su Qingxiu's expression suddenly changed. Gu Yan Yan and her husband were getting ready for bed. They wanted to ask if their son had gone to bed, but Lin Sun had gone out to play. They didn't say much, just reminded him to be safe and hung up. Putting away his phone, Lin Sun's gaze fell on Su Qingxiu's face and found that she looked a little listless. Senior, what's wrong? Su Qingxiu's eyes widened a bit and she shook her head, it's nothing, just a bit tired. Lin Sun suddenly felt a bit sorry and said, Senior, let me take you back. Su Qingxiu nodded and got up. Lin Sun tactfully took the camera and the two of them left the square side by side. The hotel where Su Qingxiu stayed was very close to the one where Lin Sun stayed, less than a kilometer away. On the way, Lin Sun noticed that Su Qingxiu's complexion seemed a bit off, as if she was unwell. This was the first time he had seen this side of her. He thought she was just tired from the journey. Is there a restroom nearby? Su Qingxiu suddenly asked. Lin Sun was taken aback, 
Do you need to use the restroom, senior? Did she eat something that upset her stomach? Su Qingxue didn't answer, and her steps slowed down. Lin Sun was in a dilemma. They were on their way back to the hotel, and there was a restroom in the square, but it would take some time to go back now. He quickly ran to the roadside and hailed a taxi. Young man, your girlfriend doesn't look too good, is she sick? The driver, an older man, glanced at the pale-faced Su Qingxue and asked in confusion. Lin Sun looked at Su Qingxue and replied, She's not feeling well, master, please drive faster. All right. Su Qingxue closed her eyes and leaned against the seat, unconsciously holding her stomach, with fine beads of sweat on her forehead. Seeing this, Lin Sun became anxious. Could eating hot pot cause this situation? He reached out and touched Su Qingxue's smooth forehead, which felt cool. Then he grabbed her hand, which was ice cold. Senior, what's wrong? Why is it so serious? Lin Sun looked at Su Qingxue with concern. Su Qingxue slowly opened her eyes and whispered, It's early. Lin Sun was taken aback. What? My period. Upon hearing this, Lin Sun suddenly realized. Menstruation. It was such a coincidence that her period came at the beginning of the month. Lin Sun's nervous appearance made Su Qingxue somewhat amused and exasperated. She was just having menstrual cramps, not giving birth. Did he have to look so serious? Was he sweating more than she was? But she could also feel his concern, which touched her. What should we do? Lin Sun quickly took out his phone and searched for what to do when a girl's period comes early. Drink brown sugar water, use a hot towel to apply heat to the stomach, place a pillow under the waist, drink yogurt or milk, and take painkillers as needed. Soon, they arrived at the hotel where Su Qingxue was staying. After getting out of the car, Su Qingxue looked pale. Her period was indeed at the beginning of the month, but usually after the fifth. This sudden attack was unexpected for her. She had noticed something was wrong a while ago, and the feeling of bloating and pain in her stomach had become increasingly severe, and the result was that her period had arrived. She had realized that she had missed it. But she didn't tell Lin Sun, as it was still difficult for her to talk about. Lin Sun helped Su Qingxue into the hotel and asked for her room number. As they entered the elevator, Su Qingxue squatted down in the corner. Lin Sun was in a hurry, taking out his phone and then putting it back in his pocket. He squatted down next to Su Qingxue and said softly, Senior, shall I buy that for you? What was that? Of course, it was sanitary pads. Su Qingxue agreed, Thank you, help me buy the 420. 420, okay, senior sister. Lin Sun didn't know what she meant by 420, but he still agreed readily. The elevator opened, swiped the card to enter the room, and Su Qingxue immediately went into the bathroom. Seeing this, Lin Sun hesitated for a moment, then turned and left the room. There was a convenience store downstairs in the hotel, which looked a bit deserted. The owner was an auntie. As soon as Lin Sun entered, she warmly asked, Young man, what do you need? It was also Lin Sun's first time buying such things for girls, and he didn't understand. He was glad that the owner was a woman. Owner, do you have that thing for girls, the one they use when their period comes? Sanitary pads, right? The auntie glanced at him and then smiled, Is this your first time in love? Lin Sun was puzzled. The auntie smiled and said, I've seen many young men like you buying sanitary pads for their girlfriends, but you're the first one to be so hesitant. Lin Sun felt a bit embarrassed. He was indeed embarrassed, as he had seen many examples of boys attracting strange looks when browsing the sanitary pad section in supermarkets. The auntie led Lin Sun to the counter selling women's products and asked, Which brand does your girlfriend use? What size does she need? Does she need both day and night use? Lin Sun was at a loss for words. There were so many details to consider. Auntie, I need the 420. He remembered what his senior sister had told him, but he didn't know if it was the price or the size. For 20, ha, huh, this is the night use, quite popular. The auntie took a white pack of sanitary pads from the shelf and handed it to Lin Sun. Seeing the number 420 on the packaging, Lin Sun suddenly realized. So that's what his senior sister meant by 420. He asked, night use, is it for use at night? Yes. And there's one for daytime use? That's right. He learned something new. Before this, Lin Sun had no concept of day and night use. He only knew that sanitary pads were used by girls during their periods. At the same time, Su Qingxue came out of the bathroom. She looked at the empty room, and the figure of the young man had disappeared. She suddenly felt a strange emotion, as if she was lost? Lonely? She was a bit confused not understanding why she was feeling so many emotions, making her unsure of how to face them. It seemed like she was becoming more and more fragile, especially when Lin Sun was around. Su Qingxue, is this still you? Because of the discomfort in her body, she didn't even want to move. She lay on the bed, closed her eyes slightly, silently enduring the cramps in her lower abdomen. 
A few minutes later, Lin Sun walked out of the supermarket with three bags of items. He didn't know which brand his senior sister liked, but he bought all the 420 sizes. The auntie said one pack wasn't enough, as girls change sanitary pads frequently, usually every time they go to the toilet, so he bought some extra, including daytime pads. In addition, the auntie also asked about his girlfriend's current condition and enthusiastically recommended many things to him. Lin Sun sighed inwardly at the auntie's experience, so he bought everything she recommended. Money didn't matter, everything had to be prepared. Soon, Lin Sun returned to the hotel where his senior sister was staying. Su Qingcher was lying on the bed, pale-faced, with her eyes closed, looking as if she was asleep. At that moment, there was a knock on the door, which startled her from her rest. She opened her eyes, and a glimmer of anticipation flashed through them. Despite feeling unwell, she forced herself out of bed and went to open the door. Senior sister, I've brought back the things for you. Lin Sun stood at the door, looking at the pale-faced Su Qingcher, feeling extremely sorry for her. He quickly stepped into the room, closed the door, placed the items on the floor, and helped his senior sister to the bed. How are you feeling now? Lin Sun asked softly. Su Qingcher did not answer. Since she opened the door just now, she had been staring blankly at Lin Sun, somewhat absent-minded, as if she had ignored even the pain. Seeing her like this, Lin Sun took out a white package and put it in her hand, saying softly, Senior, you can change by yourself. Su Qingxiu's expression changed, and she took the sanitary napkin. For some reason, at this moment, she, who had been irritable because of severe abdominal pain, suddenly calmed down, and even the pain weakened a lot. It's miraculous. And this, the supermarket owner said that girls will dirty their clothes when they suddenly have their period, so I bought you a set. Oh, and this, it seems there is no kitchenware for cooking brown sugar here, so I bought instant ones, and also warm patches to relieve the pain. Lin Sun rummaged through the bag taking out the things he had bought one by one. Su Qingxiu watched his actions with emotion, and her gaze softened. You know so much? Lin Sun scratched his head. I also read it online, and the supermarket owner suggested it. He quickly added, Senior, you should change quickly, it's not good to get an infection. Hearing this, a blush appeared on Su Qingxiu's pretty face. After all, it involved privacy, and she felt a little embarrassed. Nodding gently, Su Qingxiu took the 420 in her hand and the new clothes Lin Sun handed her and went into the bathroom. Lin Sun breathed a sigh of relief, then he started to make brown sugar water for Senior. There was a kettle in the hotel room, and after cleaning it, Lin Sun poured the two bottles of mineral water provided for free into the kettle and plugged it in. While waiting for the water to boil, he took out his phone to search for common knowledge about girls having their period. Girls' emotions will be very unstable during their period, and they shouldn't be made unhappy. There will be cramping in the abdomen during menstrual pain, and it can be relieved with a hot water bottle, warm patches, or having a boyfriend help to warm the stomach. Lin Sun's gaze paused for a moment, then he continued scrolling down. Suddenly, he looked around the room. The hotel was not a rental house, so there was only accommodation and no kitchen. It was impossible to cook brown sugar water for senior here. The internet said that if conditions permit, don't use instant ones, and make it fresh if possible. Just then, Su Qingxiu walked out of the bathroom. Her complexion was a little better than before, but there was still some pain, and sweat had soaked her hair in front of her forehead. Senior, the water will boil soon, Lin Sun said, walking over to help Su Qingxiu. Su Qingxiu said calmly, I'm not that delicate. She was just having menstrual cramps. Although she had a hot pot tonight, which had aggravated her condition a bit, it wasn't to the point where she needed someone to help her. The younger brother's concern was a bit chaotic. Lin Sun looked extremely serious. No, seeing you in such pain makes me uncomfortable too. Su Qingxiu blushed, and the younger brother was becoming more and more considerate. Su Qingxiu lay on the bed, and Lin Sun helped her cover herself with the blanket. Here are some warm patches. Use them first, they can relieve the pain, Lin Sun said, tearing open the packaging of a warm patch, about to apply it. What are you doing? Su Qingxiu stared at him with wide eyes, a moment of panic in her eyes. Ha! Huh? Lin Sun looked puzzled. Su Qingxiu helplessly said, I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. Su Qingxiu took the warm patch and applied it to her abdomen, feeling a wave of warmth and relief from the pain. How is it? Lin Sun asked eagerly. Looking at him, Su Qingxiu really wanted to pretend to be strong, but seeing his worried expression, her heart softened again. My feet are a little cold. When she said this, she didn't even realize it herself, her voice carrying a hint of coquetry, like a little girl who had been wronged. Hearing this, Lin Sun's expression became serious. Senior was covered with a blanket, but her feet were still cold. It seemed that what was said online was true. 
Without hesitation, he lifted a corner of the blanket, and a pair of delicate feet came into view. Before Su Qingxie could react, she felt a coolness on her feet, her pupils dilated, and she was about to say something, but Lin Sun's actions were faster than hers. He grabbed her delicate white foot, and in an instant, Su Qingxie felt as if she had been shocked, her whole body trembling, her mind blank. Lin Sun, on the other hand, had no other thoughts. As soon as he touched it, he felt the chill, so he sat on the bed, made a small nest with the blanket, and put both of the senior sister's feet in it. Lin Sun then wrapped the bundle of blanket containing Su Qingxie's feet close to his chest, trying to warm it. Looking at the senior sister's bewildered face, Lin Sun spoke softly, feeling better? Su Qingxie looked at him and softly murmured in agreement. Lin Sun could hold the bundle of blanket with one hand, and he took out his phone, sent a message to his mother, telling her he might be home late tonight. Then he opened an app, ordered a bowl of lean pork congee with preserved egg, with extra ginger, and requested it to be delivered quickly. Then he thought for a moment and ordered a case of mineral water. What are you doing? Su Qingxie's cold voice came. Lin Sun operated with his head down, and replied, I ordered a bowl of lean pork congee for you, to warm your stomach. Su Qingxie didn't say anything. Her gaze was somewhat complicated. Growing up, she had never been cared for so attentively by anyone other than her parents, and even after growing up, her mother had never touched her feet. What was that feeling? How should she put it? Her heart was beating fast, and if Lin Sun got any closer, he would probably be able to hear it clearly. She saw all of the junior brother's actions, and he was not like other boys who would only be obsessed with her appearance and show her that kind of gaze she hated. Everything he did was pure, so pure that she could recognize his affection. Her heart was in turmoil. Should she really try to be with him? But the him in her eyes still had some shortcomings, after all, there was an age gap between them. In her eyes, Lin Sun was like a naive little brother, but he also made her heart flutter. Thinking about all this, she almost didn't feel the pain in her abdomen, and her feet were being kept warm. A warm feeling surged in her heart. Was this the feeling of being cared for by a boy she had a crush on? The room suddenly fell silent, with only the sound of the kettle boiling water. Lin Sun's face remained calm, but he was actually panicking inside. Oh my god, he was shocked by everything he had done. Had he crossed the boundary of friendship? Would ordinary friends do these things? This was clearly the behavior of a boyfriend caring for his girlfriend. Would the senior sister misunderstand him? Although he did treat the senior sister as if she were his girlfriend, what if she didn't think so? What should he do? As Lin Sun thought about it, his body trembled with nervousness. Are you nervous? Su Qingxie looked at him with a smile that wasn't a smile, a hint of teasing on her pale and pretty face. Ha, huh? no, what would I be nervous about? Lin Sun shook his head in denial. Was he nervous? Hey, how could he show weakness in front of the goddess? Su Qingxie said lightly, then why are you trembling? And sweating? Lin Sun wiped the sweat from his forehead with his hand, ha, huh? it's a little hot. There's air conditioning. Lin Sun glared at her, you're not feeling well, so don't turn on the air conditioning. Su Qingxie rolled her eyes, don't you know the air conditioning has a heating function? Lin Sun, Lin Sun, hmm, thank you. Lin Sun looked at Su Qingxie in surprise. She turned her face away, unable to meet his gaze, and her pink earlobes turned slightly red. Lin Sun smiled, even the senior sister can be shy? Su Qingxie turned her head and glared at him, her eyes filled with a hint of hostility, huh? What did you just say? Lin Sun immediately put on a meek look, I'm sorry, senior sister. You can't mess with a girl on her period. Su Qingxie snorted, then she opened her mouth and frowned. What's wrong, senior sister? Are you not feeling well? Lin Sun asked in confusion. Su Qingxie was silent for a moment before speaking, I want to eat an ice cream cone. Her throat was dry, and it was hot under the blanket, making her feel a bit parched. Lin Sun? Senior sister, do you want to hear what you're saying? No way. Lin Sun shook his head and refused, his tone firm. Su Qingxie's cold gaze looked at him. Lin Sun met her eyes for the first time, unwilling to show weakness. For the sake of his senior sister's health, he toughened up. 